Shit on my shoulders, I'm lifting this weight I wanna come on, I grip on your cake Loading, I'm down, I do what it takes Bitch on that nigga, I'm not my mistakes I'm in the cut and I'm slipping away Big as I know, they moving real fake Funny how love can turn into hate Funny how love can turn you away Funny how love can turn you away Funny how love can turn into hate Funny how love Funny how love can turn you away Funny how love can turn you into hate Funny how love Funny how love can turn you away. Funny how love. They taught me, baby, they didn't taught me nice. You taught me, baby. Taught me, baby. If you taught me, baby, they didn't taught me nice. Taught me, baby, they didn't taught me nice. Taught me, baby. Taught me, baby. Get taught me, baby, they didn't taught me nice. Taught me, baby. Taught me, baby.
that we done came from the bottom Mad that we up but I don't hear him talking Started with knowledge inside of my noggin We took a dream and then we started vlogging Put my city on the map now I'ma say how it is and now I'm back down On the road to 100k we finna act out We gon' show them that we not just in the background we the main event, we the main show We the one that people always gon' pay for If I F, we the best, no debate though Easy Number on one sports feet. channel, every angle I'ma show them all how we ride Best sports tie show, we not like them guys We playing it safe while they feather the lines We pushing the narrative all the time Like who the go in the game is not MJ Kobe Bryant top 10, now what we say I keep my life, you want us very overrated Keep it real, if it ain't fact, we don't say it Now I'm safe, but we won't be ignored It's facts over feelings, you talking about listery Boys, you Scooby-Doo talking in mysteries You is a puppet to ticket, that's misery Said that you body bang, boy, know your history It's facts over feelings, you talking about listery Boys, you Scooby-Doo talking in mysteries You is a puppet to ticket, that's misery Said that you body bang, boy, know your history uh, All in your feelings, you gotta be kidding me Bad for respect, but you only show jealousy Wanted some status, but you making enemies Talking about bro workout like you burn calories Calling a bank cause he come with the cavalry Caught another L, ready, took another casualty Now you on the two, talking like you had a strategy Nah, that's just passion. We love the game. You already know what it is. FYF. You don't got tough skin. You might as well not even come on in. Talk to him. FYF. Blow the whistle, man. We too official. Better check the film. We not one of him. The greatest to ever fall above the rim They wasn't with me shooting in the gym Cut the small conversation, debate on major levels This the playoffs, baby, bring that pressure, we never settle Constant spin, getting it in, I wanna win That teamwork got us headed to the ship again Oh, LeBron's better than MJ, cut it out Half these fans in the stands don't know what they talking about Half court jumpers, crowd going wild FYF rank number one, you better say it loud Intellectual talk, but fuck your feelings Olaju won too overrated, Kobe still a realist Top 10 all time, now how they cut the line Magic Johnson, Draymond Green, one in the same kind Fuck your feelings, fast break, stop and pull a J He got how many rings, nothing else to say With the team, live streaming, play by play This the dream, full steam on the road to 100k FYF, blow the whistle, man, we too official Better check the film, we not one of them The greatest to ever ball above the rim They wasn't with me shooting in the gym Cut the small conversation, debate on major levels This the playoffs, baby, bring that pressure, we never settle Cross and spin, getting it in, I wanna win That teamwork got us headed to the ship again Started small, then turned into big dogs They treat me like the GM I just make the call, no matter who my op is I'ma stand tall, then pull up to the game Fresh like I just left the mall 100k, 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 check the score We gon' bust the shot clock, fans running to the floor All I hear is go this and go that Man, your team suck, hang it up like a coke rack I love the game, I admit it, I can't quit I can't Step quit. in front of me, man, your ankles gon' get the business AI. Been a legend like Moses Malone, way ahead of my time This the greatest sports show ever, I just had to remind yes, FYF, FYF, blow the whistle, man, we too official Better check the film, we not one of them The greatest to ever ball above the rim I can't believe that she fit in them tights Buying it once or buying it twice Swiping this far, don't ask for the price Taxi and red, she say I'm her tight I got a check, but I'm earning my stripes Cheating no pussy like that shit advice Baby, you know I'm not good at advice Why would I go if I don't get advice? Taking these chances, rolling the dice Started from nothing, I'm hitting these heights Probably cause what I be spit on these bikes Peed a few things inside of my Sprite Bit out of sleep, you went my device Thought I could trust you in my life Can't even trust you in the night Thought of me, baby you tired of me nice You tired of me, baby, you tired of me Tired of me, baby, you tired of me Tired of me, baby, you tired of me nice You tired of me, baby You tired of me, baby You tired of me, baby, you tired of me nice You tired of me, baby, you tired of me, baby You tired of me, baby, you tired of me, baby. Tired of me, baby. Tired of me nice Baby, 
baby, then come where I stay Be in the dollars, we back in LA Making this money and stay out the way Take me and text me, saying okay Taking this shit out day by day Go by the dungeon, I'm shooting a J Taking up all the things that you say You on your knees for me, yeah Funny because I know you don't break Said that you down and suffer the fake Said I'm the one, so you making me wait Baby, you know this, that shit that I hate Pull up on you, I'm in a C8 Holding my own, I'm making shit shake Shit on my shoulders, I'm living this way I wanna come on, I grip on your cake Loading, I'm down, I do what it takes Bitch, on that nigga, I'm not my mistakes I'm in the cut and I'm slipping away Niggas, I know they moving real fake Funny how love can turn into hate Funny how love can turn you away Funny how love can turn you away Funny how love can turn into hate Funny how love Funny how love can turn you away Funny how love can turn you into hate Funny how love Funny how love can turn you away Funny how love They taught me baby and taught me nice You taught me baby Taught me baby Talk to me, baby, and talk to me nice. Talk to me, baby, and talk to me nice. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, baby. Get talk to me, baby, and talk to me nice. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, baby. If you talk to me, baby, and talk to me nice. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, baby. Get talk to me, baby, and talk to me nice. Talk to me. To me, I'm just trying to let you know before I tell you I can't see a side of plays Get the fuck up out the game I just need a one-on-one -on -one with you before I tell them I can't keep on getting paid Without giving up a play For my people that have made me I swear I told them I can't keep on throwing shade And expect you to create something better It's a shame Now to let them know that Everything a blessing if you brown me Two phones, mama hear me back saying they found me Think it's hard to understand my level of accounting Sports man, it's Lamont man. My apologies on the, the glitch in the intro. It's all on StreamYard man. Appreciate you guys man being here. Got a lot to talk about today man. Hey look man, you gotta bump the AI as you avoid the copyrights. I'm with it. I'm not tripping on it. We we gonna get to we gonna get to all the songs and stuff later, man. We got to get to the real the meat and bones of the show. 
we got to get to the real meat and bones of the show, man. Uh, I see you guys filtering in, man. T Streets, Mahari. Uh, as you guys filter in, let's get to some other news in the NBA. There's been other news in the NBA that I want to talk about. Um, I want to talk about the Lakers raising the in season tournament banner. I want to get to the truth behind that. Um, I want to talk about uh, trade talks. Um, 88% of the NBA is available for trade. And as we see a lot of different teams start to wilt, as we see some teams start to look more like contenders, maybe they can add a piece here or there. And then when you look at some teams, they need to share contracts. There's going to be a big, much bigger buyout market than I think we've seen in the past. Um, and I think the buyout market market is just going to be bigger because I just don't, don't think there are going to be as many trade suitors um, as we think, as we as we believe. I don't think we'll see those historically great, crazy trade, one of those crazy trade deadline days that we've seen in the past. I think a lot of teams are really eyeing the new CBA. And I think a lot of teams just want to see how it's going to work out. But we're going to be talking about all of that today here on FYF Sports, man. All of that today here on FYF Sports. One of the first topics we want to cover, man, I think this is just the easiest one to cover is I've been seeing a lot of people um, talk about the Lakers raising the in-season tournament banner. And so I, I think it's very simple. I don't think it's as complicated as what people are making it. Now, we know that there are certain networks, certain channels, for for example, like Dreamers Pro, like Carcino. They want to attach the raising of the banner to LeBron James. They want to portray that this is something that LeBron James has all control of. But a report came out. A report actually came out a few days ago that the NBA in a meeting with all of the owners in one of their annual or biannual meetings, the NBA pressured teams and some say required teams to hang an in-season tournament banner. And the NBA was telling teams that they need to hang these banners because the in-season tournament is not going away and it's something that they need the teams to actively promote and the only way the nba can promote this as a serious or qualified tournament is if the teams portray it to be serious therefore hanging banners and giving a bit more notoriety to the tournament I think going forward. So when we look at the Lakers, the reports came out that once the Lakers won the in season tournament, reports were that the Lakers were not going to hang a banner for the in season tournament. That was the original report coming out of LA. Mingo Jester, he says it was not. See, Mingo Jester, that's just a lie. The in season tournament was not some BS. It was some, it, 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 it had everybody watching. Let's not lie, Mingo Jester. To see the Pacers go on that run, it was exciting for, 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 if you, they did as good of a job to hype up regular season games as possible. Let's not act like they didn't do a good job with it. They did a good job. Let's just not be biased there. We all watched, we all enjoyed it. And I think one of the biggest, I think one of the biggest elements that made it a lot better is the fact that the players took it seriously. When you have guys like Kevin Durant come out and say this felt like a playoff environment, right? And then when you have players on the Pacers team say the same thing, when you have the players saying it felt like a different environment, it felt like it meant more. Well, that's how we know it was much bigger than what you're portraying. So that's how I know it wasn't some BS. And I was always, you know, my thoughts process on the play-in tournament was that 
it's only going to be taken as serious as the players take it. If the players treat it like an all-star game, it's not going to be. But the players went out there and treated it like a legitimate tournament. And that's what gave it its valid validity. And that's what also, in turn, gave us a great product to watch. So anyone that, that's going to lie to themselves and say it was some BS, that's just because you probably don't like the outcome of the tournament. You probably don't like how it turned out with the team or players that won. But if you take your biases out, the tournament was a success and it's not going away anytime soon. And so reports have come out, you guys, that the NBA is now requiring teams to hang in-season tournament banners. And this is not something that Jeannie Buss, Rob Palenka, or even LeBron James had any control over. This was the NBA owners and Adam Silva. And we all know that the Lakers, and I think a lot of people conflict the Lakers standard of of hanging only championship banners and they they've turned it into something that they want to call the Kobe standard I think I think uh Dreamers Pro mentioned that in his community post he said the Kobe standard no this was a standard that for the Lakers that was set well before Kobe they were only hanging championships before Kobe and that was their intention even after Kobe unfortunately the NBA has a say so in certain things. And owners can only give so much pushback, especially when they see a tournament that's put a lot of money in a lot of teams' pockets. So the owners have to be in unison on this one. So, you guys, going forward, going forward into the future, you guys, this in season tournament is not going away. They are hanging banners, every team will be hanging banners. You know, if your team wins it next year, it's as little as you might think of this tournament, your team will be hanging a banner. And this is something that reports have come out that this was ordered by the NBA. Lakers felt pressure and they were pressured by the NBA and other owners to hang an in-season tournament banner to add. This was reported by Laker Nation. This was also reported by Complex News. And there's an article about it on NBA.com if you guys want to go check it out. Um, so the NBA, the NBA in-season tournament, a lot of people were questioning. Is it here to stay? It is definitely here to stay. And Adam Silva and the other owners are making sure um, that it doesn't go anywhere anytime soon. He says, though this so it's Hitman X says, so does does this buff? Conference championships. I mean, conference championships are only as value are only valuable based on your team history's success. For example, a team like the Clippers, a team like the Clippers that has won absolutely nothing in their history, no banners, no nothing. A team like the Clippers would probably value a conference championship. They haven't won anything. They haven't had an opportunity, and especially going into their new arena. You know, if they're able to win a conference championship, of course the Clippers are going to hang that banner. They don't have anything hanging. They're going to hang the first thing they get an opportunity to hang. So it's just based on, so if you're a team like the Boston Celtics, probably not. You, you've set a standard of championships. Team like the Lakers, 17 banners up there, now eight. 18 potential banners, if depending on how you weigh the in-season tournament. So the teams and their team history determines the value of these conference championships. Salute to Mr. Moss. I see you in here. But yeah, just wanted to clear that up about the in-season tournament and the hanging of the banner. As much as the Lakers wanted to push back against it, this is not a this is not the doing of LeBron James. I'll, I'll just remind you guys one more time: the banners are being hung at the order of the NBA. The NBA needs to promote this tournament. I think it did a great job of taking 
our eyes off of football for a short time and we were more so focused on basketball. And I, I, all I think is w- based on the success of this tournament, they're just going to look for more ways to expound this tournament and make it even bigger. Well, the Suns will probably hang it. But we got to move on, you guys. I want to move on to something else. And I want to talk about Kobe Bryant. Um, Obviously, I think it's no secret. There was an interview with one of Kobe Bryant's teammates by the name of Smush Parker. He did an interview recently. And in that interview, he was asked about some old comments he had made about Kobe, his teammate, a guy that he played alongside with for two years. He was asked about these things. Remember, these are this is not and a, a lot of people and there's going to be a lot of people that are going to try to portray this as oh, Smush Parker was out there looking for a podcast just so he can air this out and get his no. Th- this these questions were asked to him. And the only thing he said is the only thing I can do is answer these questions honestly. And he just wanted to s- dispel some of the the lies surrounding some of the things that he said, because his original quote was that. He felt it was overrated playing with Kobe Bryant. And then they asked him to kind of follow up with that and kind of dive deep. And I want to play two clips for you guys. If you did miss the interview, I'm going to play two clips for you guys. That's going to open the door and kind of let you know what he said and why so many Kobe Bryant fans are really in an uproar um, about his comments. And then I think another thing you want to ask yourself is, Why are the Kobe Bryant fans, the Kobe Bryant networks, the Kobe Bryant channels, why have they gone radio silent on this conversation? Some not even mentioning it because they know that there's really no way around some of the things that Smush Parker said. Um, Let's go ahead and get to the first clip. When you Google Smush Parker, Mm -hmm. what comes up 99% of the time? The feud I have with Kobe. Unfortunately. Because mm-hmm. I don't feel like it's been presented in a way that totally makes sense. It doesn't. This is in October 2012. This is years after you're out of L.A. Mm-hmm. And he says a quote that I'm sure... I've heard. You, yep. you, he's talking to Steve Nash, by the way. Mm-hmm. Okay? He, this is him telling the story. I tell Steve, you won MVP, but I was playing with Smush Parker. He's playing with Leandro Barbosa. I'm playing with Smush and Kwame Brown. Smush Parker was the worst. He shouldn't have been in the NBA, but we were too cheap to pay for a point guard. We let him walk on. And that's the quote. And when he says it, of course, there's like, ha ha ha, it's funny. Like he's, you know, whatever, talking trash on like his old teammates. Like that's amusing to people. But at the same time, it was like, where is this coming from? Mm-hmm. What is your understanding of what sparked his comment? So that spark has been there for years. You know, it was, uh, you know, something that, uh, a snowball that I created. I did a small, like, little interview outside of West 4th Street. At the cage? At the cage. You know, somebody was holding a recorder and a little little camera. This was, I want to say, the summer of 2007, my years after L.A. And they asked me about, you know, my time in the NBA, my time as a Laker, my time playing with Kobe Bryant. And when I got to answering about my time with Kobe Bryant, as normal, I answered it honestly. My truth, you know, what my experiences were. And I said it was an overrated experience. Playing with Kobe. Playing with Kobe Bryant. And now everybody who's who's a fan of Kobe's, including the interviewer, was like, hmm, explain, what do you mean? by overrated experience. Because I have inside information, because I dealt with this man for two seasons and my my locker was here, his locker was here for two seasons. I watched this man put on his shoes every day for work. (laughs) He watched me put on my shoes every day for work. Starting backcourt together, you two. Yeah, so I was speaking from my experience. It was overrated because the man never spoke to me. Mm. I wasn't the 12th man on the bench. I wasn't the the call-up from the G League who was trying to just uh, fill a, a roster spot. I started with this man. I was his co-worker. Like, we shared a cubicle side by side. How do you do that for two seasons and never hold a conversation? Never, what's up? Good morning. Do you need anything? Can, can I get you a cup of coffee? You know, how's the family? Nothing. Two seasons, side by side. 
Yeah. And that's what I said. My next comments hurt his feelings, and therefore he had to retaliate. So what did you say next? I shared a story about how I did try to talk to him. You know, I'm like, I'm the starting point guard with him in the backcourt. Let me just try to talk to him. And I, you know, said, did you catch, happen to catch the football game last night? And he looked at me, honestly, looked at me and said, you can't talk to me. You need more accolades under your belt before you come talk to me. And he was dead serious. Mm. I'm not even going to get to, you know, how that's disrespectful as a man. Man to man, just self evident. Yeah. Um, so that set the tone. Never spoke to him for, again or tried to for two years as a starting point guard. And by the way, like you had your best years in LA. In LA. Yes. Yeah. Right? Like it's not. And, <sighs> and, any, and anybody who watches those Laker years so that we worked well together. There was a chemistry. So when I say that you had your best years, I'm not saying, yo, you got to know Smush Parker was an all star. I'm saying that Smush Parker playing off of Kobe Bryant, mm -hmm. scoring 35 a night, was getting steals. Mm -hmm. You were moving the ball. Mm -hmm. You were running the triangle mm -hmm. as best you could with and a guy who didn't want to... And average double-digit uh, points with going with six or seven shots per game. That's the first clip. That's Smush Parker. Kind of like what I tell you guys. Taking us into the locker room. And we live in a day and age where a lot of players are judged based on things that are not always on the court. We see that, right? You know, we just had Dreamers Pro on the show where I said, look, it's okay if you want to cover the more TMZ type of storylines surrounding the NBA because you have a, 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 um, a tough time explaining the X's and O's or explaining the things that actually happened on the court. That's fine. My problem is, why are those same networks avoiding this particular topic about Kobe Bryant? This is a very splashy TMZ type of headline. The man came out. He spit facts. There's not been a single person that's come out and said he's lying. People don't want to accept it because their feelings are hurt. But the fact remains, he's showcasing to the world who Kobe Bryant was. And I think in this next clip, I think this next clip is where he kind of brings it home. And this is where he really exposes not just some of the fans, but he even exposes some of the players. But he doesn't mention any names. I want you guys to check this out. 2012 now, and Kobe is talking about how... Yeah, I mean, I gave him his little 30 minutes of fame again. Man. You know, it's all good. How's the show? I wish him the best of luck. He's playing in China right now, right? He's going over there in a couple months. Wish him the best of luck, man. Maybe you'll get back to the NBA one day. I can see what it's like up close. Man. There's the interview that he gave where he's like being asked, um, you know who was the second leading scorer when you scored 81? I have no Smush idea. Smush Parker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. So, we have four? It's a jab. It's very clear. And then in 2019, He's talking about how, you know, if he's being triple teamed. Well, it depends who's on the team. If I got Smush Parker lagging yeah, behind you, me to shoot, yeah, you best time. believe I'm shooting yeah. that shot. <laughs> if I got D Fish back there, I'm kicking that <laughs> back. 100%. Still. And I'm just like, and so the thing about your name, it almost was a verb for what he was trying to do to you. He was like trying to smush you like a buck. Mm hmm. And it became this joke. And it became a joke that everybody used. Just check the numbers. I was the third leader scorer that team, third in scorer behind him and Lamar Odom, which I should have been as a walk-on player. What does it mean to be the other guy in the picture? Mm -hmm. The other guy without the job security, the other guy who's scrapping for everything, the other guy who is trying to prove himself at a point at which um, he's encountering what one of the greatest superstars of all time considers... Uh, to be leadership, mm -hmm. right? Like this is, I, I think even Kobe later on, not ever specifically addressing you, right? Because he never like said anything about you that was positive on the record. But what he did say, I think referring to this time was like, that wasn't him at his best as a leader. People didn't realize, you know, the, the, the teammate that Kobe really was. You know, one thing that Kobe was a master of was putting on a face for 
the world to see. Yes, as, and as I, and the I, ultimate. And I don't want to. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking negatively negatively about the deceased. Of course, and I think something I want to make clear here too is that like. At a certain point, when you are a historical figure, mm -hmm. like Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan or Will Chamberlain or yeah. Kareem or whoever it is, right? Like, I believe that we should talk honestly because we look to those people as role models. Mm -hmm. And so when someone is like, this is what it was like behind the scenes, mm -hmm. I actually think it's important for us to not mythologize beyond what is deserved even as we are diplomatic and respectful and uh, again i'm not taking away from the player kobe was no no no. In, he, indisputably an all-time great yeah he is, he's one of the greatest no question Com like one of the most decorated athletes to ever play this game and i was i was there i mean this is you just rarely hear someone be like it was overrated because and fill in all of the blanks in a way that'll make people like be like no you're wrong i don't believe you People don't believe you, Smush. Mm -hmm. As players who play with them, we, we have our own conversations and our own stories, and we share the same experiences. But when we get on this right here, yeah, yeah, yeah. when we get in front of the cameras, they say something different, or they don't speak on it at all. Right. Like, I was, uh, I've, I've been the only one. Literally actually, the, only the only person only one. who's been brave enough. Man, right there, man. He calls it out. He says, for whatever reason, man, when a lot of former players or players get in front of the mic, they tuck their tail, man, and they scared to tell the truth about the true experiences, man. This is what he said. He said, we have conversations. He said, we have the conversations behind the scenes. He says, I know what these other guys say and think. When they get in front of the mic, they tuck tail and say something completely different. He said Kobe put on a facade for the media. So there's a lot of people in here that say that wasn't Kobe. Smush Parker has to be lying. Is it because Kobe put on that facade and tricked you? Because we know that there's some validity to what he's saying because we've heard the stories from guys like Kwame Brown. We've heard the rumors about him being a bad teammate. What we haven't heard is we haven't really had someone officially come on the record, a teammate, a player, and verbalize these things. And this is even much more difficult to come across now because now a lot of people just don't want to speak negatively on Kobe Bryant because he has passed. And so now, if you say these things, you're just going to be looked at in a bad light. Because people are going to play the emotional card. People are going to say, why are you speaking on somebody who's moved on now? So now they're just going to play the emotional, the emotional game. And we just don't do that here at FYF Sports. We gotta, we gotta say it like it is. If we, if you just want to talk about what was going on between the lines, we can do that. And this is one of the reasons why, when I, when I talk to people like Dreamers Pro, when I talk to people like the Carcinos and the Tickets, this is why I say you need to keep it about the X's and O's and about what's happening on the court. Because when these like, like similar, like these rumors and these fake narratives that get pushed about guys like LeBron James. OK, make it sloppy. Keep making it messy. Keep trying to mix in all these off the court things. And we'll see how you entertain it when it happens to your favorite player and see it now that is starting to happen to their favorite player. They've all tucked their tail and ran from this story. Not not one person has really attempted to address this head on or even call Smush Parker out. I want to I want to I want to ask everyone, why is that? ESPN tucked a tail, ran from this story. Carcino tucked his tail, ran from this story. Dreamers Pro tucked his tail, ran from this story. The only Kobe fan that I know that even mentioned this 
was taking TV. But even to a certain degree, he tucked his tail and ran from this story and did not have the real conversations necessary that needed to be had about this conversation. That's and this is why a lot of times those types of networks don't look get looked at as credible. Xavier still says this isn't a story, but yet it is a story. It's not a story because why Xavier Steele? See, it's not a story because ESPN doesn't have a vested interest in pushing this story. It's it's not a story because a lot of the major media conglomerates who are now fans of Kobe, it's not. You know, I, I was even, I'm a part of another platform, a couple other platforms, mind you. And when I told one of the directors, okay, this was a while ago. I said, well, I want to do this particular topic on Kobe. He said, well, you, you probably should stay away from that particular topic. It's a bit too sensitive to talk about Kobe right now. So we know that people in media have even been cautious about broaching any topic with Kobe. Not because it's true or false, but be, he know, But I think a lot of people understand that the Kobe fan base it's just extremely irrational and emotional. And that's just the reality of it right here. I'm going to drop the link, right? I'm going to drop the link. Is Smush Parker right? Are other NBA players just simply covering from Kobe? Why are so many people scared? I mean, again, when we see so many basketball channels, dive into the messy side of sports, the non-basketball side of sports. Why do we not see them diving into this particular topic? Why all of a sudden now, when a basketball player comes out and says something, all of a sudden now is not credible? I mean, you're willing to talk about Malika Andrews. You're willing to talk about Stephen A. Smith. You're willing to talk about any other player of this generation. And then Smush, Smush Parker did a great job of closing it out. He caught he called it like it was when you get in front of the mic. People get scared. I want to know why people are scared to talk like this about Kobe. No hitman next. See, we can't just end it right there, Hitman X, because if you if you try to end it right there, that's you just trying to nullify the story. Because when we look at a lot of the other people that talk about these stories, a lot of people allow this to play into the legacy of a player. They allow these stories to play into how they rank particular players, right? Because leadership is one of those things. When we have these conversations, one of the intangibles sometimes is, oh, he was a good leader. He was a, he was a winner. F from the sounds of it, it sounds like the Lakers were winning in spite of Kobe sometimes, not because of Kobe. That's what it sounds like. When you're not willing to talk to your teammates, your other starting guard, when you're not willing to communicate with those guys, they're having success in spite of you, right? Then it puts a different context on his trade demand. Him wanting to get Kwame Brown up out of there. Him needing help. Right? When we hear this, we hear that quote, you need to get it out the mud. Did he truly and honestly get it out the mud? Because these stories are starting to portray Kobe Bryant as a crybaby. And see, Blazers Pip. I can drop the link and I can allow you to come up here and explain to me how I'm wrong. 
But unfortunately, we know people like you can't do that. Y'all get emotional just because we are talking about it. You're 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 upset because we're talking about this. He says, as soon as Kwame and Smush were gone, the Lakers under Kobe's under Kobe's leadership. So so that that's the problem, Mr. Baller Rise. When they win. It's great leadership, but when they lose, it's on Smush Parker and Kwame Brown. Makes no sense right there. See, see how you see. But this is how we know there's an agenda with what you say. See, you're not going to say. When they were bad, that was Kobe's bad leadership. How do we know they couldn't have been much better if he was actually a good leader during those times? How do we truly and honestly know it wasn't Kobe that was compromising the integrity of those teams? I mean, we all know that Kwame Brown and Smush Parker had limitations as players. But we've seen great players elevate lesser guys and get them much farther than they've ever been. If you just simply buy in. And you don't get pissed off based on the team that's surrounding you. Because one, the one thing we know is that a lot of times players, even star players, can't necessarily control who their teammates are. We got dot com says Shaq didn't win without Kobe. Neither the yeah, well, Shaq won a championship in Miami. And Shaq got to an NBA finals in Orlando. That's that's called a winner. Getting to a championship, being able, especially as a young player, one of your first four years in the league. I just want to know why y'all I, I want to know why y'all shy away from talking about this. See, now all of a sudden when it comes to Kobe Bryant, you guys want me to immediately get back to talking to X's and O's. I get to talking about this. Now y'all are begging for me to get back to talking basketball. I've never seen Blazers Pip. You're a Blazer fan. Kobe shit it all over the Blazers. So fanned out, you're begging me to go back to the X's and O's. But then when I talk to X's and O's, then y'all run the narratives and start talking about steroids and all the stuff that has nothing to do with the game. When I try to talk basketball, I'll push narrative. I'm just jumping into y'all world, talking narratives, talking about what a player who was in the locker room said. Blazers Pip. If you need a tissue to wipe the tears out your eye because you feel like Kobe's moved on and we're not supposed to be talking about him, when you come on the panel, bro, I'll send you a box of Kleenex and you can go cry a few extra tears for Kobe. We are not disrespecting the man by talking about this. We're talking basketball. Stop crying. Y'all got to stop crying. Y'all act, act like we standing on the man grave, spitting on his grave or something. Stop crying. I know, I know Blazers Pip. When I but see when I drop the link, I want you to come up. I want you to come up by yourself and explain this. I want you to cry in front of all 300 people in here. But see, now see now, like I said, y'all. Now that is happening to your favorite player. Now, all of a sudden, it's wrong. Look at Wally. He says, Kobe won five rings, didn't he? What's the point? Has nothing to do with five rings. Nobody's talking about winning or losing. Just like Wally, a lot, just like when we have these conversations, just like when I get on all these people that talk narrative and back page storylines about LeBron James and some of these other players like John Morant. Yeah, I don't care that LeBron James has four championships. 
And it does not stop you guys from talking narratives and all this stuff that cannot be proven factually. You still use it in these conversations. I don't want to hear the cries, man. This is, this is, remember, I talk about this a lot. You, you, a lot of you guys are going to be coping right now. You got to cope with this because all you're, you're, You've dished it out for so long, and now it's the reverse course. Now it's happened to your favorite player. See, this is what Jerry says. I'm capping. I just played the interview. Y'all get mad when I show you the information, when I show you the evidence. What am I supposed to do with this information with, from Swish Parker? I want you guys to tell me, what am I supposed to do with it? Because I watched a lot of you guys take very, very uncredible information from a disgraced UFC fighter and run with it like it was fact. But now I get some direct information from Kobe Bryant's teammate, and now you guys want me to bury the story just like everybody else has buried the story. This And we're not talking about early Kobe. Why does everybody keep saying early Kobe? This was the, the smush Parker Kobe was not early Kobe. That was prime Kobe. Ain't no early about it. Early Kobe, we're talking 1996. He had won championships. He had played with Shaq by this time. All that early nonsense is gone. He is no longer an early player. Excuses, man. The excuses are running rampant, man. I'm going to drop the link, man. I'm going to get you guys up here. But we'll see. We'll see who actually comes up here and wants to dive into the messiness. I want to see who comes up here and you want to be honest about this. Right. And I want you to apply it fairly, just like a lot of you guys did not shy away from. Fairly. Equivocating some of the nonsense that you heard about other players do the same with this information. Look at look at Blazers pit. Well, Blazers Pip, we don't know who you are, so I wouldn't I wouldn't have an opportunity to do so, even though I never would. I don't know who you are, nor do I care. What I do know is I, I know that you're crying. Get the tears out your eyes. It's okay. You don't need to cry because we're having a conversation about Kobe. See, what you need to be doing is you need to be going to Twitter you need to message Smush Parker and you need to go cry and complain to Smush Parker for putting this information out there to the world. Don't get y'all be getting mad at me just because I talk about stuff that gets put out there that I feel is credible news. Don't don't get mad. Y'all get mad at me because he talked about his in locker room and on the court experience with Kobe Bryant. And I'm just supposed to just ignore it. Y'all mad because I'm not ignoring it. What kind of nonsense is that? Look at Blazers Pip. He says, when Kobe and those passengers left us, I cried in my sh in my shower. All right. Well, it, it, like I say, if 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 you if you went down that road, then I feel I feel bad for you, Blazers Pip. I feel bad for you. A lot of people have these fake love stories with Kobe Bryant for no real reason. Bro, it's a sad event, man. But I'm not about to sit here and act like I was crying real tears when that happened. Come on, stop it, Blazers Pip. Y'all need to stop lying, man. We got Big Ock in here, man. Salute, man. We got Mahari. Fuck you, mean twin, man. P Rose, Mr. Moss. We got rebranded. What's good? What's up, man? Lamont? Uh, what's up, man? Why is people's why is people so upset about this storyline? Why are people so mad at 
Smush <clears throat> Parker, man. What does Smush do other than tell his tell his truth? I think right now, I think it's, I think it's still um, politically incorrect to speak negative about Kobe Bryant. It's like I think the world in the NBA basketball world, everybody, I think they're still mourning his passing. I mean, it was a tragic demise, obviously, but I mean, we can still tell the truth about the man. I think I think we're disrespecting who he is by lying on him. You know, he said himself, "I had to be an asshole." Same way Jordan said he had to be an asshole. So by by acting like he wasn't an asshole, it was like way disrespecting his mob mentality. Who whoever okay. respected? I never respected mob mentality. Well, I mean, I, res- I respect what I respect the mentality of blacking out in the gym and working hard and you know what I'm saying and trying to be the best you can be and figuring out what it is that makes you tick. I don't I don't respect disrespecting teammates. I've never I don't respect that from anybody, including Michael Jordan. Like I don't respect that from anybody, you know. Um but as far as the work hard, work through it all and the you know the blacking out in the gym thing, like I respect that to the so fullest. so but but so if you don't respect disrespecting teammates, then all Smush did was say that Kobe disrespected his teammates, including him right. directly to his face. So what's so bad about I don't I don't mess with the, that level of disrespect. And if we want to connect it, how does it impact what we think of him as a leader? Was he truly the leader that because he talked about in there? He says when Kobe got in front of the cameras, it was a different facade that he put on specifically for the cameras, a fake front to make. The, the people and the media believe something other than what it was. Is this leadership narrative all a big front because Kobe was good in front of the cameras and he knew how to finesse, say things and put on a certain face. This is what Smush well, you can say. Well, you can say the same thing for Michael Jordan too. I mean, when it came to the cameras, but he I want to speak. I only want to stick to Kobe because Jordan has not had a yeah, player yeah, yeah. or teammate that came out and said he faked in front of the cameras. Kobe just oh, had sure. a teammate uh-huh. said yeah. this man was faking in front of the cameras. That's essentially what he said. Well, that's why I want to stick to Kobe. Me, yeah, let me let me give let me put my two cents in the whole situation. I think the problem here is that many people are still are still mourning the fact that he's not here anymore. <laughs> and because of that, people don't like to touch upon the things that he did or some of the behaviors that he that he did as a player. And when you do that, you touch a nerve with a lot of these people that you see even see in the chat because people don't want to hear those two people don't want to hear those things that the other teammates had had endured with Kobe Bryant. So when I heard Schmidt Sparker, you know, explain his explain what happened during his experience with Kobe Bryant, I mean it wasn't out of maliciousness. It was he was just pretty much telling what he what he experienced. And the only thing you could do at this point is just tell you, just basically explain what happened and what your experiences was. And if people don't like it, then you know what? That's tough. But at the end of the day, by not explaining his, not explaining what he was, what what Kobe did to Smush or other teammates at the time when he was when he was the best player in the NBA, you're basically not telling the entire story of who Kobe Bryant was. Remember, this was the same guy that had that basically fought Shaquille O'Neal multiple times. Like, we cannot forget these things. If we're talking about greatness and talking about the history of basketball, you have to explain the good and the bad and the ugly. You can't just always talk about the good every single time because then you're not being honest with yourself. This is the same thing I talk about sometimes when it came to the Baseball Hall of Fame, when they're not telling the truth about the history of the sport. But when it comes to Kobe, you have to tell the entire the entire story. You can't just cover – you can't just nick and pick – every single any subject that you want because it fits what your narrative is and what i feel that when it comes to the other channels you know the, the channels that you mentioned they're only doing this because they want they because they know they can't they don't want to touch the sword because they know it goes against their central narrative of their channels if they touch the sword and basically admit that smush progress the truth then they get exposed about who they really are so that's my two cents i'll let I somebody mean, else and I, I think is this is what i'm gonna tell people look unless you are a direct family member of Kobe Bryant. I don't want to hear this. It's too close. Are we still in morning talk? Kobe Bryant passed three years ago, going on four. Correct. Sit here and say that it's too soon. No, it's not. It's been years. No, it's not. So, like, I think when we say, I think when I hear that, I think that's just a cop out to not talk about it. Every time it's too soon. 
Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mark, because I got to go to Mr. Moss. I got to go to Mr. Moss yeah. next. I'm just saying, yeah. when that, that too soon talk only applies if you his wife. So if any of you guys can come produce documentation that you was married to Kobe Bryant, I don't want to hear that too soon talk. <laughs> you ain't no, you you wasn't in the bedroom with this man. Y'all just be acting. That was some why. Uh, ain't nobody some still more. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just a lie, bro. Some of y'all have family members that died and y'all ain't still mourning like that. I mean, y'all got to stop lying, bro. Man, come on, man. That, y'all got to stop it, man. Uh, let me go to Mr. Moss, man. It was a sad day. Hey, salute to the whole panel, man. I uh, hope you're having a good day, man. Hey, listen, man. Um, I'm, old, I'm old school, man. So I appreciate uh, Smush Parker. And listen, I'm Cody, Cody Bryant is my favorite player of all time. I'm a Rockets fan. And listen, we need to get back to 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 where guys aren't politically correct, and it's okay to share stories. I mean, I enjoy the insight of that moment between him and Kobe, even even in a negative situation. I want to hear it because a lot of fans don't get to see that, right? And so, I have no problem with Smush Parker said at all. I appreciate it, and also I have no problem with Kobe Bryant um, actions. This is a team sport, right, Lamont? You know this, bro. You've been around it, I think. Everybody ain't going to get along, bro. You know, Mahari talked about baseball, right? The Barry Bonds, the Kobe's, the MJ's. You know, there's so many stories behind the scenes, you know, where the star players, they are legitimate assholes, right? Maybe not to the level of Kobe, that bold and blunt in your face. But, man, I got stories that y'all don't even know about, right? And so there's a level of arrogance. There's a level of insanity. And there's a level of just pure confidence that you must have to be on that type of level. Is it right? Absolutely not. But Mahari said something that, that stuck with me. Like, we have to focus on the good and the bad. And guess what? I agree. Kobe Bryant was not always the best leader. He was still trying to figure things out. Even when he was 10 years in the league, Lamont, because you said 1996, and you said 2006. Well, listen, I mean, he was still trying to figure out how to be a leader after Jack left, right? Phil Jackson talked about it. And so there's going to be highs, there's going to be lows. I mean, there's stories where he did good leadership things. You talked about the camera and putting on the facade. Of course he did that, bro. I mean, that's called being media trained. I mean, that's nothing new here. I mean, why are we acting like Kobe Bryant is going to be the same a-hole in practice that you see on ESPN talking about, you know, Charmin soft tissue to, 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 to Lynn Sandy and those guys. You're not getting that same version of, 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 of Kobe Bryant post-game or pre-game? Absolutely not. I mean, it's called media training. I mean, that's basketball one-on-one. And so before you move on, bro, here's my last point, man. Um, you know, Kobe Bryant's will to win, his 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 insanity and his blackout workouts and et cetera, I mean, that plays a role in all of this. And again, I've been around team sports. I've been around a, a team my whole life. And I've seen guys get disrespected day in and day out in practice, before games, after games. And, and then, last but not least, this story ain't nothing new. What Smush Parker said, bro, the whole NBA knows how Kobe Bryant was. This ain't nothing new, right? He's just coming out now saying it, and I do agree with you. He's passed on, but, you know, we can't use that excuse, man. If anything, I want more players to come out who played with him and share these stories, right, negative or positive. And so just because Smush Parker says something in a bad light and puts Kobe out there in that way, we don't have to view it that way. I mean, that's just who he was. Because guess what? I guarantee you this, you know, some of those same disrespectful things that Kobe Bryant did to Smush Parker, I guarantee you that he did some of those same things to a Sasha Vujicic, maybe to like, you know, um, some of his other guys when he won championships. But when they got that ring on their finger, they clapping, they happy. Listen, there's going to be sad days. There's going to be good days. There's going to be okay days throughout the NBA season. Every day is not going to be kumbaya. And, and again, it's called winning at all costs. At the end of the day, it's about putting championships on your finger. Ain't no friends in sports, man. Period. So I, I got no issue with Smush Parker. Uh, he ain't wrong. He Listen, he's just doing what he's supposed to do. And I have no issue with the late Kobe Bean Bryant, bro. He's a winner. You win by any means necessary. And again... Any of us teammates who play with Kobe Bryant would have loved to play with him because you knew you had a chance to win a championship despite the disrespect. Bro, this ain't AU basketball of the month. This is a National Basketball Association. These are grown men. This is you talking about he didn't ask for a cup of coffee or say how you or or say how your day is going. So what, man? Go strap up and go play basketball, man. Like to me, that's the only part I kind of that kind of got me like a little turned off by Smush is when he said he didn't ask for a cup of coffee and all that nonsense. Bro. 
This is the NBA, man. Go get your own goddamn coffee and go strap up and go play basketball. That's it. But listen, man, being, this story. He wasn't being literal. What'd you say? He wasn't meaning literal. Like, hey, go, go. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, no, no. Listen, li- listen. And again, I agree with that. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on Mr. Moss. Mr. Moss, Mr. Moss, I got stuff. You taking this down a road. You trying to take it down a road about winning. This isn't about winning. This isn't about well, what you got to do to win. No, that's the argument you're trying to create. This is about the individual. No, I'm not. This is no, I'm no, not. no. This is this 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 conversation. Because one thing Smush Parker didn't talk about. Smush Parker didn't talk about winning or losing. He was talking about the player. He was talking about the person. And see, we can try to say it's okay to be that type of player and person because of the results. Because he got certain results that you guys are fine with so because none of you guys would say if 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 he wasn't with the lakers let's say he was able to stay with that charlotte hornet team and Mm -hmm. he doesn't have those results if stories like this similarly came out and he had zero championships even though albeit a great statistical career with the charlotte hornets if these stories came out you couldn't use winning we're talking about the individual and winning doesn't just and that's why i said it sounds as if Sometimes they potentially won in spite of Kobe, not always because of his leadership. Because I'm looking at an article here, and so and the reason why I got to talk about leadership, I'm looking at an article here, and it's titled "Why Kobe Bryant Is Top Ten All Time in NBA History." And the number one reason that they say it says it says they have Kobe Bryant listed as top ten all time because of his leadership, the power of preparation. Uh, focus on the process, not the outcome. Talking about how he treated his teammates. One of the staples to this article right here, it says Kobe was known for having incredible leadership skills that enabled his team to succeed through his career. He was a strong communicator who seemed to understand everyone's role within the team dynamic. According to Smush Parker, Kobe Bryant was not a strong communicator and did not understand everyone's role within the team dynamic. Yet, when when a lot of people who run and use these types of clips and excerpts and they try to use these elements to say this is why we have them top 10 but yet now players are coming out they're killing that narrative people so now you have, on, and so now you have to redefine what leadership is now you're putting a new said, definition bro. no i'm not well, saying no. you're wrong but okay. with it, you, what you're saying is wrong is you are trying to okay it because nope, I'm, not, I'm not you doing okay you, it, bro. you you no, you okay see i'm i'm saying you can be an asshole and win championships it doesn't nullify the fact that you are asshole it doesn't nullify the fact did that you, you not hear, trash did league. you not hear what i said my, my so, first mom, so what bro, we got to do said, is what, what i'm saying is the winning is just a result it still doesn't change the fact that it sounds as if kobe bryant was a completely garbage leader did you not and hear when sad. I said that Kobe and, and, Bryant was not and, always a good leader? I said, yeah, but the, that. I said but, but the thing I is, that. okay, and I get that. But what you're doing is you you say all of that is okay because of the team result at the end. But then how does this information because this and information somebody mute, up, yeah, somebody got to mute. This information more so plays into the individual asset aspect, not the team aspect. <laughs> He's not, okay. he's not quick, we're not Lamont. talking about quick, we're not talking about team results here, which okay, that's again, fair. That's fair. I know. Lamont, can we be honest? Like, hold on, bro, hold on. I, I want to get to everybody bro, just, else. I got to, I got to get to Tyson Jay. I got to get to right. a lot of people. I, I, let me get. I got to get to Twin. Uh, let me go to Twin real quick, and then I'm gonna go to a couple other people. Man, go ahead, man. So I, I, I find this, I find this uh, funny because if this was a story about a LeBron, about LeBron James, which for some some reason any story that comes about out about him is deemed automatically true, we would sit here and talk about that LeBron James isn't a good leader. Even though there's video of him on the floor pointing out where people need to be, giving out defensive calls, telling how telling people where they need to go, actually doing leadership shit. You see that out of LeBron James. This comes out about Kobe Bryant, and we want to dismiss it, like you said, due to the result at the end. At the end of the day, I completely disagree with, with, with what Mr. Ma said because I played on plenty of teams. Um I played on plenty of basketball teams and football teams and baseball teams. I did a lot of different sports growing up and as an adult. And guess what you need to do? You understand those dudes in the locker room with your brothers. They're going into battle with you on the court, on the field, on the diamond. So to sit here and say it's cool to treat people like shit because of the end result is wrong. 
Kobe Bryant, there's this leadership aspect that is that's always given people like Kobe Bryant and Jordan has always been bullshit. They were nothing more than divas who got the pieces they needed around them to win. And they, they taking nothing away from their game on the court. They were just shitty ass individuals. And to sit here and say that doesn't mean it takes away from what they did on the court. They were phenomenal players, but that don't change the fact that they were assholes. Like you said, you shouldn't treat your teammates like shit. And that's, I think, probably maybe that article that you just read coming out trying to put Kobe in the top 10 is exactly why Smush Parker came out. Because he's coming out sitting here saying he wasn't no motherfucking leader. That's a lie. He treated us like shit. He just happened to win. And y'all want, and they want to give him the moniker of a leader. He wasn't no goddamn leader, and we need to stop it. Let me go to let me go to Jay real quick. Jay, what you got on this? Jay, you on mute. All right, Jay, you ready? Oh, there he is. Go ahead, Jay. Cook. Man, I feel like I don't get why people want to be so hard on Kobe because I can say the same thing about LeBron. I think he could be a shitty leader sometimes too. With him quitting in 2010, him always trading players when things don't go his way. I mean, look. We all know Kobe had his flaws and he wasn't perfect. Nobody's saying Kobe's perfect. By the end of the day, I just don't appreciate all the Kobe slander that's that's going on. It's okay, so right. what did Smush Parker say that was slander? Now, I'm not talking. Now, I'm not talking about just him. I'm talking about just people in general. Okay, so but know, we're talking we about we're wasn't. talking about what Smush Parker said. So what did Smush Parker say that you consider to be slander? Because we're only talking about what Smush said. Well, you're talking about that, then yeah, I can't really get into specifics. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> He's just being sensitive. All right. Slander hey, I'm not being sensitive. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like we talk, I'm just talking about what y'all talking about. Up here. I'm just talking about like what y'all what y'all right? talking about up here. Yeah, we're we're talking about what Kush Smush Parker said. You say other people in general. So give us, I guess, who 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 slandered? Did anyone up here slander him? Like, what are you talking about? No, y'all, y'all talking no, like y'all calling him like a terrible leader. Like, how was Kobe a terrible leader? I mean, we're seeing it. Well, his teammate, his teammate that was lacing him up right next to him, just gave us a a summary of two years with Kobe next to this man in the locker room, explaining to us. In an hour-long interview, I just couldn't play the whole interview of how he was a horrendous leader, how he treated his teammates horrendously. How how do you – I, I don't know a team that I've been a part of where I could literally say I've never had a conversation with any particular player. That's wild. This man, came out, wild. Said I, this man came out and said I never had a conversation with him. Like, you know how hard that is to do when you in hotels, when you're traveling mm-hmm. – before pregame, postgame, shoot around. You know how hard it like you have to intentionally avoid communicating with your teammates to make that possible. That's extremely hard to do. And that's a damning allegation when a teammate says that. And then when you look during that time frame, how unsuccessful that group was, it should point to his leadership because to me, it kind of would label Kobe as more so of a front runner. When maybe look, Smush Parker. Basketball wise, wasn't the greatest, but he was the best that the Lakers had. Did Kobe make the most of what he had, or did it? It almost sounds as if he moped his way until better talent came around and he started to front run once that better talent was there, right? But Lamont, but, but Lamont the thing is, Kobe stuck with his team and he wasn't asking that's, to trade for players. But that's not, you, no, hold on, Kobe, Kobe, first of all, Kobe did ask for Kwame Brown to be traded. Kobe did publicly come out and tell Stephen A. Smith, if they don't bring better help in, I want to be traded. So Kobe did come out and slander. He, he came out well, he came out publicly and killed Kwame Brown. He came out publicly and killed Smush Parker and other teammates in history. So that's yep. all, that, what, what you're saying right there. Is I'm, not just saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Kobe, Kobe was Kobe, damn near least, Chicago Bull. Kobe, like what? I was just about Kobe, to say that. That's a fact. The thing is, at least Kobe didn't quit, man. Y'all did some LeBron. Wait, wait, wait. So he didn't quit? So what was what no, was going quit. Hold on. What was blowing a 3-1 lead and not shooting the ball in game seven? Was that not quitting? They said they said he was a ball hogger, so he wanted to shoot. Oh, he my God. So, 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 so he hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Brandon and Jay, look, we're going down a road of of silliness that I'm not trying to go down. That's not what we're talking about. You're right. They're quitting you're right. stuff, Jay. Thank you. Because, Jay, Jay, you're trying to introduce elements in that are just silly. And see, it's, it, you're, I can tell that you're a Kobe fan, and you just don't want to accept the fact, damn, this man was a great player, but 
he was a completely garbage leader. That that's just probably the 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 ele- when when you walk away from this conversation, you might just have to walk away and live with that. You can't have it all when you talk about these great players. And one of the things that is starting to really trickle out is that Kobe Bryant might have just been a trash leader. And when we have these conversations about some of the greatest players of all time and we start to talk about the intangibles, that's just one intangible you might have to throw into the garbage can. Can I can right? I go Lamont? Can I respond? Go ahead, to that? Tyson. Yeah, go ahead, Tyson. Just because you you saying that for that team in that situation he was a bad leader, but you go to other situations was he a good leader then? When he I'm just saying it's more than one way to lead, right? You no. you can be the friendly guy, you could be the you know rah rah guy and lead your team. You guys get on my back, hey, I got y'all pick pick me up type of player, or you could just go out there and be a dog, lead by example, and say y'all either getting on this train or y'all not. You know what I'm saying? And fuck, you know, F, F your feelings, like like the name of your show, fuck your feelings. Fuck what you're going through. We're here to play hoops. And this is what I do. And I do it the best, better than anybody in the league. And and y'all got to get on with me. He knew that team was garbage, bro. He knew he knew he couldn't win a championship with Smush Parker and Kwame Brown. And Kobe's about winning. So maybe he did turn him back on them dudes. And I fault him for that. I'm not saying that's not, uh, uh, that's a good thing to do. But to say he's a bad leader for his career, and just label him a bad leader in that situation, sure. But when Paul Gasol got there and he got some players he knew he can win with, these players are smart, bro. LeBron knows when he's not winning a championship. And you see that in his play sometimes, and you see that in his effort, and you can't dispute that. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to call Kobe a front runner, and I'm a LeBron fan, I'm not the biggest Kobe fan, but to call LeBron a front runner too, these players know when their team is championship level. They're that smart, they're that intelligent. So I think Kobe, no, he didn't give his best effort in building that team and saying, I'm not winning the championship with these bums, so I'm going to play. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to get my points. I'm going to go crazy, but we're not winning no championship, bro. So I'm not I'm not investing my time and effort with bums. You, you know and, what, though, Tyson? I was talking to Rick Adelman, a coach. He used to coach in the NBA. Right. And I was at a camp, and he said, You you only know when a leader is a true leader when he can lead when times are rough, when you down 20 and he's still being a leader. When when, like you said, you don't have the best team potentially around you, yet you can still lead. See, when you anybody can lead, like for example, me and Big Ock hooping, we up 20. And Ock, you know that feeling. You up 20. It's easy to high five and uplift guys when he misses a shot when you up 20. No, right. no, no. But, but, when it's, but hold on. But when it's that championship game and you down 15, eight minutes on the clock, you know what you see? You see a lot of pouty faces. You see a lot of arguing. You see a lot of guys mm-hmm. because because it's when the in the tough time, it's when the toughest of times are there, that's who you truly are. And that's what I believe basketball always shows. I agree. And that's where yeah. the separators but, are. But, but you being a little disingenuous. So, so what I'm saying is Kobe's been in those situations. Me, but if you're sitting here telling me that Kobe couldn't lead because, unfortunately, in these particular years, he just didn't have that elite championship level team around him. That's, that's not that's what I'm saying. To me, to me, that's indicative of who he truly was as a leader. If you cannot that's, lead when, it's, when you're at the bottom, then you definitely – Ain't a real leader when you at the top. You just put it on the plate. My bad. No, 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 go ahead. Can I, can, I, can I jump in there real quick, Tyson? Go ahead. Of course, just, of course. Hello, so brother. What's going on, fam? I just, I just want to ask real quick, like, what y'all think, like, as far as the type of leader Kobe is, because, I mean, you got it's, you got some certain hoopers that if you playing with somebody, like, for instance, who one of Kobe's better shooters, I don't know if if they're having a, um, who would you say was one of one of the better shooters Kobe played with? Uh, you could probably go with uh, just a pure shooter. Derek Fisher, Derek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fisher. E Fish, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Derek Fisher. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, yeah. so you you think you think Fisher? You think Kobe was one of the type of leaders where it might might be the third quarter and Fish not really hitting, and we might they might be down twelve. You think he the type to go and tell Fish like, yo, keep shooting. I'm a, you know like just keep shooting. Don't just let it fly. Like those those are type of those are type of leaders I like to play with. Like somebody where I'm, I yeah. might, you know, the jump hook might not be falling today. You know what I'm saying? I might be two of eight at halftime. And he's like, man, that's it's going to drop. Just keep, you know, go to it. Go to it. It's going to drop. I like that type of leader. I don't like no no play that's all. Oh, man, it's just not your night. Give me the ball. Like, 
I know? yeah, I agree. And I think Kobe was the type of leader to say, give me the ball. And I don't know if he was that guy. Like I said, I'm not in the locker room. We can only go by a council what we heard, obviously. But that's not the only type of leader, Ox. So, so to no, say somebody's right, a bad right. leader because they're not that player, to me, it, it's, not, it's not fair. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to go to – if you still miss him, but I'm still out there on the court and I'm giving 100, 110 and mm -hmm. doing what I do, then I'm still leading. Now, if I'm mm -hmm. throwing in the towel and, you know what I'm saying, and, and pointing fingers at Derek Fisher, that makes me a bad leader. But mm -hmm. I'm getting out there still giving 110 and doing what I'm doing, and Derek Fisher know he's fucking up. I ain't got to tell him shit. You know what I'm saying? Mean, like, how, like, you know what I'm saying? Derek you, Fisher didn't even know he, he going to halftime. Like, damn, yeah, I got to get but it But see, that's the he thing. He already know. Tyson, that's the thing. Anybody that plays basketball knows. I play basketball. Miss, miss, missing shots ain't fucking up. It's just missing right. shots. What happens is. Well, he know he got to knock those down. I shouldn't say fucking no, up. No, 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 no. He no, know he got to knock those down. No, you know, it's not even that. Because when you a shooter, some days you got it, some days you don't. Like Fair. I was, a, I was a shooter when I played. If I walked into a gym, like for example, when we played Cleveland State, they just had this weird gym where every time I walked in this thing, it felt cold. When my hands felt cold, I can't shoot that day for whatever reason. That, the, shoot, shooters are like divas almost. So if you understand the dynamic of shooters and you understand this, the things right. that make them tick, I mean, the thing is, one of the primary elements to a shooter is getting into their head or not swinging them in the ball when they open. I mean. If you if you don't understand your players, what makes them tick, you're gonna be a bad leader. If you just say, "Look, if you don't got it going, I'm shooting every shot tonight," that's indicative of a bad leader because that means you're just putting it all on you. That's that's uh, unfortunately, it's just not signs of a good leader. If that means Kobe was good enough to take it and do it himself and try to get the win by himself, that's indicative of him being a hell of an individual player. But as a leader. That's definitely a sign of a bad leader. Man, I'm on. Can I say something real quick? I disagree. Um, hold on. Oh, yeah. Re hold on, Rebrand. Let me go to Kenneth, and then I'm coming to you right next. Let me go to uh, Kenneth. Though. Go ahead, Kenneth. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Lamont? Thanks for letting me up. Uh, I gotta. I gotta agree with Lamont. Uh, and, and I take it a step further. Uh, 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 Kobe Bryant just might have been just a bad teammate. And when we talk about uh, uh, Kobe, oh, well, he's a winner. He's a winner. You know what's funny? Um, how many championships did the Lakers lose out on because of that Shaq Kobe feud? I mean, I, 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 there's not one Laker fan that I came across that says they shouldn't at least won about two, maybe two more. And uh, and I remember during that during that feud, Shaq's thing was, "Hey, we winning with you know with the ball going through me. When we don't win anymore, it's your time to shine." Kobe wasn't trying to hear that. You know, so that, I mean, really, I think he sabotaged, I don't want to quote unquote sabotage, that maybe a strong word, but 2004 against Detroit, Kobe shot them out of that, shot, shot them out of that series. So, I mean, it's not, and then even when you're talking about leadership, there is, one of the brothers earlier said there's a, there's different types of leaders and yeah, there is. But one thing that I think that really hurt that team that Swish Parker was on was that maybe they didn't have what they had when they were, when they were winning, that was Derek Fisher. I think Derek Fisher was a different type of leader than Kobe, much like how Pippen was a different type of leader than uh, to Jordan. Agreed. And so it kind of it kind of level leveled things out. And then, like I think Lamont was saying, when you're winning, a lot a lot of stuff can get overlooked. But I have a lot of respect for what Smush said. I'm gonna say one last thing. Um, I, I, again, I have a lot of respect for what Smush said. Um, People were saying, you know, oh, well, Kobe can't defend himself, and why was Smith Parker waiting until now? To... Smith Parker has always said this stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the only reason, let's be honest, why Kobe has an issue with Smush Parker is because Smush Parker publicly called him out. That's it. That's it. That's all. If he would have been a good little, you know, boy, a good little player, and just kind of sat back and let Kobe, you know, make a little messed up remarks like, "Well, you're beneath me. We're two grown ass men, but you're, be but because you're a better basketball player, I'm beneath you, so you can't talk to me." That's crazy. So that's all I gotta say. Thanks for letting me have a mark. Appreciate that. Let me go to rebranding. What you got, man? Hey, so I just want to say this real quick. I ain't gonna be long winded. Um. Just because you are a better player does not mean you get to disrespect anyone. Um, and anyone that's even in the comments talking about, oh, well, you know, Kobe was a star. Like, Kobe was the man. Like, I don't usually get into the whole beta and alpha shit, but you all sound like a bunch of beta niggas. What you're telling us is that you are okay with the man disrespecting you if he is more skilled than you. That's basically what y'all are saying. 
like at the end of the day. So it's like Kobe RP to him, but he just he wasn't a great leader. He was disrespectful as shit. We have the videos of it. And for people that are saying he's bitter, was it bitter when Kobe was bringing him up unprovoked? When 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 Kobe was talking about who am I going to pass it to smush? Niggas didn't ask him about smush. So who was really bitter? And then y'all wants to care about Kobe's family. But then when Kobe was doing all this shit, taunting him, oh, yeah, he's playing in China. Smush had a family, too. Then y'all tell us. And then lastly, y'all tell us the, the whole Kobe. Well, the 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 mentality like the uh, LeBron and he controls the media. But then people don't for people forget that when Charles called out Kobe for being a bad teammate in the game seven where he's seen threatening him and shit. So it's like at the end of the day, like, listen, Respect to Kobe, RIP to Kobe, but he was a fucking asshole. Like, y'all niggas got to stop nut hugging. And that's all. Okay, can I go Lamont? Yeah, go ahead and cook, man. So that that's 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 all I that's I think that's what I think we're all in agreement up here. Like when it comes to playing on the court, you can't really take nothing away from Kobe. He was a phenomenal player. But to sit here and say there's different type of leaderships, you're right. There's good leadership and there's bad leadership. If mm-hmm. I'm on the court with you and you feel like you can't trust me as a teammate, I don't want and you're and you're the star player and you're calling like he said because he beat me to it. Nobody was saying shit when Kobe was calling out Smush publicly, talking shit about his teammates publicly. That's what I'm saying. I, I could have sworn y'all killed LeBron when LeBron said anything about his teammates, but now we're giving Kobe a pass. That's not how that works. If you're sitting here saying LeBron has to respect his teammates, why are we why aren't we demanding? Kobe Bryant respect his teammates. People during the time were sitting here saying Kobe has every right to call out his teammates. So there were people agreeing with Kobe Bryant in the media. How do you think that helped those players play better during that time frame? Like, y'all sound crazy, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, we ain't got to say take nothing away from him as a player, but he was just a shitty-ass leader. There's nothing wrong with that. Nah, I, I I disagree. I I I, I disagree. I, just I because, look. just because. Look, real quick. Just because somebody is is hard on players or deemed disrespectful, Bill Belichick is disrespectful than the motherfucker, right? You know what I'm saying? And is hard on his players. Greg Popovich sometimes can be very hard on his players and different things like that. It's, it's player coaches, and there's player co- there's coaches that are not player coaches. That doesn't make them bad leaders, bro. You don't have to be friendly necessarily to be a good leader. Michael Jordan, you don't tell me Michael Jordan is not a great leader because he's hard on his teammates. Don't tell me you, you can't win five championships or oh, let's just not even say five. Let's say two, even two championships back to back and go to three in a row. Uh, um, uh, because people gonna bring up Shaq or whatever. Uh, uh, three in a row as the best player to me and not be uh, a leader. Well, Maybe yeah, have, you can't maybe name you should ask if yourself. you can name me more players like that, then oh, I would oh, love to hear them. But maybe you should ask yourself, was he really the leader of those teams? Name because, me the other players that because, we don't give credit to for their but, leadership hold on, as hold the on. best player no. of the team that's that's no, but, that's but, winning that much. Tyson, name me the Tyson. player, Lamont. Here's the problem. I've played a lot. Okay. <laughs> and then when we talk about when we talk about good and bad leaders, it's only really two types you either a good leader or you're a bad leader i've i've it's, it's i don't know leader like styles, this, leader, the one the, one of the Lamar. biggest on, you know one of the about. most fakest most fictitious things that i've heard people say is you can be a leader by going out and just scoring the basketball a ton and you don't have to do nothing else no that is not true at all i agree with that they're, they're, so when y'all try to say oh kobe can lead with his play no there's no no you cannot lead with your like being a leader it's a lot more responsibilities that come into that sentiment than just going out there hooping they they I all agree. are going to go out there and hoop the other responsibilities number one attribute of a great leader is the communication point being able however you got to communicate it whether you got to whether you know that with this guy he responds to getting cussed out or this right. guy responds when you pull him off to the side and you don't try to and call him out and show him up in front of the other teammates a right. good leader is going to understand that dynamic. Okay, this guy, I gotta, I gotta wake this dude up. I gotta cuss him out in front of everybody to wake him up. I, this right. guy, so if you don't understand, you. great leaders understand that. Mm-hmm. And when when I hear these stories about Kobe Bryant completely shutting off his teammates and not communicating at all 
to me, that just tells me right there, there's no way he was a good leader. There's just in no that way. situation, right? But when no, we talk about there's, the championship, there's no you just being a leader is nah, not situational. You, nah, you cannot nah, be a situational nah. leader. There's no such nah, thing as I can be a leader. Nobody's sometime. going. Nobody's going to be a great leader no, every year no, and do this. Like, nobody's going to act right in every situation. It's like it's like Udonis Haslam with the Miami Heat when they was when they was an eight seed. And things weren't going their way, and nobody thought they can get to the finals. He was still the leader of that team. When they got to the NBA finals, he was still the leader of that team. So you right. got, you can you got to be the leader when it ain't going your way. You got to be the leader when it is going your way. And when these stories these stories only prove that when the going got tough, Kobe was not a good leader. By default, to me, that makes you not a leader. If you cannot lead when things are bad, you can't call yourself a leader when things are good. By default. Thank you. Thank you. I disagree, but that's fine. That, I mean, that's your point of view on it, since you no. want to uh, push this Damn. narrative. But if but if, it, if, it Powell, only if, Powell, if Powell and Derek it Fisher and all these things got nothing but glowing things to say and call them a good leader, then what was that? That was just, you know what I'm saying? What, no. what, what are we doing there? But remember what I said, though. When they had Paul Gasol and those guys, when, when they had Paul Gasol and those guys, things were good, much better talent. You went 100%. doing a lot of winning. But remember to me, your true indicator of if you are a leader is when the going gets tough and you at the bottom. When you at the bottom, can you still lead? Can you still be positive? Can you galvanize some of these guys to play better and maybe make a better push than we thought you could make? Well, if that's your definition of a good leader, then no, it's not my definition. But the, the problem is. Dick, was Kobe a leader when the going got tough and when things weren't going this way? I'm asking you, Tyson. In those situations with, with Paul Gasol, yeah, they had games where they no, was, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, yeah, that counts has, too. You can't just discount Parker, that, bro. No, you, when he has you can't discount Parker, that. You want to just point to that no, situation? No, I'm not discounting that because I said you can front run and easily portray No, but they always wasn't front winning. running. They had games so, where they were down. No, they had I'm, games where they were up on, against Tyson, it. Tyson, Tyson. I'm specifically talking about exactly, those exactly. years with Kwame Brown and Smush Parker. Was okay, Kobe he was Brown a bad a leader, leader then. That's fine. Okay, so, so, if, so if Kobe was not a good leader with those teams, right? he's not by default the leader of the good teams. That's not true, though. <laughs> you cannot true. front run. You leadership. can't say that because you just you making cannot a front narrative. run leadership. You can only be a leader. You got to be a leader all the time when you getting your ass kicked. Was Kobe the leader, be a leader on those Lakers teams? Yes or no? No, that one championship. So we can bring up LeBron from running in twenty ten in the playoffs when everything Hold was going this way. But he Jay, was but the Jay, court, Jay, but Jay, when I do a when I do a LeBron leadership team, when I do a LeBron leadership stream, when you do a LeBron James leadership stream, Jay. When you do a stream on LeBron James's leadership, I'll pull up and I'll listen to you say that. Unfortunately, right now for you, we're talking about you Kobe. Man, right, no, you're deflecting. You're deflecting. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not deflecting. What I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, you can't pick and choose when to be a leader. Okay, but every person has times where they not that when they when they make mistakes, bro. Or maybe you know, maybe he learned a lesson from that. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. But I, at the end of the day, when those teams was going back to back to back championships, he was the leader of that team. So no. he, you got to give him credit you, for that. You are just labeling him the leader. That's what they say, though. I'm not what? just labeling that. Those, those people didn't call him the leader it's, of the team. It's like big, like I said, it's easy. Yes or no? Did those it's people? Easy. At, did they, did they call him the leader of those teams? No. They it's did easy. it. No. You, 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 what, you, what happens is wow. the, lab, the label of leadership automatically gets applied to him because he was the best player. Just like with the Jordan. No, Paul Gasol hold and on. them did uh, 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 Hold on, hold on. Or then pull up those scripts and then quote them, and then we'll ride with you as facts. Otherwise, you're just making stuff up as you go. But you see, we know this is true because cool. during the Scottie cool. Pippen and Michael Jordan years, Everybody thought Jordan was the leader. But mm -hmm. then after it's all said and done, and then they interviewed Bill Wington, Luke Lonely, Tony Kukoc, John Paxson, and these other guys. You know what all these other guys said? What they said? They said Scottie Pippen was the leader. Right. They said, hold on. So the thing is, everybody just applied leadership to Jordan because he was the best player. But mm -hmm. when you actually talk to the players, they said Pippen was the leader. See, so, see that that's that's the so the thing is that 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 the best player thing can trick you. You apply everything. 100%. And I think this is what's happening with Kobe. He was the best player. So you're just giving him every other intangible that, that you might think he has, whether it's proven or not. 
And in this case, things are starting to come to light and fruition that he wasn't the best leader or even the leader of that team. And it probably could have more so been the guys like the Derek Fishers or the Shaquille O'Neal's, the guys who have shown themselves to be much better communicators than a guy like Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. He said, Lamont really just said Kobe wasn't the leaders of those Lakers teams. No, he was the best player. You can, you can be the best player, but not the leader. Just like we saw with Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers. What did Tyron Lue say? When, as soon as they got Russell Westbrook, you know what he said? We finally have a leader. Well, well, here's what Paul Gasol <laughs> here's what here's what Paul you know, Gasol you said. Be the best you want to quote? You want to quote, right? This what no, Paul no, said. Give me this the what link. Paul Gasol. Give me the link. Paul, put it on the screen. This is what Paul Gasol says about Kobe Bryant. He made me a uh, he made me a better as a player. He showed me what it took to be a better leader and one of the best, if not the best, if not the best player on the floor. So that's just a simple quote right there that gives you just a little uh, glimpse into what he what he did okay. for Paul Gasol. Okay, but well, they were winning, right? See, <laughs> now you okay. you wanted the quote. Now you got the quote. So he's the, the leader quote. of the team, no, right? That, and all I'm doing is I'm putting it in the context because I I I've, I'm a bit, I'm a big advocate of if you are a leader, you got to lead all the time. And just like okay. what Rick Adelman okay. told me, Rick Adelman told me you can't. He says you can't just lead. When things are going great, when you win in championships, that's easy to do. So that's called front running. It's hard to lead when you are below 500 team and you got Smush Parker and Kobe Bryant in the locker room next to you. That's when it becomes hard to lead because you know you're going out into the court with less than most of the other teams and it's harder. That's when your leadership starts to shine. And I think this is one of the reasons why, even though he didn't win the championship, that fourth year in the league, LeBron showcased a lot of leadership with that team because a lot of people know that that team really, without LeBron James, was a lottery team. That That's fine. And you could give uh, um, LeBron credit for that. Like I said, I'm a LeBron fan. But you also got to point to the owner saying he quit in the, in the, in the finals yeah. and all these other things. So was he a leader then? So since he showed that, does that make him a bad leader for his career? Of course not. That's just nonsense. So don't apply that to Kobe. Do you think he quit? I, I, I think he knew that series was over do, and do he didn't he give – he, I don't, yeah, if you want to say not giving 110 is, is quitting, did you, yes. Did you see his stat line? That's not, see, there you go. There you go. I mean, you go hold on. Stat line. Okay, so, but, but hold on. If you say he quit, you should have something with regards to. No, you can look at the game and see, How did see he him on. You, he he going to score the ball. We know that. But you can see him on defense and his rotations and the way his lacquer, the way he hung his head after the ball went through the hoop. When the when the offense scored, those type of things and his okay. body language on, showed me on. that he wasn't so, giving a hundred percent. So from so you're saying he quit because he had bad body language, and you remember all go. of that, See, right? That's, wanted, that's he, what you remember, right? He won, he won, you no, 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 no. That's Come what on, you remember, bro. right? See, this is what I'm saying, y'all. What happens with you, Tyson, is you I'm start. Just, I'm just make, from my point of view. Is, that's all I can look no, at it. No, no, no. You have no point of view because to say that you remember, I do have a point of view. To say that you remember that game in LeBron James' body language verbatim tells me you're lying. And a lot of people act like what? they can recall these games by memory. You don't. You're lying. How are you going to tell me I'm lying, bro? Because, because, okay, so tell me. Tell me when did he display this bad body language? And I can pull up the film right now, and we can see if we can identify it. You want the you want the time and what, what quarter it was and all this and that? Okay. All That's right. what you want, bro? Okay, so what memorable moment to you showcased he quit on his team? I'm saying when when it was going bad and it was down by a bunch of points, he knew those games were over. His body language, his defensive rotations, and those type of things look bad. When players were missing shots in certain situations, that they would have an open it's shot. That's a lie, he had That's a lie. Okay. This is we all, can, we you, can, you, you're talking in generalities because you're trying to come up with lies. I don't remember verbatim. And the problem exactly is when, when you look up his stat line for that game, uh -huh. it's an amazing stat line, but you're going to say he quit. And you're Bro, only saying he quit because the owner said he quit. Because you're only saying it. You're only saying it because somebody else said it. You saying what you saying because of what Smush Parker, no, uh, Smush Parker said. No, what I'm saying is what I'm saying is we're taking right, it. right we're or taking, wrong. We're taking his. We we're taking it not from Dan Gilbert, a guy who wasn't in the locker room, a guy who wasn't on the court. This is more credible because this is a guy 
that was in the locker room that had the conversations that was on so the, the owner of the team don't have no credibility is what so you're telling what, me. no he has and you can take that for what you want but unfortunately we're talking about kobe bryant and so now you that we're talking bring up so, lebron hold on one second hold on one second tyson see that's and we want to y'all want to turn this into a lebron conversation to avoid the element of talking about the kobe bryant y'all want to Give Kobe Bryant all the attributes of being a great leader because they won, but you don't want to give them the attributes of being a horrendous leader when they lost. And I think you cannot be a, it's just like this. If Co Kobe Bryant's a great score, right? Co Co Kobe Bryant is a great score. Is he ever not a great score? Yes, he has bad, bad games, sure. No, is there years where he's not a great scorer? Oh, or, years? Or, or, no. or what, so the years where his great scoring didn't lead to championships, does that mean he wasn't a great scorer? Of course not. So he's always a great scorer? Always a great scorer. Win or lose. In in year in seasons, yes, not in games. But if, but if we run with your but so if we run so if we run with your logic and we start to hand pick years, it, but is if if we're starting to hand pick these years. We can just start playing with that logic, right? No, I don't. I don't get the correlation. So, so all I'm saying is this: we can't pick and choose. You can't pick and choose when to apply these labels. You either are something, and in basketball, you you start to showcase what you are when times are toughest. It's easy to put on a front, like Smush Parker said. When, when you want to front run in front of the media, when you want to portray a certain image, when you want to put on a face, when you have the Paul Gasol's or Shaquille O'Neal's next to you and things are going good, you got Phil Jackson, a hell of a leader in the locker room. You got guys like Shaquille O'Neal, D Fish, other vets surrounding you that can carry that load of leadership. But you still want to apply all the leadership to Kobe when things are going bad. How is that not the truest sign of who you are? All, I, all I'm gonna say is, bro. We, if you want to say Kobe showed weakness in those years and showed frustration um, with his team and his front office, and that manifested in how he treated Smush Parker, I agree with you 100. Well, percent But to then say a he's leader. a bad leader for his whole it's career, to me, is a, is, a, is a push. It's not just those years, though, and that's what we're overlooking. You lost one of the most dominant big men ever because of your ego. There you go. Like, you cost your team. Like, I think you're really overlooking what Reed Brandon said because that's true. His mm -hmm. pettiness, his lack of being a good teammate cost mm -hmm. them more championships because he had this desire and thirst to, it needs to be about me. That's not how leaders act. I don't think he, I don't think he said it was about him. He aspect, said... If from from what I remember, goal, excuse me. No, look, hold on, but look, I just don't think. I don't hear my my hey, I, my thing is. I don't think we're gonna change Tyson's. No, 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 because the brothers are lying. On, Tyson, because I, I just because I want to progress the conversation forward because right. I don't think we're gonna. I think you're set on wanting to push the narrative that Kobe was a great leader, and you're set on it. I'm not saying you, that because just like I said with the Scottie Pippen equivocation, you equivocate. Winning championships automatically assigns the best player as the leader. And I didn't say that, bro. Because I gave you the quote, and now you no, just no, dismissed no, no. it. No, no. What I'm saying is, but I've given you, but we gave you the quote from. I, I, my, I my agree with you, though. My argument. You won't agree with not, me. Hold on, Tyson. My argument is just that you're the you define who you are when times are the worst. It's easy, just in basketball. It's easy to act like or put on the image that you are a great leader when you're up twenty or when you have the best team. Why are you calling um, it an image when so, Paul Gasol said no, that? Bro? What I'm saying is, it's easy to do that when you have Paul Gasol and Phil Jackson. Okay, because okay. now you have the better right. team. It's okay, so he was to, leading. It's then, easy. No, but it no, was just I'm easier is, then. Is what, what I'm saying, saying is, when you got Phil Jackson, who's known okay. as one of the best ego managers in the league. Sure. When you when you have guys like D Fish, a guy sure. that's been known as one of the best leaders in the league, and he's moved on to coach and he's showcased this leadership elsewhere. When you talk about that. Agreed. When you have those guys assisting you in those areas, it was easy for Kobe just to simply focus on being the best player on the court. Because then you had there crutches you around you that helped in the leadership. When, when those crutches aren't there, when there's no D Fish, when there's no Phil Jackson, 
And now all of the leadership, everybody's looking to you as the best player for the leadership. And under those situations, you simply crumble. You don't even talk to your players. You don't communicate. Mm -hmm. It's all about you. It's all about self. I'm not passing it to these guys because they can't make a shot. So when the leadership all falls on him, it's it's not it's not his responsibility to uplift these guys and get these guys playing on a better accord. His he, what he chose to do in those tough times is to call for those guys to be up out of there. Talk right. about how bad they were. Talk about how you need to get Kwame Brown and those guys up out of there. So so the thing is, does that show what is wrong with that, Lamont? Okay, if you if you don't feel like nothing's wrong with that, we're not going to change your mind on leadership. No, because when LeBron James does it, you defend him. Hold on, hold on. When did I defend LeBron James for that? When you haven't you haven't said that? LeBron when James have is I a good leader? Hold on. When did when did I defend LeBron James for that? I, well, okay, I, I specifically remember my most recent video on LeBron James leadership. I was okay. highly critical of his leadership. Don't know. Okay. Okay. So, so for me, don't this has nothing to do with LeBron my bad, because I'm just like Kobe. I I've I went out my way to. Do a video specifically calling well, out LeBron's leadership. Okay, so, I shouldn't say again, that, but you to me, put me in that boat. I, well, my I'm fault, my fault. That's my that's my bad. My 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 bad. But what I say is, when when your legacy is on the line and you are you're a winner and you're about winning, it's nothing wrong with demanding your front office to put player. I don't I don't I don't bash LeBron James for that because it's nothing wrong with taking control of your legacy and knowing what it takes to win and knowing that these players don't have it. To me, Kobe knowing that Smush Parker and Kwame Brown don't have it between the ears or physically to, to, to win championships, there's nothing wrong with asking them, hey, I'm, I'm not winning with these dudes, and that's what I'm about. So I'm, I'm, I'm calling for, uh, you know what I'm saying, for change in this front office. To me, there's nothing wrong with that. And, and, and if y'all see that's something still, wrong with that, then that's, that's still, cool. That's still not what I'm addressing. That's right, well, that's what I'm addressing. That's you just brought that up. That's what that's I'm still, addressing. That's, still a, but, that's but, but, Again, it's just an excuse for the bad leadership. That's not an excuse. That's a fact. <laughs> oh, these guys that, can't cut it. Lamar, can I say oh, no, no. These guys, so he's basically saying these guys can't cut it. I'm going to be a bad, I'm going to showcase bad leadership. But my excuse for this bad leadership is because I'm going to the front office asking them to get these guys up out of here. You keep let excusing me, it. Let me, let me put it on let other people. Let can me I interject. please come in? It's, it's can I please leadership come in leadership, and, just, man. and show you how let, dumb let this interject, is? Gentlemen. Let me go let to Wally real quick. Go ahead, Wally. Lamont, I gotta, I got again, I gotta I disagree with you again, brother. On what? I don't know where you get this leadership and best player garbage from. Let me tell you something for the guys that don't know nothing about basketball, right? Oh, oh, leadership man. start. I'm gonna tell y'all some good game, man. Leadership starts when you when you get the guy, he signs a contract. You become a professional athlete. They are paying you for a service and a product that you're supposed to put in front of the people that's going to pay for you to play. Kobe Bryant, what I heard about him, he was the first one in the gym. Exactly. He was up, er, hold up. He was early. He was early to all of the workouts. He was the last guy to leave. He, well, I, and I, I can only imagine, I wasn't there about the running, but I can imagine that when they was running and, 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 and they had times for running, that's what I'm telling people don't know, when they was making that time for running after the three-hour workout in the morning, you got to go hit that track and make it for time. He was one of the guys that was up front. And a guy like this guy, Smush Park Parker, was probably dogging it. You can see, man, you lead. Kobe was a leader by example. Now, if I'm up front, if I'm reporting to work, uh, uh, if you got some guys, for example, when they on a job, a nine to five, they barely get to work. Then the, then the man got to say, man, you got to get here a little earlier, man. You know, when you come here late, we're going to have to let you go. That's what Kobe taught. He was leading by example. I, ne I never heard of this guy so much, Parker. Here you got oh. Kobe Bryant who done passed away. This guy. How, how does that up, translate I, to making guys? So the thing is, Wally, and all I'm saying is this. No, hold on, Wally. By all example. I'm saying is this. Let no, 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 Wally. That's not nonsense. Y'all right now. Wally, let me ask if, you this, if, Wally. If I'm Wally. working out hard. If I'm Wally, working out all hard. I'm saying is, Wally, this is what I'm saying. I, 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 I get what you're saying. Yeah, the yeah, summer stuff. Got to, man, I, I got to trust you. Now, hold on. That's, that, that, okay. So now, now, Wally, all I'm asking you is this. If all of that is leadership, then when the times get tough and you stuck with this guy on the basketball court and y'all got to figure out how to get it done, 
How does that translate to good leadership? How do you make that leadership when, 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 no, how do you make this leadership? How do you showcase this leadership when you're telling your teammates, you missed a shot, so I'm never passing you the ball again? How do you showcase leadership when you're willing to shoot over triple teams and not move the ball and not get your other teammates in game? I just told you. How is it leadership when you're continuously going outside of the offense, taking crazy shots? Okay, well, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me address all your points. You can't just, you can't give me a whole book and then, and then. No, but what I'm saying is you giving us, you giving us these, no, y'all giving us these old summer workout type stuff and this up, no, that stuff I'm don't win the example. games. I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna give you an example. Y'all trying to paint it up. Y'all no, trying I'm, to dress I'm gonna it give up. You an example. I'm gonna give me you an example. You both know that don't win games. Hold up, man. You gotta be able to trust the guy, man. Now, if you know the guy ain't been putting the work in, you know he ain't staying late, getting up the thousand shots. You know he ain't running hard. You know he ain't when you in, you can you can see in practice who's running. You can see who's up front, and who's dogging it. The man can see. You talking about hypotheticals and you're not really there. I wouldn't want to play with if I'm if I'm if I'm giving it 125 percent and the game is on the goddamn line. I who am I going to am I going to defer to you Wally. knowing that you're going to shoot a Wally. Wally. You Wally. ain't putting the work in, Lamar. Wally, here's the problem. Right? Here's the problem. We've seen Kobe with guys that we know are hella fight hard workers like Aron Artest. And even a guy like Ron Artest says sometimes when Kobe would pass him the ball, he, he said he'd be surprised. He was talking about you talking now. You no, what I'm saying is so goal. what I'm no hold on. Can I go on the you, can I go? You, hold on, hold on, Wally. Hold you up, keep no, no, you, you keep trying to connect you can't Kobe not trusting his teammates with him not having good work ethic. Kobe didn't pass the ball to nobody. You Kobe, can't put a hey, look. Ron Artest just put, came off a season averaging 20 points per game. Artest, hold on. Ron Artest had just came off a season averaging 20 points per game. Man, that's absolutely And he still did He still didn't. Ron so the, Artest, no, what I'm Artest, saying. Artest, hold on, Wally. Hold, hold on, Wally. NBA Wally. Player, no, but what I'm saying, not the same player. Hold on, Wally. Wally. I'm going to tell you why I brought him up. Let me tell you why I brought him up. Don't make sense, bro. Hold on, Wally. I'm going to make it make sense for you. Go ahead. This is why. When I talk about when I bring up Ron Artest, we know Ron Artest is light years ahead of Smush Parker. Why are you making it then? And hold on one second. I'm gonna tell you why. And Kobe Bryant gave Ron Artest the same treatment. It's all uh, as far as the lack of communication that Ron Artest talked about. When you talk about not moving the ball, when this man be wide open, he didn't have no trust in this guy, even though Ron Artest was a 20 point per game score the year before. What I'm saying is. You can't just I say it was because he was Smush Parker. We know Ron Artest had a crazy work ethic just like Kobe. The man defended his go. ass off just like other guys, and Kobe still treated him the same way on the basketball court, just like Smush Parker. I disagree. I disagree. Kobe was all about I disagree. Kobe was all about, Kobe in the was all coach, about I disagree. Himself. In the That's championship cap. that they won, he was Ron Artest. Kobe passed the ball to Ron Artest. And, and what did Ron, Ron Artest did. say? What did he say? Ron Artest hit the three, bro. Hey, Wilder. Hey, hey, Wilder. What's up, man? I got, I got, what's up? What's up, OG, man? Bro, hey, y'all got to stop that? capping for Kobe. Hey, hey, you got to stop hey, laughing, bro. You got to stop 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 this is uh, the audacity right. of this bum yeah. smush Parker. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Herm, Herm, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Herm. Right okay, so Herm, hold on. This is hypocrisy. Being a hypocrite. Hold on, Herm. This is hypocrisy. How can you pick and choose when to be a leader? When Kobe, for the most part, especially after Shaquille O'Neal left, was always the best player on the team. Uh, Lamont. Hold on, hold on, Herm. Let's son? let's just let's just we're just I, I I'm gonna walk you. I'm question. gonna walk. I'm gonna walk it down for you. The way I understand. Kobe, after Sheck left, was always the best player on the team, correct? That don't have nothing to do with it. Hold on, Wally. Yeah, yeah. I'm just doing this for Herm because I got to slow walk it for you because I don't think – yeah, I think y'all don't see the flaw in y'all logic. Well, I actually no, – Hold on, Herm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to walk it for Herm. Then I'm Herm. You got to lift – you got to Hold on, Wally. Hold on, Wally. Y'all just trying to see – 
Y'all don't have to overturn. Just well, I got him, Martin. So her. Man, go ahead and knock this dude out. So her. Man, so her. Man, so her. So her. Mama said, no, bro. Why y'all so emotional, man? Okay, her. Hold on, her. Man, I thought Lamont was a basketball coach. Hold on, Wally. Hold on, Wally. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So her. After Shaq left, was Kobe always the best player on the Lakers? We know that Lamont can go. Okay, now let's go. Next question. Hold on. Let's move. Here's the next question. Did they have some down years where they weren't championship contenders? I yes. mean, because you have a down year doesn't mean that. No, I, hold, on, no hold on, hold on, hold on. You're right. You're right. Going. Just because you have so a down year doesn't change. Just because you have a down year, that down year should not change who you are. That that when Kobe has a down year, he's still even in a down year a good score. So all of a sudden, how can you go from winning championships, being a great leader, but then all of a sudden? You go to these down years, and it's okay for him to be a completely garbage and trash leader all of a sudden. And then you well, guys, hey, you, what, what, hold on, hold on, proof, one, and then you guys excuse it. Hold on, 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 one second, hold on, one second, hold on, one second, hold on, one second. Then and then, so the thing is, because Kobe couldn't go from being a thirty-point big game score, and then he gets on a bad Laker team under bad coaching. And then just drop down to a 12 point per game score and be like, it's my teammates. I don't want to play hard. He would always have to be a great scorer. So when you talk about his leadership, why is it okay for him to front run and be a great leader when times are good? But then when he gets a bad team, it's okay for him to throw all the leadership in the garbage can, be a bad teammate, disrespect his teammates, call for these guys to get traded. And all of that is okay all of a sudden just because his team is bad. And okay, then, all of, okay, then and then and then and then hold on one second, second Herm. And then Herm, hold on, then Herm. Then when the Laker, because the Lakers obviously don't want to lose their best player, because he said, I want to be traded, then they go get the help that he's looking for, and they bring back the coach that was able to get it done for him. Then all of a sudden, now I can turn right back into the good leader, the happy guy, the good spirited team guy. Now that I got teammates around, he's front That's running his leadership. That's your narrative, right? It's not a narrative. Right? That's a fact. That is. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to start kicking people. I got that, that, that's the most narrative, Joe. That's his narrative. Hold on, hold on. No, hold on. Now, her, Kobe, based Kobe on what I just said, work ethic, bro. On, based on what I just said, her, Kobe what? never changed what? his work ethic, brother. What? Ethic is not leadership. That's just your work ethic. That, man, you lead by... Hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on Wally. I'm, I'm trying to get Herman. I'm going to come right man, back to you. you. you don't want to hear what I got to say because I'm on, telling you the truth. On, <laughs> on, I'm going to let you cook. Why I'm let you, you cook. cooking, though? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, man, man, work ethic, man. If you, if no, hold on, hold on, her, hold on, Wally. Man, Wally, hold on. Example. Come on, yeah, hold on. I'm going to let you... I'm Look, I'm just trying to let Herm get Why it off. You don't never let me talk when I come up here, man. You don't want to hear the truth. Hold on. Every time I come up here, Lamont, you don't never let me talk. Hold on. So what I'm saying is, all I'm saying is the hypocrisy is this. Y'all allow, and look, I don't mind y'all giving Kobe the, the intangible of being a great leader when they're winning. I don't like the fact that y'all okay the fact that he can be a completely garbage leader when they're losing and then you put the onus on his teammates you say it's because smush wasn't good enough it's because kwame wasn't good enough it's because guys like sasa vujic was inconsistent with that jumper you don't put it on kobe and that's the problem why why can he is he allowed to change who he is when things are bad and it's okay just like you guys would not be able to excuse if he just allowed his scoring to drop the 10 points a game and he couldn't just say, look, I don't want to play hard. This is a trash team. You he, But see, that's why I said, but, but scoring is what? Scoring is self. So his scoring made him look better. His scoring, but his leadership, you don't get any brownie points. You don't get any extra points hey. for being a great leader. You don't get any oh. awards or accolades oh, no, for being. Yeah. Can I respond to that? Can I respond to that real quick? Because no, because there's ridiculous. no I got because I got there's it. no individual award you that you can yeah, win for being it. a great leader. He had no he had no incentive to go be a good leader because there was no individual award to chase for being a great leader. He could chase scoring titles. He could chase the individual awards. He there was not so therefore he could his leadership completely Listen. falls off. And to me, if you allow your leadership to fall off, then it was always fake because good leaders can't fake it. They always just gonna lead. You can't turn well, it on and off. 
Love can I, can I, he just like go. Kobe, just me. like Kobe, just like go. just like Kobe being a great scorer, Kobe could yeah, never turn his great scoring on and off. No matter if it was a good team or a bad team, Kobe was always just going to be a great scorer. You cannot turn your intangibles and skill sets on and off when you choose to. And if he's able to turn it off, that means it was never there in the first place. You for can't example, turn it off being a scrub, hold on, hold For example, I'm gonna get him once he's done. I'm just for example, when we saw old boy in the bubble for uh, I think the Pacers going going completely ballistic. How about Tyron? Yeah, no, no, old boy, what's his name? Uh Tyron. Tyrese Max, I think. I know no, not no, Tyrese no. Max. Tyrese Halliburton. Halliburton. Yeah, Ty no, we're, no, we're talking Ty about in the bubble. Bro. Yeah, TJ Warren. Oh, so TJ Warren talking? goes in the bubble, goes completely ballistic. When everybody else is sick. But you know what happens, though? When we get out that bubble, it goes back in the garbage can. But the thing is, we knew he can't just be great scoring in this small instance and be a great scorer. You have to always do it. Great scores are Great scores are always going to be great scores. Great leaders are always going to be great leaders. There's not going to be too many instances in their careers where you see two and three year, four year gap. That's where they get you at, Lamar. That's not all the way true, Lamar, because we can all. We can all. How do you turn off your leader? Now, Lamar, we can all point to a handful of guys, probably NBA history, that being a great leader, whether they win or lose. Well, there's not a lot of great leaders in NBA history. I, that, that that's the point. That's that's where I'm getting. I, I, so I, hold on. We, I know that. What what happens is what happens is too many people attribute being the best player as being the best leader, and so that's why you automatically assume Kawhi Leonard's a great leader because he's the best player, and you just attribute being a great player ever. to being a great I'm leader. Worst that's leader not ever. always the case. But, no, that's but, not the case. No, no, no. But hold up. But hold on, Lamar. This is what I'm gonna hit you with. This the angle I'm gonna come from with it. All the all-time great players we in love with so much, all the guys that we considered always in that ilk. Michael Jordan showed, had moments that he showed bad leadership. LeBron James showed moments he had bad leadership. Kobe LeBron, did. Definitely. Shaq did. Akeem Olajuwon, a guy that you always took the most did. Magic Johnson displayed it at times. Larry Bird displayed it. You really, you really can only point out, I say, the best leaders of all time to me, it's Bill Russell and Tim Duncan. That's probably the best example echo. of leadership you go get. That's probably the best examples of being a, a great leader that you're going to get. Tim that, Duncan I, and Bill Russell. If that's what you want to say, I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm not. Uh, uh, and I get all, of, all the all the great so, that play the and, game. And by default, and by default, that means you, if if you that by default, if you say that, that just simply means you agree with me that Kobe Bryant just was not. He did not have the intangible of leadership like you guys are trying to give. <laughs> No, nah, I ain't saying that. I'm saying that all he did the not guys, have the intangible. Everybody of had moments of being a bad leader. No, so Kobe did not have that. Human, Kobe had a lot all of intangible. Your not go, Lamar, Leadership did, was did not you, one of them. Did you like every teammate that you ever played with? That you no. ever played basketball with? Did you get that has nothing everyone? to do with leadership? No, nah, that got a lot to do with it because oh, it Parker mm. probably got a personal. You don't have to like somebody so. to be a great leader. We don't know that. Yes, because uh, at the end of the day, a lot of people didn't like Mike on this team, but. As they got old, as the career ended, and no, when they uh, had years to why did all the Bulls players say Scottie Pippen was the leader of the team? All of them didn't say that. Yes, they did. Not all of them. You want me to pull the article up? You want me to pull the article up? You remember the interview that you had with one of the Bulls players? He said Michael Jordan was the leader. Do you want me to pull up all the? You want me to pull up the article? All the players that said Scottie Pippen was the leader. They had personal issues back then, Lamar. Okay, but so when now you had your special so guest, Bill Winnington, Luke Longley, the Tony made of Michael Jordan, John Sally, Mike was the leader. All these guys, uh, 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 Cliff Livingston, Scott Williams, all these guys had something against Michael Jordan. That's why they said he wasn't the leader and Pippen was the leader of the team. And they also said Sky Pippen let them down. Hey, they said Jordan the was the best player. Day. They said Jordan hey, was guess, the best but, player. Hey, but guess what, Lamar? Guess what, Lamar? It, it, proves, it proves my point of me being right, despite the Scottie Pippen being a great leader. Guess what? He had a bad-ass moment of being a leader when he was a bad leader, when his ass had a, but, had but a Herm, hissy fit. Sky Pippen was an old man. That would make bench, sense. Tony, that, Herm, right? that would only make sense if I was using one single moment to define Kobe as a bad leader. I'm talking nah, about. but that's a bad I'm leader. Talking, period. You I'm really can't about, come back on, for that type hold of on, shit. Hold on, hold on. That's bad character. Okay, hold on. D- just like one bad game, which is a moment, don't make you a bad scorer. Nah, no, you can that's have a, that's, moments. That's that's. that's so hold on one second. Her, hold on one second. Her. What I'm talking about is we're talking about with 
Smush Parker, Smush Parker talked about a two year stretch of this Kobe Bryant where where he defined Kobe Bryant's leadership as horrendous. That's so those two, two years, years define him oh, his whole career. Yes. yes, two years. Hold on, one game can't define you. Two years. Two years. Yeah, yeah, out of yeah, a, yeah, a twenty year ball. career. It, 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 yeah. No, no, no. But but Lamar. Yes. 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 That's the reason why. why I got it right here. The reason why right is Lamar. because two it years is a large enough Lamar. sample size. And it goes back. Two goes years back. is a large it enough sample size. Eighteen years is not a large enough sample size. No, hold on. But you don't have eighteen years of good leadership because the only how many good how many years the only won five championships. How. Oh, so oh, so now it's only winning. No, because that's what no. you connected it with. <laughs> so that's now it's you only winning. Are, you are all over the place now. No, you that, are all over the place, no, my boy. It's Mr. Much a Moss, better bum. That's what it is. Hold on. When Mr. Moss came if you in, know, if you notice, Lamar. No, we're not talking about Mr. Moss. Don't deflect, nigga. We're talking about you. Thing, hey, look, Lamar, he if you notice, all the complaints are coming from the guys that are borderline NBA players in the first place. What you mean, borderline? You either are no, or not. Don't let him off the hook. Don't let him off the hook. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let's just do this. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I don't even know who the hell I want to get. I want to get all y'all. Because look, right now, because I want to. He only played three years. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, I've been watching basketball. Hold on, hold on. I want to clip all y'all. I want to clip everybody that has these conversations. So I got to talk to y'all one on one because now we can't hear. So continue what you were saying. All I was saying was when I yeah. when I brung up his 18 years of maybe good leadership, you said he only won five years. That was your response. No, so, that was but, but, but winning. You guys seem to agree with what Mr. Moss said. No, no, no. I didn't agree with that. But winning doesn't uh, determine whether you're a good leader or not. Correct. OK, so what does determine if you're a good leader? Well, what determines what you're a good leader, you know, the other team could just be a better team. What you know what I'm saying? So that doesn't leader. mean you're a bad leader. Obviously, what, you agree with that, is, don't you? So so what determines if you're a good leader? That's why it's so hard to quantify, first of all. That's why it's so hard to quantify, my brother, because Not it's all based on interpretation of these intangibles. That's why they call it intangibles. You can't go to a stat sheet and say uh, so-and-so is a good leader. You okay, have so, to talk to so people in the locker you room, don't like even, you said. So you Hold don't on. even have a formula to identify a good leader, yet I you're do. trying to tell me Kobe was a good leader. No, 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 I, no, no. I at I, least have some no, type of formula no, no, no. to identify a good leader. Well, you, you have well, first of all, what's your first of all, you haven't established that formula. You just going by what's I, I don't I did establish it. Who was, was the formula? Clear with it. What I was said, the formula? Easy identifier, and this was taught to me by one of the best coaches. Okay. Oh, okay. He by Rich Edelman. To okay. identify a good leader. Okay. You can find this very quickly. And big options when times are rough. Why you put the big when, when, like he, Hold on, Tyson. What Tyson, Tyson do? You don't hold Go on, ahead. Tyson. When your back is against the wall, when you the team around you isn't as good as the other team, when times are rough, that's when a good leader shines. Your leadership shines because the guys that are faking being good leaders, when times get tough, they're gonna wilt. They're going to become toxic. They're going to fall into their heads hanging. They're going to fall into that toxic behavior that generally leaders don't exude. Generally, good leaders, when times get rough, their leadership starts to shine even more. So what I'm saying is this two-year stretch when Kobe played with Smush Parker and these guys, this two-year stretch, Kobe's leadership, if it actually existed, would have leveled up and shined even more because that's that's just a natural, that's just a natural action when a good leader's back is pushed against the wall what they do best shines just like kobe bryant when the game was getting tough and the game was getting on the line and they needed buckets his best attribute which is scoring would shine because he would just take over scoring the ball when your back is against the ball wall what you do best or even what you do worse starts to shine that's just how the game of basketball is portrayed so when kobe is sitting in them two seasons back against the wall did his scoring shine? Yes. But did his leadership shine? No. And his leadership didn't shine because it never was really there in the first place. And that's my point that I'm trying to make. And I disagree with that point only because, brother, some players, some people can't be. Ms. Parker maybe didn't respond to his leadership style. He didn't respond. To, Ron Artest, for example, you said Kobe was a. You, you talked about Kobe and how we treated Ron Artest, right? Oh, somebody got an echo, man. Did you did you talk about that? You said yeah, he wasn't his friend. Mind. They didn't have uh, no good relationship, right? But Ron Artest responded to that is, leadership style. Hold on, Tyson. What and is your criteria? What is your criteria for the makeup of a great leader? 
what is my criteria for and the makeup? It, and, and and then how do you apply that criteria? When guys oh. can learn from you. No. Uh, well, when when my criteria is to me when you show leadership skills, you lead you. It's multiple ways you can do it, but you uplift your teammates and you're getting the best out of your teammates. You're making your teammates better in situations. And you're, they're getting guidance from you as far as how to be a professional, how to how to uh, how to win games, how to close out games, those different type of things, and how to play together as a unit. You know what I'm saying? Those are the criteria of and a great did, leader. And, and, and Kobe Bryant, how did he exude that to you? And winning, winning, having, having, knowing how to win <laughs> is, is is being a is being a good leader as well. well knowing how to win. I thought it wasn't about winning, talent, but don't know how to win, right? I thought it wasn't about winning, Tyson. Huh? And let me respond to you. No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, winning doesn't no, determine right, whether you. I'm just asking Lamont a question. Oh let, my God, ask me brother. the question and let me respond to you. Okay, okay. I, I didn't finish, but I didn't finish. Wally, 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 what, Wally, what is a leader? Wally? Wally. Wally. How did you define a leader? Let me, let me, let me, let me ask you the question in. for you. Let me uh, ask you the question for you. First <laughs> of all, I said it before. It's about preparation. Uh, if you, you are preparing, if you are preparing as a professional athlete, there's a standard that you set for yourself and you set for your teammates. If you, you can physically see in practice when they come to practice, if they need treatment, how long they go through their treatment, you can see if they out night clubbing it and partying and getting at the gal. Yo, let me get my thing what? off, man. Let, let me, me say let something. Me just, let me say something. Let me finish something. You've been talking the whole show. Brian so. treated everybody yeah, the same you know what whether it they is. Y'all don't want to hear the truth, man. Kobe, but you lead by example. Uh, hold on. Is there a way you, you can, lead is by there, example? Is there a way you if can I, summarize if I, if I'm a father, it? Like a, let, me, let, me, let me put it like this. If I'm a father and I got two sons, right? Just and I'm a complete can you summarize asshole. it in 30 uh -huh. seconds so I can get to the next Hold person? it, though, brother. If I'm a complete asshole in my community and I don't do nothing but bullshit my life away, they going to do the same thing. It's leading by example. Kobe oh. was a leader. He was the first one in, last one to lead. Hardest oh. worker. Self, Rick Adam, self. all that bullshit he was talking about. When that's times self. get tough, when times get tough, that's you self. want that nigga beside you that's been putting in that work after hours like you've been putting. That. Uh, can I say self. something? That's can still I say self. something for once? You know, I I, I kept quiet and, and respectful. Can I say something? Go ahead, Avion. Hey, um, salute to everybody. You know, I you know, in time like this, you know, it's it's kind of I mean, people feel like it's sensitive to talk about Kobe because he passed. But, you know, if you just look like on the basketball court and overall, you know, this is not the first time somebody says something about Kobe's leadership. I mean, you have ex-coaches say something about Kobe and, you know, his leadership style. And so Jackson, even one of his size book, then, you know, I mean, question Kobe and, and, and the way he played, you know, there was a gap period in the post shack where, you know, Kobe was losing. You, you know, I mean, nobody like the statement while on Kobe was nobody didn't want to play with him for years, you know. And, you know, so this is this is not nothing new. I mean, you know, you could be a great player. I mean, all great players are, are somewhat of an asshole, you know, but a lot of great players are toxic assholes, you know. And then, you know, we had the, uh, like the Dantley's of the world, you know, or like, the you know, other players that got, had that stigma, you know. That's not a shot at Kobe, but, you know, you can still criticize the player's leaves of style. You know, Smith Parker has every right, like, to criticize Kobe. Like, he played with him, you know, every day throughout his, um, his time with the Lakers. So, you know, I mean, that's his experience. You know, we can't judge that man's, you know, experience because, you know, that's what he went through. But, you know, I, you know, and just sum it all up, you know, Kobe was a great player, you know, but, you know, just because he's a great player doesn't mean, you know, we can't judge his um, leadership style. So, you know, that's the only thing I have to say. All right, let me go to Sturdy, man. Sturdy just pulled up. What you got, Sturdy? Lamont like that soft toe shit. He don't want the facts. 
Oh my God, nigga! Oh, Yo, come on, my nigga! He, no, he like on. that. He, he like. He like oh, that you let the man toe. speak, bro. Be down. quiet, man. Damn, man. He oh, like man. that soft toe, man. You got. Let me go to sturdy, man. You got. Let me go to sturdy real quick. Man. I'm just trying to let everybody get their take on, bro. I understand that, Lamont, but I'm just saying, me and you playing basketball, Lamont, and I know you ain't putting no work in. Man, I ain't gonna pass you the ball. I know. Let me go to sturdy though. I get that. That's something different though. Facts. That's something different, man. Is leadership, man. Okay. All right. If you got um, somebody that you playing with that you can't trust, then you don't want them on the floor. All right, all right, we got that, but that's different. But let me go to Sturdy. I'll explain that's that later. How's that different? Hold on, let me go. go let me just go to Sturdy. Uh, you let him. Sir. Will you just stop talking? Oh, let Sturdy speak. But no, nah, you don't want me to talk because you don't know nothing about basketball. All that nigga, you been talking all about about they trying to win championships. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Man, you been talking all that shit for the last thirty minutes, bro. Oh, I'm, asked, that's what I'm, trying to, I'm trying to ask this question. How is this guy? There you go, Wally. Who? What did he? Hold do? on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, Wally. I let me. I'm Wally. I'm gonna come right back to you as soon no, as real kid, don't Lamar. Who is this guy? I don't. Hold on. All right, all right, let me get sturdy, and I'm coming right back to man. you. Huh? All right, that's it. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. My boy, though. He was Wally better like than that. me, man. That, how we know that? Come on, y'all. We're getting hold on, y'all. We're getting into other stuff. Hold on, Sturdy, go ahead and cook, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, cook, Sturdy, with that soft toe bullshit. I don't know what he gonna say. <laughs> yo, yo, y'all hear me? Yo, salute, yeah. yo, salute everybody. Yo, salute, nah, brother. Go ahead, man. <laughs> yo, salute, OG Wally, bro. But like, honestly, if the question is, um, if were there times in Kobe's career where he was a poor leader? Yes, but were, were there times where he improved his leadership and became a good leader? Absolutely. Kobe Bryant said it himself, um, he didn't he didn't think he was a good leader up until up until they he didn't realize his leadership flaws until they failed in 2008 against the Celtics. He realized what he was doing was flawed in terms of communication, preparation, and and overall, flow, uh, uh, raising the morale for his teammates. And in particular, if y'all go back to an interview, I believe with Amar Rashad, he touched upon that. That loss in 2008, in addition to playing with the Olympic team, the Redeem team, helped him learn a lot about leadership. When Lamont asked the question, what's, what's the characteristic of a good leadership? I think of communication. I think of leading by example. I think of understanding your personnel and adapting your methods to motivate guys in different ways. So depending on the depending on the time of Kobe's career and his teammates determined how his leadership was. Now, mm -hmm. I do agree prior to 2008, he was not a good leader. He was aloof, he was an asshole, and he and to be honest with you, he was not he didn't show a level of patience to to his teammates that wasn't as talented or didn't have work ethic to help guide them towards success. That's completely different from 2009 and on. Shout out to Trevor Reese for having a recent interview with um with um Shannon Sharp. He literally broke down how Kobe helped him become a better winner. After 2008, they lost. They went to Kobe hotel room. They were drinking shots a week. Literally, when they left that night, Kobe went to every single player and said, listen, I'm going to give you a blueprint to success, and we're going to do this shit right. A week later, emailed and text um. Trevor Reza, everything he needed to do from workout schedule to different films he need to watch. And starting from training camp, from Paul Gasol to even um to what's that dude, that white boy? I forgot his name, but um Jordan Farmar, Kobe yeah, Vucevic. Kobe, Kobe communicated his standard. He not only set a standard for himself, but he communicated what he expect from his teammates and helped them get to that point. So to reiterate, Kobe probably started off his career not as a good leader because, let's be honest, he, when he got drafted to the Lakers, there was a lot of leaders above him on that Lakers team. From the top down, Dr. Buzz, Jerry West to Shaquille O'Neal. Then when he left, he had to go through those growing pains to know how to become a leader. And he did that. He did that. 
And so, so Sterling, I got a question for us. So, am I right when I told the month that when it comes to most of the all time greats that ever played the game, most of them had bad moments of show of, of showcasing their leadership? But one thousand percent, one thousand percent, one thousand percent. Like, no, I'll, I'll give you perfect example. Hold on, but hold on. I didn't say you were wrong about that, her. What I said was most great players aren't great leaders. I said we, for whatever reason. We generally attach the be leadership to the best player on almost every team. Whether they are the actual leader or not, we run around and no matter what they do in the locker room, if they score in 29 points per game, we'll automatically say they're the best leader. And, and, it, and even if they don't really showcase it, we'll say, oh, they're just leading by example. We'll make up any, any avenue to say that these players are great leaders, even if they don't truly showcase it. So that's why I say... There's not a lot of great leaders in NBA history. Herm, you are right about that. And what I'm saying with Kobe Bryant is there are, there are more examples. That ha has Kobe Bryant shown in some situations that he could be a pretty solid leader for that team? Yes. But what, what my formula of being a great leader, my formula, if you're going to use this as an intangible, right, because people use this leadership – as an intangible sometimes in these player versus player conversations, if it's going to be one of those intangibles, then you have to showcase to me overwhelming leadership to a certain degree. And for me, with the criteria of what a leader is, Kobe don't meet that criteria because when the times were toughest, he could not showcase great leadership. And to me, that's the makeup of a great leader. You guys might have a different criteria or a lower standard for what a leader is. But if we're going to lead, 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 hold on, 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 hold do any of you guys know? I know what's third to do. do. Let him get him. Let's start again. Right, hold Wally, on, Wally. Hold on, Wally. Hold on, Wally. I got you. I got you. So Lamont, so Lamont. I like, in my opinion, he did show those time of hardships and rising in his ability. Like I said, everybody goes through growing pains. Even a guy who, who personality, like like a guy like LeBron, right? He personality, everyone gets along. He trusts his teammates often. But even then, when times get tough, there was parts of his career he showed bad body language. And here's why I do disagree with you. I do agree. Not every just because you're a great player don't make judging Kobe off moments. I know. I know. I, you just said. You just said when some of the moments you just said that's not oh, what you said. I didn't. There's no individual moment. Just like just like when Herm yes, brought up Scottie Pippen. Herm brought up Scottie Pippen and said he had that moment. I said I don't judge players off moments. I'm talking about. I mean, now nah, that's a that's I'm a talking big about, issue, though, Lamar. I'm talking about years. Of that's showing the issue with oh, hold on. So when we talk about when we talked about what Smush Parker was alluding to, Smush Parker did a 50 minute interview alluding to a two year stretch. If you if you're telling me Kobe could have bad game here or bad game there showcasing bad leadership, that doesn't define his leadership. But if Smush Parker is describing a two year stretch of bad leadership and you guys are trying to tell me that. These years don't count, or these years don't identify who he truly is as a leader. Uh, that, that's your. I think you guys are lower in the standard of what a leader is. No, Kobe, no, 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 I got the perfect. I heard. I got the perfect. I got the perfect. Hold on, hold on. I got the perfect rebuttal for that. I got the perfect rebuttal for that. Because hold on, Wally, Wally, I got you, Wally, I got you, Wally, I got you, bro. Wally, I got you, brother. Now, Wally, 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 I got you. I'm gonna ask one little question. Wally, I got you. Wally, I got you. Wally, I got you. Wally, I what, agree what, with you, brother. Let me let me get him, Wally. Wally, let me get him. Thirty got him on the road. No, they don't. Y'all arguing amongst each other. No, what was Smush Parker? No, no one arguing amongst each other. Just let Wally. I just got him. Let me. Y'all can't even talk one. Wally, Thirty got him on the road. That's why you let Wally up here. Come on, man. Get your hands up. Let Wally up here. What was Smush Parker's role? Wally, Wally, I got you. Hold on, Wally. Hold on, Wally. I, I got you, bro. Wally, I got you, bro. 
Wally, I got he you. He was a role player. He was a role player. Wally, I got you. He's a role player. Bro. Bro. No, 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 Wally, I got you. Wally, Wally, got I this, man. got you, bro. Got the ball on the if you don't make it, you're going to get your ass beat up. Wally, bro. You got to let him get up, bro. Wally, bro. Come on, bro. Wally, listen, bro. Y'all are going to get yourselves. No, we're not. No, we're not. Question. What was you talking about? Wally, no, Wally, bro. Lamont think he's slick, Wally, bro. Bro. What, 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 Wally, I got you, nigga. Damn, relax. I got you. I agree with you. you he was a great leader. leader. Ain't never played no basketball. Uh, what did, what Wally, you don't know what I did. Wally, you don't know what I did. Wally, you don't know what I did. Cook Lamont, man. You got the ball on the road. Talking over people. I got you, Wally. I got you. Go play right now, man. Me and you go play right now. Wally, 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 listen slowly. Wally, hey, Wally, listen. Wally, 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 I swear to God, I, I to agree with Lamar. you. Her, her, bro, bro, come on, I got it. But he agreeing with Lamont. You don't agree with nobody. No, no Wally, I said oh, I agree with you, nigga. Come on, man. man. Put it, Wally, come on, Wally, man. Bro. What was Wally, bro. Chris Parker's role <laughs> making Kobe Bryant? Wally, Wally, I'm about to get to that. I agree with Lamont. Damn! Of the I agree with you, OG. Man, but I'm trying to get him on the court. What he got? Hey, 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 Wally, hey, Wally, listen right, right quick, Wally. I'm giving. Wally, 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 I no got it, you. Man. Hey, 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 thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, shut up. Hold on, shut up, hold on, shut up. Y'all like, y'all leading like Kobe Bryant. Y'all can't be, y'all ain't like one of these, man. No 506. Wally, y'all out here acting like Kobe and no 506. Bro, Wally. Wally, bro, please. Lamar, how was he acting like that? Hold on, hold on, chill out, chill out. Wally, I'm going to say this slowly. I agree with you. I think Kobe Bryant was. You ain't got no choice but agree. This Wally, is not come on, my nigga. Get, you can't hide this from is Kobe Bryant in 06. You want to really bro? If you want to hey, 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 sturdy, let him ask Wally. Wally. Oh, oh, If he ain't going to mute him, he's not going to answer. Tyson, he's not going to answer him, bro. He's going to finish my take. I know, but you ain't going to get to finish, my nigga. He won't mute him. Go ahead, man. I'll give y'all guys. Thank you. Thank you, Wally. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't be a ball hog. Be a leader. Let me see. Thank you. Listen. Oh, I got to respond to that. I gotta respond to that See, right quick and let you go. You couldn't shut I would up never pass the ball to nobody like you. This is Kobe and OC. I would never right pass here. the ball to nobody like you. Now Kobe was in 30. Just ask the question, nigga. Why you have to shoot it? They can't act as a team, y'all. I don't know how to pass the ball to people like that can't play, bro. They don't know how to pass the ball. Wally want to do it himself. Wally, that's why I appreciate you. There you go, Lamar. There you go. 30 is much more trying to go to the ball. I'm not going to pass the ball to no goddamn club. We figure it out, man. We got it, Wally. We, we agree, bro. <laughs> Ice is Kwame Brown. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kwame, that's cold blooded, bro. God damn. I'm going to tell you, you're going to get your shit off the oh, glass, man. Y'all, I'm honest. Just like the Lakers, man. <laughs> Y'all got damn, no damn, uh, Wally, we, glass, we, we, we let the ball look, like we got Wally, Wally's the best. Better had him on the road. Get shit off the glass. Wally's the best. Wally's the best. Wally's already cooked the mud. Sturdy was about to no, finish his did. ass. Wally's the best. Man, the mud don't know the man. definition of lead. I bet you don't and know look, who General Patton is. And Herm is Brian Wally. Cook. Just, just off in the corner somewhere, just quiet, just co signing, man. Look. Okay, okay. I'm a cookie, I'm a cookie, Don't fall for that, bro. Don't fall for that, my nigga. Don't fall for that shit, bro. Damn. I ain't nobody tell me who General Patton is on the platform, please. Hey, hey, Wally, 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 be quiet for like five minutes. Wally, just give me two minutes. Wally, just give me two minutes, my nigga. I'm going to pass the ball. I'm going to pass the Hey, y'all got it, man. Go ahead, uh, go 0 for 5. Then you'll come on back to me. No problem. Thank you. So, Lamont, to answer your question, Lamont, when you say the two year sample size, why can't, why can't, why can't, why can't, to that, to rebuttal to that, why can't I rely on the experience, the two year experience of Trevor Reason? Why can't I rely on that? Well, like I said before, when they lost, and Lamont, you know it's more than anybody, when you, you're at your, you're at your oh, lowest. Hold on, slow down, slow down. Hold on, Lamont, let me finish. Let me, 30, let me finish. No, I'm just trying to rewind you back just a sec, because 
I don't understand okay. your connection to Trevor Ariza because Trevor Ariza I'm, wasn't I'm about on that to. Team. I'm about to. I'm about to. So what is Trevor Ariza? You said. You said. You said. You don't said, do that. You, cut like out. I said, like no, I said I'm, early on, Lamont. Like I said early on, Lamont. Yeah. In my opinion, Kobe Bryant was not a good leader until the summer of 2008. He said it himself. So, and just how you can refer to the two-year experience of Smush Parker, I can refer to the two-year experience of Trevor Ariza. A, work, a young player comes to the league on Still a brand new team with two year explanations. I'm about to, about to finish, Lamar. What is you my criteria? Finish? Are you going to be a Wally? You going to be a Wally? You going to be a Wally? You going to let me finish? You going to be a Wally? You going to let me finish? What? Oh, I, I, that oh, I'm, about, I'm literally about to get to it. I'm no, about to get to 30, it. 30s. Let's start with this stuff because right. we got we to gotta slow you down. That's not because it started it. off the month. No, I'm not. Because I'm about to get to running, it. Sturdy's running the other years. No. Nah, again, hold on, her. Let me example. finish. This is between me and Sturdy. Nah, you got to let him finish, bro. Hold on. Sturdy is running the other years. <laughs> and the years that he's running to are the years where the Lakers had all of the pieces to be a good team. So what you're doing is you can't give me any examples of his leadership when things were going great because anybody can lead when things are going great. I want you to identify years mm -hmm. when things were going bad and then Oops. showcase these two to three year stretches when even when things were in the garbage can, he still was a hell of a leader because Thank to you. me, so, that's what mm -hmm. defines the leader. Don't run to Thank Bill you. Jackson. Don't run to Ron Artest years. Don't run to Paul Gasol years. Tell me when things was bad back against the wall and he still exuded great leadership. Thank you, Lamont. So here's the thing. Number, I, I was I please exactly like this. Number one, you can't. You know this more than uh, you I'm, can't. I'm, you go. You go. You, you go. Let me. You go. You go. Cut me up. Nah, my my let me finish. Bro. Shut Shut up. Up. You go. Know let me. You go. Let me talk or what? Right, let me talk or what? Tell, tell me when he exuded great leadership. You go. Let me talk or what? You go. Let me talk or what? Let me know. D don't spin a circle. Just go to. The let year. me know. I'm, I'm literally about to do that. I'm no. literally about to do that. You gonna cut me off? All right, cool. You know more than anything, Lamont, as a coach. Anybody that ever played organized sports, you are that one of your lowest is losing at the championship round. That is a fact. We've seen teams blow up entire rosters based off losing in the, in the championship round. When they lost in 2008, that's one of the examples, Lamont. When they lost in 2008, that was a low point. They, they didn't lost give when? up. They lost when? 2008. What they in lose the finals. In? So they were in a championship the team. Lamont, that once again, you failed. That is a failure. That's a huge failure. 30, anybody, 30, anybody 30, that play organized 30. sports, that's the give worst me an time example, to lose. 30. Give me an example. I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Give me an example when Kobe got to Give me an example. When we talk about Kobe, because Kobe's goal is to get to the finals, always pushing the win. Well, let me get to it. Give me a me time when Kobe was playing with a team that we all knew had no chance in hell of winning the championship. Well, let me get to it. still exuded great leadership. Okay, so all right, since you want to be selective hearing, let's go to a, a year they didn't have Phil Jackson, and when it was dealing with multiple injuries to their key players, and the Quats were clearly flawed, and his leadership helped elevate that team, like the 2012-2013 year. Thank you. Uh, Thank I'm you, just sir. a perfect example. Okay, when, what happened that I'm, 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 I'm trying to get, you going to let me finish, Lamont, or are you going to be a Wally? During that year, Steve Nash dealing injury. The White was dealing with injury. That year, Kobe Bryant, you can ask Ron Artest. He literally had an interview to talk about that year where he literally kept communication high. He didn't let the team quit. And if you saw his play, he was actually passing the ball, trying to get guys involved and help elevate that team to make the playoffs. They were actually on track to make the play. They actually made the playoffs that year, but they were still on track to be a higher seed until Kobe Bryant got hurt. And even then, you can, and once again, Ron Artest said this, when Kobe Bryant tore his Achilles, he was still on the sidelines helping guys with defensive coverages, communicating guys what they need to do from a working perspective. Uh, and yeah, you want me to give you the quote That's leadership. That's leadership. You That's leadership. You leadership. You quote. Lamont, you're getting cooked. Cause, cause hold on, hold on. First of all, you can't lie on his quote. Ron Artest quote said... You know how many interviews the nigga had? You know what? Hold on. Ron Artest said, I was the oh, only let's play this game. one on the team that Kobe trusted. He says that's a Kobe lie. didn't communicate or trust anyone else on the he team. He said that's a lie. That's a lie. Hold on. Now, Sturdy, <laughs> you want me to put quote on the screen? No, I know for a fact Paul Gasol no, was there. No, hold on, I know no, for a fact hold on, hold on. Blake Sturdy. was there. Sturdy, Sturdy. Don't lie. This is what Don't. happens. Sturdy, I got to mute you now because you just lied. I got his quote right here. Ron Artest 
said, he didn't trust Juan Gasol. No, no, hold on. Ron Artest okay. said, how do you keep quoting all these people, and then when it comes to Ron Artest, you're gonna lie. No, Ron Artest, Ron Artest did multiple interviews about Ron Artest. No, quit not lying. just one, not just one. <laughs> hold on, 30, 30, 30, 30. That's just what I'm saying. See, 30. You went on the diet, try to let you cook, but you went you on the diet. You didn't let me cook. You no, can't I me. can't let you cook because you can't lie. I oh, didn't lie. No, no, hold on. You did lie, Sturdy. You did lie. What I lied about. What I lied about. What I lied about. I'm okay. He said, he said that Kobe Bryant only trusted him and had absolutely no faith in anybody else on that roster. Why did you not mention that quote? Oh, can I answer now? You're gonna meet me. Why did you not? Why did you not? Why did you not quote Ron Artest correctly? Be, no, because once again, Lamont, he did multiple interviews about Kobe Bryant and playing with injured players. How multiple is that the interviews. time of leadership? What did I say, Lamont? In spite of his injury, he still was community. He still helped that team prepare. He still helped communicate the team. The Bro, expectations. You're he still making this doing stuff up. But I'm not. You're making oh, it why up. am I making this up? But you're not. Why no, because I'm going so on you do? 30, 30, 30. I'm going on with the players saying. Hold on, 30. No, no we're 30. Nobody I'll said the whole thing. Trevor Reza in it. Hold on, 30, 30. You got to stop I'll see lying. the whole thing, but I'm lying. Hold on, 30, stop. You're lying. You're making this up. Oh, no, no, problem. no problem, no problem, no problem. Okay, no problem. give me the link. If, if they said these things, give me the link and I'll share it on the screen. You're making you're saying that he was a good leader. You're saying that he was texting people. You're making it up. Okay. okay I'm, no, going, I'm, making it up. I'm literally I'm making it up. Okay. okay. I'm literally going off what Smush Parker said. I'm going Let's play this game. Let's play this game. Off, this game. Smush Parker was an eyewitness. You're you're making quotes up on the fly. So it's from a reason. Hold on. You said that he was a great leader in 2012 because he texted people a couple plays. That's not what he said. No, that's not what I said. He, and he didn't even say what I said. Hold on. And he made all of that up. He made all of that up. That's all made up. That none of that's true. There's nothing factual that supports anything he said. He just made it up because it sounds spicy. He better. Then pull up the quote. Lamont, so what's the quote? Thing, bro. I mean, uh, 30, we need different things, bro. 30 said these are real world quotes out there. Give me the real world quotes to put on this screen. Oh, and, and, and the quote this, quote then, Lamont, not, if you got it. Hold on. Hold on. I no, just, Sturdy. I, 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 Sturdy knows what I said is true. That's why I said, do, why did do, you do, 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 He clicking right now, man. Let All him, right, here's the link. Here's the link for, here's a link. Here's a link for Trevor Reza. Here's a link for Trevor Reza interview with Shannon Sharp, and I'm going to give you five cents for that shit, too. Don't worry. I'll give you that shit. No. Hold on, now, hold on. Y'all see this shit, right? I can't no. use the nigga I was there, but I'm going to use shit like Smith Parker. Okay, you, let's not. Let's not. You want the links now? I can't use links now. Okay, now, let's more links. Now, let's find more. Let's find some more. Let's go. Let's find some more. This is a two hour video. Let's find some more. I got you. I got you, Lamont. I got you. Give me a moment. I got you. 30, 30. Just give me a time. I got you. Give me a second. Bro, hold on. You gave me a What two type of I got video. you? Don't you understand, Lamont? I'm okay, about to, Lamont. Hey, what hey, type of take? Let him. Let, let it start. Right, hold on, hold on. I'll put him in the backstage till he finds it. Because nobody don't me, remember I, the time I, step off hold top, hold on, Lamont. You on, nasty, hold bro. On. Hold on, but but Tyson, you can't give me a two hour video and say this is proof. And I, I, no, I, that's fair. That's fair. But I'm just saying, let him get it. Let him get it. Let him. Get it. Let him, get it. Let him let it. Lamont, let him pull up the quote. Let him pull right, up the quote. Yeah, but when I gave him the when I gave him the Gasol quote. When he said I was lying, and then hey, I gave him the uh, Gasol, so then he redirected all, and then he deflected. Hold on, hold on. What did Gasol say? And I'm gonna type it in Google. We'll see if we can find these magic. He said he made me a better player. He taught me how to be a leader. Uh, um, and, 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 and through his leadership, that's what he said. Okay. And we're about to Google it. We'll see if we can find these mystical quotes. No, it wasn't mystical. Man, this is gonna be. This is gonna be good. All right. Nothing mystical. Just type in yeah, Paul Gasol on Kobe Bryant's leadership. On Kobe's leadership. That's all you got to do on Google. Okay, this is what he said. Kobe wasn't the easiest teammate to play with. But he wanted to help me get the best out of myself. Leadership. That's what I said. And that's leadership right there, Holmes. Hold on, hold on. I'm not saying that's not leadership. Okay. See, to see the, the, here's the problem. I understand... There were times when Kobe was able to showcase some type of leadership. 
what I'm saying is when if we're going to use leadership as an intangible, it needs to be great leadership. You cannot be a sometimey leader when you're playing with Paul Gasol in times of good, you can be a great leader. But then when you're playing with Kwame Brown and Smush Parker, it's okay for you to be the garbage leader. That's what that's I'm saying is the standard of being a great leader for me is that you're a great leader. But whether this is my good. problem. My oh, hold, on, hold on, Tyson. Let me explain. Oh, I don't care what your problem is. What I'm well, saying I'm about is, to tell you anyway. What I'm saying is, hold on. I don't care. What I'm saying <laughs> is, hold on, Tyson. What I'm saying is this. You guys, if you want to have a watered down version of what a leader is, and it's okay for, for guys to switch up when, when they want to front run and they have a good team, they can pretend to be good leaders. But when they have a bad team, you don't want to call them out for bad, being a bad leader. They just You just give them a whole bunch of excuses. It's okay because he was playing with Smush and Kwame Brown. If it's a, So the thing is, if, if you guys are okay with sometimey leaders, yes, that is a form of leadership. But it's not the type of leadership like 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 that of a Bill Russell or even guys like a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, whose leadership was generally much more consistent, whether times were good or bad. I'm just saying, just like Kobe Bryant was never he couldn't just be a bad scorer. He was always a good scorer, good or bad times. If you're a great leader. You're always going to be a great leader, good or bad times. And there's never a okay to completely fall off the rail and just can completely ask a, be trash in one yeah, aspect yeah. of the game. That can I ask a question? Because remember, can you guys I, are saying so he's a great point, leader. Your point, is, is about the consistency is what you're saying. It's, you got to be consistent with it. Can I, and, can and, I ask and, a question? And, and, and what I'm saying is, and all I'm saying is, and, and, and Mahar, you know this like too. You've hooped. And y'all, we all know the feeling when we own – a really good team when we beaten everybody by 20 and we all know that feeling. It feels like the chemistry is great. It feels like the, the best player, the leaders are doing their job. You high five it, you bigging up everybody. But then when you have that team where, damn, I don't know if we got it this year. This, the talent don't look right. We getting beat by 20 head start hanging. Can you be a great leader in those moments or are you one of the players that add to toxicity, right? When, when Smush Parker talked about, yeah, we weren't the greatest team, Kobe wouldn't communicate or talk to him. He would completely disrespect them, right? And we've heard this also from other players on those teams. Did he show signs of bad leadership when the odds were stacked against him? Yes. And to me, that tells me right there he was never a great leader. Was he a leader at times? Yes. Was he ever a great leader? No. Can, he, can I ask you a question, Lamar? Against the wall, yeah. So just because, you know, uh, Kobe clearly had a leadership style, even, you know, after Sturdy said he changed his way, he was still an asshole, right? You know what I'm saying? And people didn't like him. Uh, Paul Gasol said he was very hard teammate to play with, blah, blah, blah. But just because certain people don't respond to your leadership style, does that make you a bad leader? Just yes. because Smush you know did... You know the, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. My, just because Smush... Yes. Didn't respond to that didn't leadership did. style. Does it's that make him a bad stupid. leader? No. Huh? Yes, because because who said that was a stupid question? No, for example, no, no. He was talking. He, he said Smush oh. was. Stupid. Well, for example, oh, for example, yo, you being a leader. What I said before is you have to identify what form of communication gets through to this guy. If your form of communication only gets through to this one or two players, but the other eight players aren't really receptive of it. That's indicative of your leadership style because what good leaders do is good leaders understand. Just like I said before, okay, this guy needs the tough love. Okay. But this guy is not receptive to tough love, but he is receptive when I pull him off to the side and I don't show him up in front of the whole team. Good leaders know how to identify the good leaders know that we, I have to convey this message to everybody for full team success. I can't just convey the message to two players and, uh, and nobody else has been communicated to on this team. Everybody needs to be on the same page, but good leaders know how to, just like Phil Jackson was the master as a leader of, he knew how to get through to Dennis Rodman when other coaches couldn't. Right. right. And, and it, one of the elements of Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan was a crazy hard nosed player, but you know what Michael Jordan did with a uh, Dennis Rodman? He understood this dude is wild. We may have to loosen the reins a bit 
so he we can have the best Dennis Rodman. That's an example of Jordan being a good leader. Um, I mean, for however you might level it, but it's examples like that. When but he Michael, but he rubbed other people the wrong way. You said who? But Michael Jordan rubbed other people the I'm wrong way saying, too. But I'm not making the case that Jordan was a great leader. Was Jordan a leader? Yes. Was he a great? Because you guys put the label of great leader on. I, I didn't put great leader. Okay, you said so, bad leader. No, but I've been in enough conversations. You said trash leader. I've been in enough conversations where I've heard you guys use leadership as this odd intangible to elevate these guys. True or it's false? It's a tough, like I said, it's very tough, but at the same time, even also leadership, knowing yourself and knowing that I'm not going to be able to work with a Snoomish Parker and I need players in here that I can work with, isn't that being the leader as well? No, that's not. Sure it is. That's not. Being self-aware is, is, is a part of leadership. Of, of course being it is. Being self-aware is self. No, but being the, when you're working as a team, you self. have to be self-aware and putting a team around you that is gonna gonna be optimal. And being being self-aware means understanding that me yelling all the time don't get through to everybody, and I may have to change that up part too. But I'm the leader of the team, so I think what I think we're just I think it feels like Kobe fans are so desperate. I'm not a Kobe fan, but go ahead. to keep them in the echelon of being a great leader, y'all scared to just tell the truth about the fact that. This is who he really was. What Smush Parker was talking about, a lot of people didn't want to accept. This is who Kobe really was. Smush Parker was one of the first people to say, this man knew how to fake it in front of the cameras. He knew how to do this. He, he said that there are other players. When they get in front of the mic, for whatever, he said, we had these conversations off camera, but we get on the mic, all of a sudden, these players is flipping the script because I guess it's not politically correct to talk down on Kobe right now for whatever reason. So he talks about it. So that all I'm saying is, man, I don't know why people when all of a sudden now want to dumb down what a great leader is. I don't see y'all dumbing down any other categories. Scorers, all these other categories. When it comes to leadership, y'all want to play with it, and it's okay for people to have years and years of subpar leadership, yet they can still be great leaders. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is it's, it's tough. Well, it's tough to well, quantify. Let me, let me, let me, like a bunch let me of take the mic. A, well, let me take the mic a little bit though, because I I heard everybody's perspective and everything else. So, but I think I'll just so let's let everybody cool down a little bit. So, but here's the thing though: do we we do understand that Kobe was not perfect, and Kobe wasn't wasn't the ideal leader, and wasn't a guy that you could say. Okay, he had he had a great intangibles, but he also at the same time he wasn't the best ideal leader by anybody's stretch of the imagination. Now, agree. The problem now, now hold on. The problem here is, is that people's interpretation and their standards of leadership are far different. So here's the thing, Lamont. You have to understand just because just because Tyson has a different a different you know standard of leadership, maybe that's not maybe that's how they look, at it. but at the same time. It doesn't take away what he what goes by. I don't think he, I don't think he has a great standard of leadership. I don't think that's true. I think well, what that's, people well, that's, do is I think, that's how I think, you think people, of it. what I think is I, what I think is when when it comes to certain players, people like to move the barometer on certain things, and then they're sure. more okay with certain negative aspects. Okay, for this player, we're okay with these negative aspects. We can make excuses for it because every time I hear, and when we start talking about that bad leadership during the Smush Parker years, I'm hearing a lot of people say, well, what's Smush Parker this? And Kwame Brown wasn't good at this. Or he needed a trade to get better players here. Oh, so it's everybody else and ain't you. But that's, that's, well, that's, 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 again, that's, well, that's, oh, go ahead, brother. You, you, you was cooking. Yeah, go yeah it's all good. But again, but again, though, that's just, that's about, that goes back to my point. Not earlier, taking accountability is said, one of those major signs. Oh, that's not mine. Hold on, hold on, Lamont, my brother. Let me speak first. But that goes back to my point. When you, when we're talking about the fact that if we're talking about Kobe Bryant, we have to be open and honest about everything else about Kobe too. We also have to be open and honest about the, all the circumstances around in Kobe. But also in the fact, we also have to conclude this too. Just like what Ace 30 said, okay? When, he, when Kobe was embarrassed in the 2008 finals, he realized – that he had to adjust and change how he how he was communicating to his team. Because if he didn't, if he would have stuck to the same old way that he did between 05 and 07, then he would have not won those back-to-back -back titles. We can all agree to that. I'm not saying that he wasn't he wasn't an ideal leader at all, because if we can look back at his history, being back to his rookie year and back to the first three P years, 
where he w- was not the ideal leader. The real leaders was Ron Harper, Derek Fisher. I don't believe he was a leader shot. on those championship teams. What are you talking about, Ron Harper? No, I don't believe Kobe was the leader on those championship teams when they won the back to back. Then let oh me ask you a question: God. Who was the? Oh, who, hold on, hold on. Let me let me get let me get Lamont on this. Then mm-hmm. what do you think he was? Who was the real leader from your perspective? I believe the Lakers understood that. But you no, no. I but, think but the Lakers. Before, I, but, no, I think the Lakers understood that Kobe was never going to change, and that they. This is why they went back and got the coach and leader in Phil Jackson to lead them again to manage the egos because Kobe couldn't do it with any other coach. There's no – because we know that D'Antoni, great with X's and O's in offense, struggles with the leadership aspect, struggles with the managing the ego. But he had Rudy Tomjanovich. He the had one, Rudy Tomjanovich. But, the one, but the one thing that Phil Jackson was the master of, because you really think about it, Phil Jackson was not a master of the X's and O's. He wasn't even really a master of defense. He was a master at communication and leadership, getting through the players, getting them to effectively play together. That was that's a stark contrast to Kobe's. Getting people to play together was one of Kobe's greatest weaknesses. So, so you think Paul Gasol was lying? You think Paul Gasol was lying? But you believe Smush Parker? What I'm saying is, if you look at the results when Phil was there versus the results when Phil wasn't there, it's it looks like night and day. The team was night and day. Come on, Lamont. When you bring the team aspect, hold on, hold on, because for example, go ahead, Lamont, and I'll go back. Kobe and Shaq played together for a season without Phil Jackson. They get Phil Jackson, and Phil Jackson can bring it all together. He manages the egos. He's the one. He's the leader that brings. And sometimes, sometimes, like I said, it's okay for the players to not be the best leader. Sometimes you may need that 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 coach on the bench or one of the coaches to be that leading voice. It's okay if the players don't so always saying- have to lead. But when you talk about Phil Jackson, Phil Jackson was vital because Kobe was going to handle all of the individual stuff, everything that you needed to do on the court as a defender, as an offensive player. Kobe could get done as a leader. That's where he struggled. So they brought in the best you can find to supplement that weakness in Kobe. And every time they added that element to Kobe, you always got championships. Every time. Okay, so you're saying so you're saying from your assessment that Phil Jackson was the leader of those two teams, not Kobe. Yes. <laughs> okay, then there's and and I, and there you go, Tyson. I just helped you figure out what his answer was. So but no. here's the thing too. Right. But here's the thing though. But hold on, hold on, Lamont. Let me let no, me know. Here's the thing though. No, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You 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 also I mean, hold on, Mahari. Hold on, Mahari. See, my, my my answer is purely based on just winning the results. No, just look at it's not even <laughs> it's not even winning. It's look at how these teams just conducted themselves and operated when Phil was there and when Phil wasn't there. Right, because Kobe was, like I said, he's always been the best player, especially after Shaq left. The one thing, the one thing that can change was coaching. There were some years when Phil wasn't there. There were some years when Phil was there. And the teammates. Look at how the team. So look at how the team did when Phil was there, and then all of a sudden, when Phil is there, guys buy in. Guys play together. But hold on, but guys. But hold on, on the mind. Hard, I'm gonna finish. get you something. Hold on, guys play connected. That's what feels master. That's that's what his mastery. His mastery was leadership. I agree. Let's not take that away from Phil. Phil, remember, it was Tex Winters who specialized in the in the offense. That wasn't Phil Jackson. Tex Winters was master to triangle. That wasn't Phil Jackson teaching the triangle. That was other coaches. Same with the defensive side. Phil was with with all his Zen practices and meditation and giving leeway here and there, finding ways to connect and communicate with these guys because he understands. Okay, I can't yell at this guy, but I can yell at this. So he was the master communicator. So why did you call Scottie Pippen the leader then? No, I said Scottie Pippen was the leader. Mm. Because Hold on. Because when I look at the player testimony, players said when we we looked when in that locker room, we looked at Scottie Pippen as the leader. So what I'm saying is what I'm saying is this is just my assessment from the outside. But you don't think Scottie Pippen was the leader? This is just my assessment from the outside looking in. (laughs) And. Based on Kobe's bad leadership, 
that's been talked about, like with Smush Parker, it just lends more credibility to the fact that somebody else was the leader in that locker room other than Kobe. Fair enough. Because you, but guys, let me, let me... That, you, you, you guys are trying to get me to believe that Kobe could turn off leadership and just be completely garbage leader. He oh, didn't oh, turn off leadership. That's oh, my problem. Well, when, well oh, what was, if he didn't turn off leadership, what was he doing those two years with Smush Park? He was being the style of leader he was. Yes, it wasn't was effective. Okay. I'll say so. Uh, it wasn't no, let me. Let me. So he, he was a bad leader. Forty five right? wins. That's leadership. Oh, no. Was let he me, a bad leader? Back to my mind, please. Be a leader. Just because Phil Jackson has was players he, that don't that he, didn't respond to his leadership he, style doesn't make a him bad a, a bad leader. Was Just because leader? good leaders don't that have people that don't uh, respond to their leadership, you're not gonna please everybody, bro. Hold on, hey man. Hold you're on, not gonna affect everybody. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Sorry, sorry to just barge in because I've been watching. I just got in the crib. I've been listening to here and there on the road. Lamont, you is all the way around capping, and I expect better from you because you know better because you play. <laughs> because, listen, bro, first of all, you using the argument that the best player can't be the leader. You as a coach know the reason why. That's not what I play. said. No, 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 no. Let me finish. Let no, me what I'm saying is you can't start off. I didn't say the best player Lamont, can't be the leader. You can't mute me. Let That's me not finish. what I said. Let me finish my point. No, I can't. Let, hold on. Let me on. finish, no, bro. Hold on. 30. I did not say the best player can't be the leader. I'm not 30. Let me finish. I, hold on. I said the best player doesn't isn't always the leader. No, listen. I said listen, throughout no, history. If you let me finish. No, I, I, y'all, because people been yelling and I'm over not talking. Yelling. Stop muting. No, me. I, my point is gonna get across. I'm gonna keep muting because my point will be loud and clear. It will be the biggest. Across. It will be the loudest you point of the day. Point. The loudest. I know you get your two seconds, but my points will be definitive and clear. My points will be clear. Don't come in here and misquote it. You guys will learn. The best player is not always the leader. Let me finish. I know, I know, but what I'm hold on. I'm what I'm doing is I'm setting the stage. So when you speak, you speak correctly. If you, if you let me finish, all right, I'm gonna let you finish. You don't have to keep repeating that. The best player the, you got does that. not have to be the leader. I did not say any. So the thing if is, there are some teams, like when you talk about Tim Duncan. The best player was the leader. There are other teams where we can point to the best player, like with the Clippers and Kawhi Leonard, is not the leader. It happens. I think over time, we've been connecting the best player as automatically being the best leader without qualifying them as the leader. We Opposite just say the can I, can, I, can I finish? Can I finish? Can I cut me off? Well, well, I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. But remember, we got to move forward. So I didn't say Kobe was a was not a leader. He was a leader in his own right. I just don't think he was as good at it as you guys are trying, trying to portray because he was seemingly only good at it when, when things around the team were essentially perfect. He struggled with leadership when things weren't going well. That's where he struggled. And I think that's where you need to shine as a leader. You have to shine when things aren't going well. If you don't shine when things aren't going well, it's a testament. Just And my example was Kobe scoring. Can, can Even I, when I Kobe know? was on bad teams, Kobe was always a great scorer. Yeah. So yeah. this is how we know Kobe was always a great scorer. It, Smush Parker and, and Kwame Brown were never going to stop Kobe from being a great scorer. If Kobe was a great leader, then how did Smush Parker and Kwame Brown stop him from being a great leader? Okay. Now, if you let me finish my point when yeah, I was going to say before you mute me like six times. Get to your point, my guy. You're gonna let me, you gonna cut me off, right? Or get, mute me. Get to times. it. Okay. Let's, let's okay. go. Okay. So the whole point I'm saying is that you acknowledging the fact of that said about the best player being the leader. Before you come in, I was gonna finish by saying what you just said. You said that everybody had a perception of ignoring the best guy as the, the leader of the team. And you as a former player and the coach, you don't understand why you would think that or anoint that from the best guy because you as a coach and understand that if I can if I can talk to my best player this way, if I get my best player to show the max effort, Not it true. trails down to let me I finish. Don't think that. I've let never thought that. Take, that's, Lamont, Lamont, that's Lamont, another Lamont, lie. Lamont, my Lamont. best player on my team Lamont, now is Lamont. not even my leader. Let me, if you let me finish my point, you will hear me, bro. So Come you on, can't bro. say you, as a you, you don't do this, bro. Come on, on bro. you you can't say as a coach, Lamont. I know this when I can tell. I don't can, understand my point. Hold on, if you hold on, but hold on. You said 
You understand yeah, as a coach. Oh, no, I, I, what I, I understand I, is I, no, I, but I, but see again, I, I you you're wrong. Like, one, bro. You, you only are, let me finish my point. You ready? To I know. Me okay, go ahead and finish. Just it, be factual. Because what you, you said, understand what speaking has factual, nothing to do with y'all hear my point. What you said has nothing to do with coaching or good coaches. Lamont, is you gonna let me finish? Once again, go ahead. Go, go mute me again. I don't know what you got going on today. You hear somebody pissed in your. There, okay, there you go. He's not even tucked into his point. Get to your point, or get to it. I, 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 I got to get to it. I come back another day. All right, y'all. You, you see what I'm saying? People are running. You can't bring up my right, best. Player, my best player on my team now is not our leader. I had him on the show. That's Dave. He's our point guard. He is not our leader. He just doesn't have the makeup of what it takes to lead the team. Our leader is actually our backup point guard, a, the kid from Israel who's older. He knows how to connect and communicate with the players better. And he's it, what I – this is why he's our captain. That's I, not what he was saying, Lamont. He didn't let him finish. Him. He says, I should know as a coach why the best player – no, the one thing yeah. I know as a coach, I no, know that the leader is the guy that is able to bring the team together and connect the team. He knows how to – Sometimes, right. sometimes I, our big man, right. our point guard, miscommunicate. You're right about that. The, 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 the person, hey, Tyson, let me go at him. The person, the person that connects those two is our backup point guard, Shy, because he's the leader and communicator on that team. When they struggle to communicate, when they having a back and forth, the leader brings them guys together in a quick huddle. Look, guys, okay, this is what he's trying to say. This is what he's trying to say. He needs you to do this. You got to hedge harder. And so he's the leader. So the best player is ne most times not always the leader. Sometimes the best players, because they're so good, they struggle with being the leader because they are they because because they're so good at things they struggle with not with uh, with the understanding that other guys just aren't as good as them. And so that, right. that's the struggle with good players because they're so good. I, okay. I, I mean, okay. I, I just think that we I don't know why we give Kobe this leadership stigma especially great leaders stigma when i don't think he's earned it oh okay now, now let me let me let me get let me let me take this let the me take the mic crazy. for a second here hold on hold on i don't let me think take the mic real quick add to the conversation Pooty. i would love okay, you to listen. Chime in. hold on let me let me let me get to my point because i because i actually was going to ask you a question I'm gonna, that's why i was going to tell you my point because why i asked you who was the real leader of the team you said phil jackson i was not thinking phil jackson i was thinking Derek fisher because if you're looking at if you're looking if you're if you're giving out all those criteria, I think of Derek Fisher, if that's what you're saying. Because I never looked at Phil Jackson as a leader. Because keep in mind, Phil Jackson wrote the book basically snitching on everybody and snitching on Kobe. Literally, if you, you said, know this, Lamont, you said, you you've said this before up, many man? times. You said so you know this. Hey, if you say Derek Fisher, I'm going to agree with that over Kobe. That's what, yeah, that's what hey, I'm saying. Hey, hey, Lamont, I agree with you. Go ahead, Beast. I agree with you, Lamont. Go ahead. Lamont, right? Go ahead, Beast. No, I'm just saying you're right. I don't got to say no more. You're right. Yeah, I disagree. Lamont, Lamont, to me, is conflicting multiple things. Like, the best communicator on your team is not necessarily <laughs> the leader of the team. Just no. because somebody... Is the communicator and get points that's across. One attribute of your best leader. Yeah, that's I, a, that that I, can be. If you can't that can be Lamont, but at the same time, that's, it's a, that's, that's, not, that's, that's not what I'm bad. saying. It's a lot that goes into it, bro. I, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. LeBron has been counted as a good leader, right? But his time in LA, his leadership has been called into question a lot, has it not? Correct. Well, what has LeBron always done? See, a good leader may not actually be leading the team. He may be able to to give someone authority. Hey, yo, man, what's up, y'all? This is for a big time, man. I'm fat ass. Nigga, what the <laughs> fuck? Thank you. Wait, what? That's what I was about to say. Kick that what man out of here, bro. So, so, <laughs> go ahead, so, go ahead, Beast. So, so if you look at LeBron and all, if you look at LeBron and all the all the leadership qualities they say he has, his biggest quality is he is a he's able to to give other people roles. You 
go back and look at James Jones, you look at all, even Dudley. That team has struggled since Dudley has been off that team. LeBron has always had that one dude that was actually the leader, even though he got the credit that managed the locker room for him. LeBron is a thousand percent right. Phil Jackson was the leader on that team, and then other guys like Derek Fisher, Rick Fox, all these dudes, they were the they were the glue. It wasn't Kobe. Kobe was just the best player. And Kobe just took the the load on himself of of performance. That's all it was. Does anybody think that you're talking about the Pogus all years? The, does anybody think that um, that Kobe could have had more success if if he was a uh, uh, an even better leader with Smush Parker um, in the second no. year? If, if uh, in the second year, like m- maybe he could have got to a a conference finals or something like that, or no, you know, no, whatever, no, whatever no, it might have no, been. No, because no, wait, let, you, let me finish. Let, let me let, let me finish. Let me give you another may, example. May, of may that I finish? May, may I finish? Can, oh, can no, I finish? You can't. No, you can't. 2007, what he did in that That's playoffs, crazy. in 2007, oh, you can't as well. when he, in 2007, when he went out there and did that against the Suns, give me an example of a great leader doing what Kobe did. I wasn't trying to give an example of, 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 of Kobe asking, being a great I'm, leader. Scotty Pippen. I was just Scotty Pippen, bitch. All, all, I, all I just said is like, if, if he was a better leader, it's, it's potential for for him to do that. Like, uh, uh, like for example, like uh, Steph, right? Steph in twenty twenty one, he was playing with G League talent almost. All right, he, he was playing with the uh, um, um, with Otto Porter, who was a second in the full guy, uh, always injured. He was playing with Nico, uh, uh, Nico, whatever, and then uh, he was playing with uh, with Gary Payton the second, who was in and out of the G League. You had uh, Jordan Poole, also was uh, was in and out of G League. And then next thing you know, um, now all of a sudden, they, the next year, they end up winning a championship based, based, the based on him That's being awesome. able to, to help everybody become as one. So, yeah, but, but I mean, you know, you know like, you, you could get that out of, out of Kobe if, if he was, no, you know, I guess more so communicative. So. It's nothing more you know, than could have did. Your point is invalid because we all know Draymond has been the leader on that team. The no, no, no. He's just a vocal leader. That's all he is. He's, he's not He's not the leader. He's not no leader, bro. bro. Steph Curry even said he's the leader. What are you talking about? That's a fact, Lamar. Steph said it. We, we, it bro, Draymond even said he's the leader. Hold on. Steve Dray- Curry Dray- even said he's the leader. Draymond said the leader. Dray- Draymond said Steph's the leader. Man, y'all so got what are you talking about? This is the well, this is the leader. Lamont okay, so who's the leader of that team? So who Dray- so outside Dray- looking Draymond Dray- 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 literally Dray- said that he's the leader. Who would you say is the leader of the Warriors? Um I think it's Steph. I think it's Steph Steph puts like uh the, 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 the Tim Duncan role. I think he played the Tim Duncan role of the I team. already debunked that months ago and over a year ago. He had he had all these sayings of Steph saying Draymond was the leader. Clay saying the leader, even Kerr saying he was the leader, sir. Yeah, go, but yeah, go but back um, and go back and do your research. I, 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 Dr- Dr- Draymond also said that Steph is the leader, so I, I don't, I don't understand what you guys talking about. I only came up here to back up Lamont and saying that generally, but 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 I but I would agree with I, I would agree with Lamont though for the most part. So. Most of the, most of these dudes, Kobe, Jordan, they're egomaniacs, man. Thank you. And they and they have to be to, That's a fact. to put in the work and the time that they do. So so they don't they don't necessarily they're not necessarily leaders. They're really great at what they do. You have to put other people around them to get the best out of them. So that's why I don't think Kobe was a leader. Kobe, let's just be honest about Kobe. What? Kobe Kobe wasn't even liked in the league until the very end. Players didn't like <laughs> him. People didn't like him. Why does that not make him a leader, though? I laugh at this. Hold on, real quick. Bees, by leadership, what about being the first and that last out the gym? That's showing great leadership. He That's work ethic. That is, that is work ethic. That's showing leadership. No, no, hold on. Uh, y'all, keep con- y'all keep conflating work ethic and all these other intangibles with leadership. 
That's well, part of leadership, it. Lamont. No, Just like not, you said, no. well, communication is part of leadership. You if you got a communicator with no work ethic, then he's not going to be a good leader. Thank, so, you. thank you. Kobe had great work ethic, but what happens is it's part of on, leadership. the number one element. The That's number one I'm element to leadership is if you can't communicate, all that other stuff don't matter. All the work ethic, all that stuff, all the shots you put in the gym. All that goes into the garbage can if you can't communicate, and vice I'm, versa. Communication, so no, no. Jason Kidd and Kobe was, and then the thing is, a lot team? of these guys, like Smush Parker, this was a guy that see the thing is, you can't connect not having a work ethic with Smush Parker because the man was playing on a non guaranteed deal. If he wasn't working hard, he was out of there. This man was playing for his NBA life every time he stepped onto the court. The oh, thing man. is, he just had a limited skill set, exactly. He wasn't like, talented enough, and players like Kobe. Instead, instead, what they did was they cried about his limited skill set, even though he was playing to his the best of his ability, as opposed to being a leader, connecting the team more, trying to see how can we be better as a team. So averaging eleven point five points. Okay, bro. For a guy, for a guy to start when he came into the Lakers, like he said, he wasn't even supposed to be the starter. He outplayed the starter. He became the starter for that team. He was the starter for two what years. What does that do for Kobe played, Bryant, who's trying to win a championship? Hold on. hold on. It should not do anything for Kobe because if you guys say he was the leader of that team, it's his job to galvanize the entire team, not just Smush. And if Smush is saying in that locker room, Kobe Bryant, and he's not the only one to say this. There's been other teams and other players to say he was distant. He didn't communicate with anybody. That's indicative of a bad leader. And this is why they only <laughs> succeeded with Phil Jackson there because Phil Jackson was the median between Kobe and the rest of the team. He could get everybody on the same page. When he's not there, everybody Kobe's on his own page and everybody else is over here doing their own thing. And that's why it didn't look good when Phil wasn't there. So why did, Are you the, talk- dream, no. so why did the Olympic team turn around because of Kobe and Jason Kidd leadership? Time of Oh, hold on. What do you mean by that, Ralph? I don't know, I don't know why he's talking about that. There's video evidence on that redemption team, them saying Kobe and Jason Kidd was the leader of that team. That is a fact. That is a fact. They, probably was just the older players. That's all. No, no. When you say turn it around, what do you mean, Ralph? Meaning their presence and their, their talking it's, and so their, they, Kobe worth at the turn LeBron to a beast. And that's a fact. Ralph, he said it himself. Ralph, Ralph, we Ralph, know this. We know Ralph, this. You know what I said, Ralph? I said I'm not. I'm not. I'm never gonna judge Kobe's leadership when he's walking around with the best players in the league. When he's walking around with a championship roster, it's easy to lead and act like a leader when you're walking around with 12 of the best NBA players in the world and you playing overseas international talent. That's and easy. The best guys was what I'm saying is, I here. judge leadership. When I know you don't like, it's just like these last couple of years. I'm not surprised that more people aren't really attacking LeBron James's ability to lead and be a great leader because it seems like, just like Bees pointed out over the last couple of years, his back's been against the wall. He ain't walking around with the Kyrie's and the D Ways and the Chris Bosses. And his leadership, his body language, his communication has been looking really toxic. But right. the crazy thing is, people. Out of all the criticisms, never want to bring that up. They start bringing up all this other stuff, records, banners, all this silly stuff, and they don't really criticize him for the one thing where he needs criticism the most, which is even his leadership. Right. And and, and, and he's he's always been able to have that guy on his team, Lamont, that has done <clears throat> that is that done those little things for him. Because he always pointing at somebody, yelling at somebody, doing something to somebody. You gotta, you gotta bring them back into the fold, yep. and, and, and that's what Jerry Dudley and Jer- uh, Jones and all these other dudes did for him. That those were his leaders. That's why KD wanted. That's Jordan. not a leader. That's not a leader. No, it is a leader, bro. Somebody, if 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 I'm the, the disciplinarian and I got a guy that comes behind back to say, "Oh, it's all right, man. He's just hard on everybody, man. You are gonna get him next time." That's not a leader, bro. That's Uh-oh. a that's a that's a that's a that's a makeup dude that you know puts everything back together. That's not a leader, bro. That's somebody that comes in. That's a locker room guy and a good locker room guy. That's fine. Everybody has those. But when you talk about a leader, the leader is the I one that does the was. disciplinary work and all the what, other stuff. What the hell you think a locker room guy is, bro? 
is not necessarily a leader. They're good for camaraderie. They're good for the locker that's, room. Okay. That's a form of <laughs> but that don't make them the leader of the team. The Are you serious? Draymond Green ain't no, no damn leader, that's bro. A form of stop See, the cap. That's, stop the bullshit. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's stop this Draymond thing, bro. Because that does not make you a leader, bro. Draymond ain't no fucking leader, man. All right, bro, a bro. good locker room guy that's is a fucking silly, good locker room guy. That's not the leader of the team. All right, bro. All right, all right, bro. All right. You agree with that, Lamar? No, no, Tyson, Tyson, Tyson. Right. If anybody played or coached any organized sport, there is no one leader. You that, have that's multiple true, too. guys. You have mo the thing. The, so what says a leader? What is the leader? Right. The characteristic of a leader is one setting a standard. Unless the expectations for that you have you that you hold yourself and your peers to. Number two is communication. You be able to express that standard to you, yourself, and your peers. Number three, this most underrated part of leadership is delegation. Understanding at times, either when shit hits the fan or things ain't going the best, you understand as a leader, okay, this not be my strength. I can't allow another person to take the reins temporarily for to be the best thing for the team. Thank you, sir. So what, what Bees is alluding to is that veteran, that veteran communication that we've seen on multiple championship teams. Perfect example, a guy like LeBron. There's a reason why LeBron has a veteran guy on every single championship team he was on. From James Jones to Dallas Haslam to, to um, Jared Dudley, these are guys that help communicate his standard to the other guys that might not get that much playing time or might understand certain things that LeBron is doing. And that's the thing about organized sports. Leadership don't come from one person. There's multiple hierarchies of leadership. And thank you for Jared Dudley for explaining that on the JJ Reddit podcast. So when Lamont asked me, when, um, how does everyone doesn't lead the the right way? It depends on the circumstances and most importantly the type of personnel that you do have. Because for we seen for a great guys like the Bulls, it wasn't just one leader. It wasn't just Michael Jordan. Phil Jackson was the leader. Scotty Pippen was the leader. And um, even his short time there. Well, well, Bill Cartwright was the underrated leader of that of that crew. Right. So there's multiple there's multiple hierarchies of leadership. You convey that message for. So in this case, when we're talking about Kobe Bryant. Like I said in the beginning, prior to the summer of 2008, he was not a good leader. But just like every great player, you go through ball games, either through your play or through um or through your um expertise and leadership. When you're done, sir. After two thousand, yeah. after that loss to the Celtics was a debilitating loss. He himself said, "I I blame myself. I take responsibility for our failure because I didn't get my guys ready. I didn't set the standard. I did not prepare my guys properly to for it to be for it to be that intense to face a team like the Boston Celtics." End quote. So. In my opinion, was Kobe Bryant a good leader at some point in his career? Absolutely. Was he a good leader the majority of his career? No, he wasn't. But like I told him about earlier, we got to remember the circumstances Kobe Bryant came into. When he got traded to the Los Angeles Lakers, he was not asked to be that leader, and he was 18 years old. What team you know, listen to a, what, what, what group of grown men, listen to a, eight, a freshman 18-year-old rookie. So of course, if, if if of course we see those two years after Shaq left, there's going to be a lot of mistakes from him because he never had to be a leader coming to the league. So does anybody think that Kobe would have been a better leader if he would have went to college? Come on, bro. we don't know. Yes, we don't know. Yes, yes, he would have. Uh, probably, yeah, probably. Oh, no. Somebody's mic is messed up. Somebody breaking up. Somebody breaking up. Ace thirty said a, a hierarchy of leadership. What is a hierarchy? Ace thirty. Hierarchy is different. Is uh, uh, okay. Different levels. Like, so There's different I, levels, I right? Jerry, so there is. Yeah, there is somebody call, at the top I, of the hierarchy, right? Yeah, I call. I call Jerry. Okay. Depending okay. on your team, but no, depending on your team, somebody have a bigger voice. But you have to understand, as the guy, as the highest guy, that my message may not be. Communicated well, so this guy has to communicate that message. This guy right. has to communicate that. Message. That doesn't make him the and, leader, and, right? That makes no, him on the hierarchy of leadership. It, it is a type of leadership. All so, right. yes, okay. It does make All him one right. of leadership. And it makes like him on the hierarchy. The He's not the leader. It, it, it is the leader, most, usually. Yeah, it depends on the okay. team. That's what I'm All saying, right. Tyson. Just understanding what a hierarchy is and explaining and letting people know that you yeah, said the same thing I said. 
No, of course. But okay, okay. I'll give you another example. Tim Duncan. And this is why I disagree with Lamar. I do agree, disagree, disagree, disagree to a certain extent. I do agree just because you're a great player don't mean you're a leader. But as a great player, you have a responsibility to set the standard of being great. Period. So that's leading by example. That's what I'm trying to no, say. No, for no, example, no. Tim Duncan. I, I was going to give a perfect example. Tim Duncan for the San Antonio Spurs. Everyone knows R.C. Buser and Popovich is the hands down of the main communication and leadership of that Spurs. But to quote Stephen Jackson himself, when you got guys like Tim Duncan, the best player being heavily criticized publicly, and he's taking it, that sets a precedent and a standard for everybody else. So when guys like Stephen Jackson say, if Tim Duncan getting yelled at, how the hell can I say anything bad or, or back to a pop? That's what SB was trying to get off, Sturdy. Yeah, they, get off. even so, they, hold on. They say the same thing about change. Tom Brady. Like, it still doesn't change. Like, so just because Tim Duncan was able to get yelled at, it doesn't mean that's why everybody else fell in line. Right? That's the perception that, that leads you to believe. <laughs> and then, and then it kind of dumbs down. And then it kind of dumbs down who Popovich was as a coach. I think Popovich understands himself. I might be able to go hard nose with Tim Duncan. I might have to coach this other guy different. We see that. We see how Popovich has changed up his coaching style just with the team he's dealing with now. The way he coaches now is not how he was coaching when he had Tim Duncan and those guys. He was a much had a much hard, more hard nose approach with those guys. With this because guy, because of the expectations. Of, no, it's not even. But it's not even that. He just understands. No, it is that. No, hold on. What What I'm saying is. The best leaders can change their style based on what they have there, or based on like with Victor Wembanyama. We rarely ever see him running up in Victor Wembanyama's face, yelling at him. But you know, with Jerry Jeremy Sochan, I've seen that man That's step the Jerry expectation. So no, what I'm saying is the, the the leaders, the best leaders, have that communication. And I I disagree with Sturdy. There's no level of expectation to lead from the best players. The only thing the best players players need to do is do what they do best. If leading is one of those things, then lead. If not, then leave the leading up to the guys that are there to lead. But if you're like Kobe's job was to go there and produce, score, go crazy on defense. I don't think his job was to try to be the leader. That just wasn't in him to ever be a good leader. Uh, to quote to quote Pete Williams, the guy that you interviewed who showed who been on championship teams and the reason why he had to stay for AI because he did not Take it. He not take practice seriously. He kept missing practice. That set a bad precedent. If you see the best player on your 100%. team doing something, one hundred percent. That's not my quote. That's the guy that you interviewed about. Mm -hmm. And and what me and Tyson said about the Kobe and the gym thing. And the Hold on, who's that talking? Leader. Somebody's That's mic is great leadership. Is Lamar, a, I, I, I think Lamont understands that he's trying I to be think nasty. Marvin, I think Marvin, your mic is messed up, Marvin. But, uh, Sturdy, all right, all right, give me a second. I'll, I'll fix hold it. Hold on, hold on. It's good now. It's not you, Marvin. It was somebody else. Somebody else is talking. All right. Is it twin or somebody? I can't figure out who it is. Is it Yeah, yeah who is that? Whoever that is. If your if it if your best player and, and, is the hardest we're... worker on your team, that does wonders for your team, and you know that, Lamont. Hold on, say that again. If your best player on your team is also your hardest worker on your team, that does wonders for your team. Oh, but hold on, but but uh, that's that that's a that's a type of leadership. I'm not saying that's not leadership, but what I'm saying is, but you tried to I, deny that with on, SD. You tried to no, say no, that I'm, wasn't I'm not a thing. To deny, I'm not saying it's not leadership. I'm saying it doesn't make you the best leader or even a great leader. But it, it doesn't, doesn't make you a trash leader. So what either. I what I've said with Kobe is, Kobe is a leader to a certain degree, but. In these conversations that we have about Kobe, people assign the label of Kobe being a great leader. They they make it seem like his leadership was otherworldly, putting it up there with the ilks of guys like the Bill Russells, and is not. Right. It, it, right. it, he, is he, they all had leadership, but I'm not going to classify his leadership as one of those intangibles that makes me rank him in the top 10 all time. I don't think he was that type of leader. So mm -hmm. I don't think he was that good of a leader, and I don't think his leadership was that impactful. Oh my god! Because even on the championship teams, I can look to other guys that absorb the bulk of the leadership low roles 
and their leadership was much more impactful than Kobe's. Kobe's so, primary, so, Kobe's I, primary I, I, job I, I, was statistics, I, was putting for production. I, 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 so, so I, 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 I give you that. I give you that. So do you, you think do that, Jordan? Do you think Jordan and Kobe's in the same tier of leadership? Yes, I put I I, I put Jordan a tinge ahead of Kobe, but yes. Oh, that's crazy. Why you put Jordan a tinge ahead? I put I put Jordan a tinge ahead because I've seen th that second three peat. When I think for me, when I watched how he actively work with Phil Jackson and the other team and they were able to manage the Dennis Rodman situation at a time where nobody felt like they could manage Dennis Rodman and to the tune of that they had the success Rodman had some of his best years right when nobody thought he had anything left in the tank I think by them being able to maximize a guy like that it to me it showed a form of leadership to be able to That's accept that thing. when well, Jordan talked about in the cool. last when Jordan talked about in the last dance how again, along with Phil Jackson, they were able to loose the, loosen the reins. Uh, you talking about a hard nosed guy? They were able to loosen the reins on a guy like Dennis Rodman and let him be himself on and off the court, so they can get the most out of him. It takes leadership to to do that because he could have. What Jordan could have done with Rodman is he could have still kept that hard nosed approach. I don't care what you want to do, Rodman. You come into practice, and I don't care. And he could have pushed back against Rodman. That would have just shut Rodman down. But then why you, you don't? And, and, and then you why you don't assign that same credit to Kobe? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why you don't assign that same credit to Kobe and Phil for Ron Artest? For Ron Artest, who was who, for Ron Artest, who was had mental issues, had all kind of issues off the court, and he came and was hyper focused on. Tyson, Tyson, Tyson. Hey, I'm not talking about that year. Hold on, I'm gonna be. That's a front running year. What? I'm talking about the year, the years I'm primarily talking about his leadership are the years with Smush Parker. Because the thing is, if Kobe was able to look at Smush Parker and Kwame Brown and be like, look, this is what you guys are as players. I'm just going to do my best to maximize and to be the best leader as possible. I'm going to communicate and work with you guys. Kobe shut down on those guys. He chose not to work with them. He chose not to communicate That's what with I said, them. Yeah. So again, when it gets tough for Kobe, he just shuts down until the organization makes it better. Yeah. So why? why and, 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 and Lamar, and that's and that's, and that's not that's a little unfair. The, the that's like unfair DJ because and, and Ronnie Toriaf got to stay, and Sasha Voitich, those same dudes that was on that trash team, why they got to stay? Why they oh, why wow. they call, call Kobe a great leader and all that? Why he let them do what they want? Huh? Ain't nobody let you? Ronnie Turioff do what he wanted, man. What are you talking? No, but about? the thing is, the thing is, Lamar. Lamar, the pushback, the, the pushback gets even in the last dance, Lamar. Jordan hated the fact that Robin went on sabbaticals. That was Phil Jackson's idea. It wasn't Jordan letting the reins go. No, that was Phil Jackson. Number two, you can't just say when things get tough. I like I said before, he was not a good leader prior to two thousand, the summer of two thousand eight. That's prior. But when things were getting tough from summer 2008 on, he didn't make the same mistakes. It wasn't he tough. Did. You, okay, we agree to disagree because I've seen multiple teams get broken up when they lose, when they didn't win the championship. That didn't when I what happened in 2008. I've seen a lot of teams give That's up when they best play. Hold on, I, I'm, about, I'm about to follow up. A lot of teams, a lot of teams quit when – their best players are dealing with injury. A lot of teams quit when things are not when they get the right coach to optimize the system. y'all, y'all keep oh. running. Every time we talk about Kobe's leadership, it's just odd to me how you guys always run to years where they had the most success. It's I didn't watch it. 2008 was not that successful year. What year? Hold on. Hold on. How was 2008 not successful? They lost Lamar. And where? The finals, that's not a successful that's, year. Yeah, it is. Come on, start. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, what I'm not. saying is, <laughs> that is successful. What the hell are you talking about? I'm about you got, okay, let me explain it. it. Let me explain it. Let me explain it. When you're a Laker organization, yeah, your standard you, is championship. That's not a success. Fact. Come on, Sturdy. Of course. No, that's a fact, Tyson. Every, every franchise has different hold standards. On. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Sturdy. You get to the NBA finals. Uh, of course, everybody wants to win. 
But at the end of the day, nobody's going to walk away from that year and say that year was just an utter and complete failure. Cold just like game. even last year for the Lakers, for as bad as they started the year off, for them to get to the Western Conference Finals, no, they didn't win it all. But I'm not going to walk away from that year and say that was just an utter and complete failure. They got to the Western Conference Finals with a team nobody thought can get there. You you have – I'm just being realistic. Can't Everybody can't win, and I don't think 29 teams in the league are just utter and complete failures if they don't win in the championship. There's and positive, that's how I said but, but, uh, but, about, but, but, and when you talk about a Lakers team that got to the final, you you run. I don't. I want you to talk. Tell me about. Let's just stick to the the years where we had an eyewitness testimony because we are trying to run the other years where there's no eyewitness testimony. Stick to what Smush Parker said. There's eyewitness testimony. Hold on. This is when you get eyewitness testimony. I can't use them. But I don't. But I, I gave him Paul Gasol. He I don't. He, he, he kept I, 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 I haven't. I wanted to stay in more in line with everybody's thoughts on Smush Parker because those are the most ideal years because we know those were really bad teams. And we know Kobe's back was against the wall. And from my – from it, even before Smush Parker gave his testimony, it's evident that Kobe Bryant turned off. He, he disconnected from the team. He was not invested in the team – that they had formulated with Smush Parker and those guys, he was disconnected from that group. He was not wanting to be a leader of those guys. He was not invested in trying to get those guys to play harder. His, his He was only invested in crying to the media and crying to management about getting more, better players in L.A. so they can have a chance to win again. And when that happens, when, when, yo, when the going gets tough, if that's what you choose to do, I'm fine with that. But it's an indication that you were are never were were never or could be a great leader. Because oh, that's bull. That, that's, that's bull. That yeah, that's what we bull. that's what we disagree. When you say you could never be that bull. That's, yeah, bull. that's what we disagree. People grow. Because because people grow in life, Lamont. People mature. You're always gonna have that in you. You're always gonna have that turn that's, off in you. And Lamont, like I said, reason. people mature. People get game, better. The game of basketball. When the pressure comes on, you always revert back to what you do most. And when when times got tough for Kobe, a lot of times we saw Kobe shut down. When things got tough with the Kobe and Shaq years, Kobe shut down. When things got tough with Smush Parker, Kobe disconnected and shut down. Kobe's shown when times get tough, he's shown multiple years, multiple players, that he will disconnect himself from the team and check out until the organization gets other pieces in that he likes better. And then you're out. I agree and with Lamar, that. And Lamar, guess, what, guess, what, Lamar, guess what, Lamar? I started my, my monologue by saying prior to 2000, the summer 2000, he was not a good leader. So you're being redundant right now. You keep saying, let's focus on sports. Even Parker, after 2008. Reads, he wasn't. We can, we can even go to the Nick Young years. Right? We can even go to those other years when they had – we. I'll admit they had some clowns over there. I'm not gonna shy away from that. But uh, even me, so but we so this is after the championships. This is after yes. the and even during those years, what did he do? He disconnected. And that's cat. That's some of the great years that Kobe had as, as personally. Oh my God. He was joking with the team. He was going out to dinners. What are we talking about? Team camaraderie. Bro, Stop bro, it, did bro. you hear what Nick Young and them say about Kobe? Bro, Nick I'm gonna be honest with you, Lamar. Nick yeah. Young don't take shit serious, bro. And that's in the words of Gilbert Reese himself. He don't take shit okay. serious. Okay, so so what about all the other guys? When 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 that when like Paul Gasol? Like, no, what I'm saying. No, we're talking about after. Oh, okay, no, you said, remember you said after. He 08. was there after 2010, no, bro, Lamar. You said after, was there after 2010. You said after 08, he got better as a leader. Then yes. when Paul Gasol and those guys go away. And then you got this new cast of characters coming in. Then his leadership up. Oh, damn, these guys ain't good. Let's turn off the leadership. Outside of Nick Young, who else you got, Lamar? Hold on, hold on, Ralph. Hold on, Ralph. Outside of Nick Young, who else you got, Lamar? After 2008, outside of Nick Young, who else you got? What do you mean? Because just how you can bring up testimonies of Nick Young, I can also bring up testimonies of other players from different teammates of Nick Young and different franchises saying he was not a serious player. Give me the examples of Kobe's great leadership during the Nick Young years. What was his examples of bad leadership? 
That's why. That's why I'm trying to add. That's why I said the, 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 the disconnecting from the team, the not being invested in the team, the always the going to the media. Like right, right, right. Didn't they? Didn't yeah. they say that? Didn't Brown oh, Test say the same God. thing about the uh, the, the championship bro, years? Bro, like I said, bro. If now, see now, now we want to revert to just lying about Kobe. What you well, saying? I mean, I mean no, y'all y'all acting like y'all acting like so y'all acting like Kobe was just connected, being a team player, being a great leader during that time. Let's like let's stop lying. Bro, we see him smile. But you saying that's, that that's where we have an issue. You can't okay. I'll, I'll I'll go out since 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 it's only believable if I get the real world examples in the quotes, I'll go get them. No, it's not even that, bro. No, this is what this is what because it players, seems like they don't believe it. Until no, 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 no. This, this is the problem we have. And you're talking about players that didn't take the game matter. as serious as Kobe, right? So they're not going to have, they're not going to, they're not going to respond well to his leadership style. When you got players like a Ron Artest who come over there and see the goal of winning a championship and a Paul Gasol and see the 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 mindset of a Kobe and, and his leadership style and what he brings to a table, those are the players that are gonna respond. And if and if you don't have those equalities, then you're not gonna win with Kobe anyway. That's the whole point. His leadership style is his leadership style. And I'm not saying it's the best. What I'm saying is that's what Kobe did, and that's the type of leader he was. And it's not gonna work for uh Swaggy P. It's not gonna work for Smush okay, Parker. So hold on, but 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 I don't. I already. I just find it hilarious. Hold on. I already I, went I, back I, and right. told you that whenever you start talking about a player's leadership, and then you you start go, going into your soliloquy and you're blaming it on other players, that tells you right there there's an issue with the leadership. No, it's not. Yes, it is because the one thing say he's the a one great thing leader. the leaders the one thing the number one sign of an oh, elite wow. leader. It's always going to be accountability first before they start pointing the fingers. So the problem is if y'all can't even take give Kobe the accountability he deserves as a leader first and then trickle down to the others, then he was he wasn't a good leader. Because you guys are okay. blaming the others the first, you and then you're saying this is what exonerates Kobe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I get you. No, I get that. So, so hold on, hold on. No, so no. Your, your time window that you want us to use is from two. No. I think you got that 2013-2014. No, what I'm so saying is this. No. Uh, no, that's not what I said. What I said is okay. Smush Parker years, Kobe uh -huh. bad leader. They bring the cavalry in, all of a sudden Kobe good leader. The cavalry goes away, they're not winning championships. Kobe back to being bad leader. So, but y'all are saying, oh no, 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 no. Those were years where he actually was a good leader. So after Paul, after that, after the championship runs, after Phil Jackson left and Mike Brown comes into the play, give me good leadership, Kobe Bryant. I'm supposed to give you, hold on, I'm supposed to give you examples of Mike Brown. He was on death like seven games. What the hell? Okay, I just said from that point on forward. I tried to give you Dan Tony when you when Dan Tony was there. I tried to give you examples like Paul Gasol. You ain't like that. I tried to give you examples like Steve Blake. You ain't like that. What else do you want? That's what I'm trying to ask. The success they were there. Um, like, I'm, 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 I'm trying to figure out what, what you want because after Bro, Phil Jackson got there in 2013. Steve Blake. Hold on. What are you talking about? I didn't need, just the first time I heard Steve Blake today. No, because I, I, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. He's got the white boy. Yeah, I forgot his name earlier, but yeah. But, man, let me get a quote for you. You're not going to believe me anyway. Let me get him find this fucking video. That's yeah, what bro. I'm saying. Hey, Just because said, somebody doesn't either. respond to Bill Belichick doesn't mean Bill Belichick is a bad leader. No, but it does, though, right? Because being no, a leader it is no, hold on, hold on. Being a leader is knowing how to galvanize each no, player. No, your style hold is on. not going to be one for everybody. Is not, hold on. One some, size some does not leaders. fit all, bro. No, one size does not fit all, right? I so think, we all on the same. Bro, you Hold on. catering to niggas, bro. They're no, listen, team. it's not right. how you to want you want you want Kobe Bryant to assess swagging piece hold on, bullshit. Hold on. First off, can I complete a sentence? If yeah, you got it. So bro. confident in y'all ability, y'all will let me complete my sentence. Thank you. You got it. So what I'm saying <laughs> is, if we're all on a team, right? One size does not fit all with leadership. You can't just, oh, listen, bro, watch me score, and this is me being a leader. Or you can't just say you could be an asshole. I can't just be an asshole till a month and say that's me being a leadership if he doesn't respond to me being an asshole. Being a leader is knowing how to get people to respond. If we can know this when being when we're, we're, we're assessing coaches, coaches are great coaches or, or who? People that knows how to galvanize people, know how to tr like trigger each player. 
Kobe that's going sometimes. out scoring 37 a game does not make him a fucking leader. It just means you're the best player. So that, and I'll, I'll wrap it up with this. Even if we look at the Clippers right now, right? Kawhi is not the leader. Russ is the leader. Just if they don't win this year, it doesn't mean that Russ wasn't a great leader. He made a great leadership play. And if they do, like that's what I'm saying, y'all, y'all want to equate winning to being a leader or scoring 37 no. points or 40 points being a leader. No, nigga, that just means you're talented. Nobody said nigga. that though. Nobody said that. No, he ran. He ran. He ran. I'll speak. For, I'll speak for me. Right. The example I gave rebranded was actually when stuff got tough, when they lost, when they were dealing with injuries. When guys wasn't focused, the examples I gave Hold on, was when Cole, okay. I have it right here. So I have yeah, right finished. here. This was done by the LA Times on Kobe Bryant's leadership. And this was after we're talking about after Phil Jackson left. Um, and, and, and remember the, all the championship aspirations, all that after the window. Um, and they talked about they started this off by saying Kobe himself admitted his challenging nature in an interview. With the LA Times saying, I'd rather be perceived as a winner than a good teammate or leader. Then we go down. They talked about they have a whole section dedicated to Kobe Bryant, isolated on the court. They, they, for this player example, they say Jeremy Lin during his time with the Lakers observed Kobe's uh, isolation from the team. Lin noted how Kobe's preference for handling the ball on the court and separation from the team off the court sometimes overshadowed the team dynamics. They also give a quote here. Let me scroll down. It says, in a game against the Cavs, it says Kobe, Kobe famously refused to shoot, highlighting the frustration uh, with the team's uh, resilience on his individual performances. And they talked about how when the team had a team meeting after that game, Kobe separated himself and didn't even take part in the team meeting when they talk, wanted to talk about what went wrong in that game. Uh, but they, it's a whole, it's a whole, it's a whole thing of talking about coaches with Mike Brown and Mike D'Antoni. Um, how Kobe even talked about how he struggled with the transition into those systems. You can, I mean, it's a whole, it's a, it's a whole, it's literally a whole diatribe on his bad leadership after they won that championship on his struggles. Player from Dwight way. Howard from Dwight Howard from the Dwight Howard situation when he publicly would call out Dwight Howard as opposed to understanding what Dwight made, what made Dwight tick, his, his leadership style was just to criticize him publicly and it never worked. He never accepted Dwight Howard coming in, right? No matter what Dwight Howard did, it was always going to be wrong. And Kobe was just, for whatever reason, was never receptive to him, never accepted oh, it. the dude that came, that played injured? And, and Lamont, and Lamont, and Lamont. I think I he, was he got a problem. And this, with and this is what, and this is what, this is what you're, this, you're, you're <laughs> taking the realistic nature of this, right? No matter what type of leadership you are, you could be a LeBron, be a Russell type to a, a Kareem and Kobe type, no matter um Jordan type. You can, no matter what type of leadership you are, you need other guys to help communicate that message to your other teammates. That's simple. Facts. Jordan yeah, would not be the the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jordan, there's a reason why there's a reason, oh why, there's a reason why there's a reason why there's a reason why there's a reason why the Bulls they had much success without Phil Jackson or Scottie Pippen. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Is Kareem a great leader? I think another way. I think another. Hey, can, can, can I just get some time? Hey. Is Kareem a great leader? Give him some time. Give, give Buddy some time. Go ahead, Buddy. I think another way to judge, uh, you know, uh, players, leaders, or I mean, uh, players as leaders is like what it's like before and after, after like some of these players leave or like, because Jeremy Lin. And Nick Young, they ended up playing key contributors to the teams that went to win championships, right? And, and then at that, um, when it comes to Michael Jordan or um, prior to him having Phil Jackson, right? Ooh. He he got over to the conference finals. Or, hey, or, 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 they go, at least, least he's making the playoffs. When, when it comes to Kobe, nobody comes to Kobe. When it comes to Kobe, you you wasn't getting yeah, the same before. results. As as the others, so yeah, so that's what I'm just saying. I, I but just like, think, but, that... but, but like, but 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 like, but in regards to like, you know, the the Warriors, whether uh, whether you guys want to say it's oh, Steph or Draymond oh. being the leader or whatever it is, they 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 have played with some of the uh with, with like some of the the quote unquote dumbest players in the league, Zaza Pachulia, Nick Young, Otto Porter. I mean, like they they ended up playing great roles on these teams. 
now, now it's Jordan Poole. So, I mean, you know, like it's, 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 it's all about what, what some of these players are able to do afterwards or, or like, or put it like this judge them, judge like some of these players before and what they're doing. Um, so that's, that, that's basically my point. I, I, I didn't want to like go on, on a long tangent, but yeah, that's about it. Let's hear a ghost town. On the hey, mark. what's up guys? I appreciate the stream. It's a pretty good stream. Sat here and got me through this day at work. But um, <laughs> I want to sit here and tell you, Lamont's right. Um, Kobe's not a good leader. And he broke it down in many different ways. But Tyson, you actually admitted that he's not a good leader. When you said that he had to learn how to be a good leader, which shows that he was bad at first. He got better when he thought he had better players. And then he reverted right back to the way he was. A good leader has to have some attributes, bro. You have to inspire people. You have to uh, instill some type of confidence. That's not yeah, what Kobe counsel. was doing. You and a good leader, he he doesn't just say. Well, anything Paul Gasol anybody. literally said that, bro. And I'm, but, 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 I got a question something. for you. Aunt. No, 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 that's literally no, exactly no, what he finish. said. No, no, hold on, hold on. No, I heard something somebody said earlier about the way Pop handled Tim Duncan. Well, the, what Pop did with Tim Duncan is is it's an old old way of handling like we used to do kids. Like you be really hard on one kid to get a message to the other kids. And the reason you do that is because you know that one kid you're talking to can take it and the other ones can't. So everything you would like to say to everybody who couldn't take what you're saying, you say it extra hard to the one that can say it. That's all he's doing. That, 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 that's the same thing that Bill Belichick did. Oh, oh, y'all let him finish. Let him so finish, bro. The fact that Kobe, just, just he had no humility at all. He would just come at people any kind of way. Bro, that's not a sign of a good leader. You have to know who you're talking to because you can't talk to one person the same way you talk to somebody else. Good leaders know that. Hey, so, I got a question. So, so, If you got a teammate that's sitting there and feel this, he just don't even have anything to do with you, bro, that's not building relationships. How are you going to build a relationship like that? All leaders have to build a relationship with the people that's under them. They have to uh, delegate. How are you going to delegate if you don't know who you're talking to? Hey, I'm going to ask you a question Hold so on. I can see. Real quick, real quick, real quick. I just want to ask you a question. What's up, Herm? So, 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 go. I'm asking the same question I asked you to Lamar. And during that, during that criteria, he's laid it all out, right? Right. 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 Can I say, using that same thing, can I say Jordan wasn't a good leader? He sure was. Okay, I just want to see consistency. That's all I want to see. That's oh, what I said. Consistent. Yeah, I said, I, I said you might. I said you might want to put him lightly ahead of Kobe, but they're in the same ballpark. Hey, go Jordan, Jordan to me, Jordan to me is worse. Like, shit, can we that, say LeBron wasn't thing. the leader in Miami? It was Haslam. Not, not, but goes. I got a no, question. Well, then, go. My fault. My fault. My fault. Don't listen, don't listen to her. What's up? Do you think that when it comes to NBA history, though, that you can only go point out to a handful of guys? That are actually leaders because I think all the all time greats that we love because I we know you the LeBron guy, but we know all the all time greats have moments that they were bad leaders. So can we agree that guys guys have had their learning stages that they had to they had to crumble, had to have some shortcomings, but they got better with their leadership as their career went on. Absolutely. Can we agree everybody to that? Everybody has to learn. Everybody learns and gets and improves in whatever it is they're trying to be or doing. And that goes for right. everything. But so, so here's my next question, though. Did Cobra Brian at least show effort and improvement, though? Um, Not really. No. Uh, what he that's did true. Was, that's what y'all being No, what he did was disingenuous. Is what Lamont said. Once he got players around who didn't need leadership, they didn't need it. You don't need to lead like, Paul South. You don't need to lead. He was already Ron disciplined. Yes, you do. No, no, yes, you what do the go. fuck? Yes, you do. Go. Let, let him finish. 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 We ain't going to let him lie, bro. This thing behind you. They have confidence. They know what they can do. They, they know their game. They know who they are. You don't have to lead people like that. You have to lead people that don't know what the hell to do. How? So what Lamar should I do? What do I need to do? So Lamar older than need leadership? Hold on, hold on. Let's say, let's say this. Well, I didn't want to bring them by the time situation. that team was put together, who was the real leader? Oh, wow. Bill Jackson. Bill Jackson. I'm going to tell hold, you something that Lamar Odom said about Kobe Bryant. Lamar Odom said that Kobe Bryant was easy to learn from. 
Kobe Bryant was a good leader by example by showing his effort and practices how he was the first one there, last one to leave. Hey. Lamar Odom is a guy that we know had a lot of off the court issues, a guy that that been fighting demons his whole life basically. In light yeah. of having well, a leader come around, what's going on? What's going on? Hold on, but y'all look, you look, hey, y'all, look, y'all, y'all. We're not saying dur- during the all the years where y'all keep alluding to is Kobe being a good leader. Y'all keep only focusing on the years where the Lakers were really good and they were led by. Phil they Jack. wasn't good with them all. What I, the hold on, done. what I said was, we I said, got to get their old five. No, on what I said, tomorrow. what I said was this. I said. He struggled as a leader, especially at the end of the Shaq Kobe era. Even during the Shaq Kobe era, he didn't have to be a leader because they had a lot of vets there that were the veteran presence. They still have Phil Jackson, um, and they had other players that took up that leadership mantle. When Kobe, when when they started to lose those veteran pieces towards the end, right? Um, Kobe started to show signs of not necessarily being a bad leader because I don't think that was asked of him, but he was definitely being a bad teammate. Which again, being a bad teammate is kind of indicative of what you might be once you get that leadership mantle. So we start seeing the indicators. Then we move past the Shaq and Kobe era. And then we go into the Smush Parker, Kwame Brown era, where he just will not play with these dudes. They not on his level. Lamar, I want to throw hold a hold quick hold caveat. So, so he let does him, not. Hold, hold, let so, so during okay. the Kwame during the Kwame Brown years, this is what star players struggle with. They don't know how to connect with other players who just aren't good as them sometimes. And that was the biggest problem. He didn't know how to connect with Smush Parker, a guy that was a lesser talent. Like he called him a walk on a guy that was on the team on a non guaranteed deal that could literally get cut at any minute. Kwame Brown guy that came in high expectations, never lived up to it. He didn't know how to connect with these guys. He didn't know how to communicate and be a leader of those guys. So what did he do? He shut down on those guys. He, they need to be out of here. Trade him quick, fast, in a hurry. We just need talent here. Bump all that other. He did, he knew nothing about Paul Gasol. He didn't know nothing about Paul Gasol's work. That he was just happy they had higher quality players in town. And so when they level, when they level up, when they then they level up the players. They level up the coaching. They win championships, and all of a sudden, now that they're winning, he's back on top. Now y'all keep referring to these years when he's on top. Okay, they win again. Let's say he was somewhat of a decent leader during those years. Yeah. Like I said before, it's easy to front run as a leader when things are going good, but then things get bad again after Phil Jackson leaves. And then what do we see then? We see Kobe go back to the bad leadership indicators that he had during the Spush Parker years because the players aren't there. I, all I'm saying is if you're going to be labeled as a great leader, you can't turn it on and off when you want to. You have to always be a great leader, just like I said. Kobe was always a great scorer, no matter if he was on a trash team or a good team. He never turned his scoring on and off. He just was always a great scorer. If you're going to assign the label a great leader to him, it's not something he can just turn on and off from year to year based on the team that's out there. You just have to go out there and be a great leader and live with the results. And the I got a I, question. I got a question. So, 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 hold on. So, what, so what, what do you say to those that bring up Matt Bars in 2011, 2012, when once yeah. again Phil Jackson wasn't there, and Matt Bars on his own podcast gave multiple examples of Kobe Bryant going out his way, pulling to the side, helping go over defensive coverages and offensive schemes. That way he'd be more ready for the next game. We that can't mention that. Respected him, that, was, that, was oh, Kobe, no, right that was Kobe being a good leader. Okay. So, the, what I'm saying is, right, I, I will hunt for the last time. Prior to 2008, wasn't a good leader. But I can't say this man did not improve his leadership after 2008. That's just inaccurate. All right. And all there's right. multiple players from star players to role players to even new players come to the league who get vouched for that. Yeah, sturdy, right. sturdy, yeah. sturdy, sturdy. Real hey, quick, real no. quick. What's the, what's the common denominator when he's talking about who he talks to and who he doesn't? It's players that he respects. It's players that he knows have going to put in the work. work it's anything? players that he knows are going to – they don't have to be on his level – Talent wise, they have to have the same level of effort and work Drive, ethic for yeah. him to, to to give that that uh you know to give that extra push. You know what I'm saying? So that's the that's the thing. If he don't respect you and your work ethic, he's not gonna go out his way to give you shit you're not hey, gonna hey, learn hey, anyway. Tyson. And not gonna help you. That's why I said that earlier. That's why I said that earlier. We're being unrealistic and pretending like there's only one leader on a team. 
That's it's never been the case. Bomb, I don't care who it is. It's hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I don't care who it is. I don't care what era. There was never yep. one single leader on a organized team. That's a right. fact. Because, but at the end of the day, because I'm about to, I'm about to land at home with this. I'm about to land it with this. Because at the end of the day, you have a, a collection of 13 men. Everyone not gonna have the same personality. Everyone not gonna hear the same, receive the message the same type of way. That's why you need different. That's why you need different guys to communicate that message. All right. Hold on, Ghost Town. Let me go back to Ghost Town real quick. He was trying to say. Uh, I want to say yeah, but, every, right quick, but you guys saying that just because he don't respect him on the talent level is not the same. That does not absolve you. From I didn't say talent community. level. You you have to lead regardless of the talent. You have it to wasn't lead talent regardless. Level. Of where he was they talking are about work career. ethic and playing hard. When you when you sit there and just say, "I'm only going to lead the best of us. I'm only going to lead the guys that that can actually play." That's not that's not what I said. Right? This is what no, said. that's what he's alluding Matt to. Matt Barnes said, is not talented. You know, uh, 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 I'm sorry. Hold on. He's not talented. Hold on. I, I didn't I didn't mean it like that. I'm he saying he's not talented. Hard, but he's has really a lot of players talented. in the NBA. He's All right, go ahead. Finish. He's right. My bad. He's right. I mean, I I don't know how to tell y'all this, bro. It, that's not good leadership, bro. You can't sit there and pick and choose who you want to lead over. It's yeah. your hey, team. Go it's your group. I, got, I got a ball. That's your opinion. Ball, that's his way, though. Okay. Now, that's I, a got ball to go I got that's a ball. I got a ball. Oh my god. That's not, if you choose. If you choose to lead half of them, bro, that means you're not good as a leader. Now, but uh, you only on ones you, you want to lead uh, are the ones that can play. Or the ones you but think can the play. only ones I choose to lead is the ones that's going to help me win championships. Okay, but that's why I that's my goal, goal. Um, and that's I the team's goal. Get, I he get has on, to inspire um, confidence in the people that's not as good as him. He yeah. has to make them believe that they can. Matt get to Barnes that point. is not as good as him. Right, but he still respected him. Hey, oh, that's hey, the difference. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. He keeps saying talent. It's not a talent thing. No, but what he's saying. What he's saying. All he's saying is whether you like a player's work ethic or not. If they're on the team, it's your job. If if you're gonna say he's the leader, it's your job to go lead and, and get that player connected with the group. You can't just hey, Lamont, you can't just one, join oh, one guy. You can't you can't isolate another guy and say, I don't think he works out or lifts as many weights as you. I don't respect him, so I'm not out there for I'm not gonna communicate or lead him <laughs> the way I would lead you. When you start to handpick leadership, that's what creates toxicity in the locker room. When you especially like so. Uh, I can kind of tell, for example, I can kind of tell this Laker team is like that. I can kind of tell this Laker team is divided into sex. You can tell that D'Angelo Russell has been shunned. Him and and just the way they play, by the way they're not connected, you can tell that LeBron and his cast of guys are separate from these some other guys in that locker room because they're not connected on the court. And this is what happens when you get disconnected in the locker room, when your star players start to uh, exclude certain people because they don't feel like they live up to a certain level of expectation, then it looks broken on the court. Well, does that and mean it the starts to affect leader? the team? It starts to no. Well, what I've said is I've said I don't know why people aren't calling LeBron's leadership to task more because it should oh, be. And I say just like we criticizing Kobe's leadership. I've been one of the few people to directly call out Bron's leadership. I have nothing to say about LeBron putting the ball in the basket. That man's doing his thing statistically, getting the job done. But when it comes to leadership, LeBron's failing him. Just like I can say with regards to Kobe's leadership, that more times than not, I feel like his leadership failed the Lakers. And I feel like he gets he get the good leadership that you guys assigned to Kobe. It's it was more so Phil Jackson and others, but because Kobe was the best player, you're just giving all the credit to him for leadership. No, but 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 right, but hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick, hold on, real quick. I got Damn, a great question. Can we, can we can we question can we question Steph Curry's leadership then? Yes. Can we yes. stop that? Okay. Yep. The thing I is, know, is hold on, you can you can call me. all of these guys. You can call their leadership to question. Right now, we're talking about the consistency of leadership. And so the consistency yeah. of leadership for Kobe, the ups and downs when 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 what 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 it looks like with Kobe is that when the going gets rough, he turns leadership off. When he has feel and his and he has the he has the cavalry, leadership turns back on. Oh, Nick, I got another. But, but he, 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 that's not that's not, not the case. Please let her Hold on, go. Well, I've been I've been waiting to say something. Go on, go ahead, do your thing. But but Lamont, 
this this the thing I gotta challenge you on though. When you bring that up, the year you've been focusing primarily on the two years after when when Shaq left with Kobe Bryant when he had Smush Parker. Though you've been focusing on the two years. So here's my thing with that. Have you ever put Kobe Bryant's age? Yeah. Have you ever put? Have you, have you ever thought about Kobe Bryant's age? Don't you realize he still was young, very young at the time? Most cats that are 25 years old in the league are not great leaders. They still mm. are learning. They still, they, they still well, well, going Bryant, through their learning curve. Well, hold on. When I talked about, Despite when I talked about 2012, 2013, he still was at 25. 2012, years 2013, old. Kobe Bryant was 34 years old. What happened in 2013 that you can recall? Then? No, no, 2012, 2013. Other than, other than them forward, getting ass kicked, what he do? What he do? Bad? On, so going forward, I, what what did we talk about? We talked about all of the issues with some of the players that came in. When Jeremy Lin talked about how Kobe isolated himself once again, when Dwight, when we see how he publicly treated guys like Dwight Howard, right? Like no matter what you think of Dwight Howard, yeah. his public treatment of Dwight Howard, his leadership and handling of Dwight Howard situation was extremely poor. And because of that broken relationship, it never played out well on the court. And this is why there were people like I forgot who it was. It was a player talking about it. He says, I don't see how that team didn't win championships. You had a prime Dwight Howard. And because of that broken relationship, hurt, it, it never came to fruition. The nigga had so he was. Hey, he, had a back. he was not. Back. Back. Oh, he was. Let me, let me, hold on. Let me say something. He was. And, and look, even if he so was you hurt, can't miss the even if he was hurt, then and even if he was hurt, killing your teammates publicly, calling them out, doing all this stuff, that's still not acceptable from a league. But well, both things can be true, though, Lamont. Like look, Dwight both Howard things was can clearly be hurt. True. Yes, because Dwight Howard was clearly so, hurt. So even so, if, hold on, even if Kobe was good enough being to hurt, lead Dwight Howard, only affects that injury. Him being hurt. Uh -huh. Only affects winning and losing. It does not. It should not affect your leadership. Right, but you just never mind. Go ahead. Somebody else. This is yes. So this leadership. Is coach, when Kobe. Jeremy Lin. So when so when Jeremy Lin said Kobe was isolated from the team. When he said that after a tough loss to Cleveland, right? Um, when Kobe Bryant went into one of those modes where he just wouldn't shoot the ball. When they went to the locker room and had a team meeting, Kobe, what did Kobe Bryant do? He disconnected no, himself. We agree hold on, hold on. with you on that. So, no, I'm what I'm saying is, That's it. So what, what, hold on, I, I don't, but I don't care about that because that has nothing to do with leadership. When I'm, we're talking about the things that Kobe, because you guys said he got better with leadership after 08. That's what's thirty. I'm about to give you an example. How he did he regress? He was out the league. How did how did he regress back to that Smush Parker like style of leadership man. after the fact if he got so, better? So, so Lamont, this, so when he when D'Angelo Russell was a rookie. D'Angelo Russell called Kobe great lead because Kobe told D'Angelo Russell he looked ready for leadership role. And, and then they had a private session where they discussed certain things. And, and he was like, I, I learned so much from Kobe Bryant. But D'Angelo had talent, though. Kobe could respect his talent. No. Which is what we're rookie. saying. Nah. What you, you, about? Didn't the answer was still was a highly talented, talented rookie, there, though. Man. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Oh my God! D'Angelo Russell wasn't proven, so you can't say with how you gonna respect the nigga. He had potential. Proven. Kobe respected that. At least wanted to see what was with that. Like y'all not gonna act like D'Angelo Russell. How was you just know a he got potential until you play the game? How oh you know somebody God. got potential until you play the game? This is a thing. Kobe did not was not a good leader. Like, and we we can't argue that. Like, no, uh, most out. most niggas that we like are not great leaders. Then, if you want to go that route. Most of these niggas in NBA history are not good. Leaders. I think I think we 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 romanticize the great players being leaders, and and probably if we look at it, not many other great players that we know were great. And leaders. true, it's you probably the bum ass nigga. I don't, I don't never go against. I think I, I think Lamont is right, even about Lebron right now. Can I step right in and have something to say? Yes, yes hold, hold on, hold on. Okay, wait, wait your turn, man. Wait your oh, turn. You ain't gonna skip out a line. Damn. Wait your turn, dog. You ain't gonna just go and come in here and salute everybody, man. Salute everybody. Hey man. Hey, y'all, y'all doing a lot. Listen, man. Y'all doing a lot, Captain, bro. Like I'm hearing Kobe. I'm hearing I'm hearing Kobe Bryant, Bill Belichick comparisons. Y'all, this is nasty work, bro. <laughs> like we talking about leader. We talking about leadership. Listen, Kobe one of the coldest, one of the greatest players of all time. But if you really want to talk about the leadership, bro, he that was not him, bro. And we and then we making excuses on 
on. Oh, but you, you got to say that great leader, true. No, no, hold up. Nah, nah, hold up. Nah, since hold you're up. saying what you're saying, no, that's a great leader. Boy, you cut me off. That's a great leader. You cut me off. You deflected. You deflected. Shut your ass up. You deflected. First of all, great leader, because you got to get your ass cooked on all anyway. But what's the great leader? Now I'm about to turn up now, because you want to talk about it. Turn up, man. 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 Turn let me talk to you. Y'all cut me off so you know the then. fact. First of all, respecting your teammates. You don't got to be friends. You don't got to be cool to be a great leader, for one. So all this excuses about, well, Kobe had to respect you and all this case may be, that's BS, bro. That's BS. If you on a team, you respect people. You don't care if it's your job or whatever you at, whatever the case may be. You respect people and give them that respect. Like, what, the, what the hell are you talking about? A team is a team. It don't matter. It don't. I don't got. I don't care if you if you are a total stranger. I'm a, if you if if you if you report the same team, whatever case may be, I'm gonna give you that respect. It don't matter what you talking about. See, this is why this is why, this is why I know some of y'all was, was probably was one of the people. Back in the day, and kid, as a kid, whatever, pouting on the bench because he ain't getting bad playing time, whatever case may be. Y'all sound like one of them people, bro. Because at the end of the day, all this excuse of Kobe's leadership talking about, well, when 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 then y'all bring up the fact when he won, his leadership was shown. No, man, listen, get out of here, bro. It was other veterans on that team that when Kobe won them championships. Phil Jackson was on them teams that won them championships. So let's not, because like I said, Lamont's point, and which y'all don't want to really want to talk about when, when the tough gets tough, when tough gets going, with, I forget, I forget the saying, top of my head, but when it when it was all it was all bad, Kobe don't want to leave. When it's all good, yeah, all the smoke. Yeah, it's easy to be a fucking, it's easy to be a leader in the Olympics. We play with LeBron James, D-Wade, and all them dudes. It's easy to be a tough oh, It's easy to be a leader. Lead. It needs to be a leader. It needs to be a leadership. It needs to be a leadership. We got one of the greatest uh, teams ever, except with basketball history. What are we talking about? What the hell are you talking? Oh, we gonna give. We gonna give him. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, man. Get out of my face, man. And I'm gonna go now. Get out of my face, man. Can I go? True, you gonna get your ass cooked, sir. Come on, come on. Come on, George. Go ahead, George. Okay. Anybody who watched the interview. You always seen Smush Parker smiling while he was talking. So let's go from day one. He gave his true statements on how he felt about Kobe and why them two didn't, them two buddy hairs against one another. But let's pay attention to what he said. All what he said was his facts, his life, of what he, of what him and Kobe did on the court and off the court. But on the court, what did you witness? Them two embraced each other in games, on plays, so they had to talk to one another. So I'm trying to figure this out. He said they didn't talk off the court, but I believe on the court, they did talk to one another. Because I've seen them embrace on plays, talk up and down up, up and down the court. So I'm trying to figure this out. So it was just two guys who didn't like each other off the court, but did on the court. So it was something like two egos going against one another who said things off the court on interviews against one another. Am I, and why did the why somebody did, okay, uh, George? Uh, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. So now all of a sudden you had all these other guys who told you what Kobe did off the court in practice and how he was in practice as far as his swaggy P. J.R. Ryder, uh, Dwight Howard, nobody blew it out of proportion until Smart Smart. You uh, have Parker 60 did. seconds left on this call. All I'm saying, bro, but why is all of a sudden people blowing this out of proportion? What, what, what Smush said, but did nobody say nothing when Kobe took the shoes, when Kobe did all this other stuff to his teammates? But now you, Lamont, come on here and blow this up. And you guys are having a hell of a fit over Smush Parker and what Smush Parker said. Because here's the reality of the situation, though. 
It no, is reality. Because, no, it, no, hold on. This is reality situation because you don't say players. Fan, you, you know you know some things. You know I'm saying that's why you know you get cooked with the flag and stay on topic. You know you get cooked with the flag. I am. Hold up, hold up, George. Hold up. That's cute. But here's the kicker, though. Never them players kid, that nigga. here, hold on, here, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker, though. All them players that no praise kicker, Kobe. Nigga. Hold on. Here, here's the kicker, though. All them players that praise Kobe, that say he's a leader. Why no, did he call? You wrong. No, told, let me fit. Let me play my plane. You did All those you guys that said that Kobe, Hold up. Hold up. Fuck that two inches. You, 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 hold up. You, hold up. You keep saying that Smush is not credible, but them same I didn't players say that weren't credible. Let me fit. That's what hold I'm saying. You not listening. Hold I said, you said they talked about Kobe. Oh, well. Waggy T talked about Kobe. Kawhi, I mean, Kwame talked about Kobe. But now all of a sudden, when this guy talked about Kobe, you guys acting like you ain't heard it before. But hold up, though. This is what I'm trying to say, though. But this is what I'm trying to say, though. If it's not blown up for proportion, it's just at the end of the day, Y'all talk about other people, narratives. I ain't gonna say names, but y'all talk about other names. But when it comes to Kobe, everybody won't get butt hurt. Like y'all talking, like like I said, I, I listened to the stream earlier. Yeah, some of y'all listen. I'm calling people on the chat, and I don't care how people feel. Y'all acting like y'all was Kobe's cousin or something. Get the fuck out. Kobe don't even know y'all. Y'all didn't even Dude, know Kobe. Y'all never. Y'all didn't even know. Y'all didn't interact. Y'all didn't even. So all this, all this sensitive ass ish. All this because listen. RP to the fallen. All I peed to Kobe Bryant, but at the end of the day, man, y'all didn't know him like that. Y'all wasn't. So let's, let's not play. Hold on. Hold on, Joe. Nah, nah. 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 Let me cook this shit. Because you ain't talking about the people that played with him. You know him. I'm not done. I'm not done. You ain't talking about shit. You need to be done. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because at the end of the day, though, y'all pick and choose. When when we talk about when we certain individuals, oh, we can't talk about Kobe because he passed away. When y'all had no problem doing that with other all NBA greats. But when it's Kobe, it's a problem. Bro, you not even listening to what I Hold said. On, draw. Hold on, draw. Hold on, draw. Let me fuck with you. Hey, draw. Who's a great leader then? Who's been a great leader within the last, like, 10 to 15 years? Is that a question I can answer? Is that a question I can answer? Bro. Yeah. Yeah. You said 20. You, you said what you said what year? The last 10 to 15 years, who's been a great leader in the NBA? What what player you think been a good leader? Giannis Haslam? Giannis Haslam, exactly. Giannis Haslam. He's not a star player. Right, you don't have to be a star player. I know, he's a leader, but this is what Lamont does. This is what Lamont does. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on So you mean to say this? True. In the no. last 15 years, the only nigga you Drag can come Kobe up through with. Drag Kobe through the mud. No, nah, no, nah, the only nigga you could come come up with is you done his ass. Draymond Green. In the last 15 years. That's all you can come up with. You can't come up with nobody. What else. was uh Damon Jones David and Robinson? Hold on, but Herm, oh, Herm, like I said David before, Herm and me and you I both agree. I can name, I can name you. Both agree, want, Herm. It's not a lot of names. Notable. Herm, me and you both players. agree. It's not a lot of them. Jared that Dudley. You consider a leader. I, I just told you. He said Jared David Dudley. Dudley. <laughs> Nigga, Jared Dudley is about to be our fucking Jared coach. Dush. He's the best coach. Yeah, exactly. 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 You got. You got. I'm gonna name some guy. Al Horford. Got Russ Brook. You got different types and of guys. And they're typically not the best player. So what are you talking about? Horford is a really good guy. Talk- when y'all been calling him Westbrook? Dress bro, you're not. You don't hey, call hey, him they're attacking his talent, not his leadership. Y'all niggas is cat. That's the no, he he literally just gave him for being the leader. <laughs> He's the leader in L.A. right okay, now. Here's He's my point, True. And I'm going to ask you I'm gonna ask you a question, True. So you mean to tell me that everybody, all the all-time greats, didn't have moments that they show display bad leadership. No, moments don't. Not like Kobe. Right. Not like Kobe. Career Kobe. of it. I didn't sure about it. Kobe has career. Kobe has years of this. So Kobe has more than moments. You can say moments. how you treat Kobe has years of this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. So true. So when you quit on your team, is that just as bad as um? Ridiculing you your teammates or, or saying or saying bad things to your teammates is that just what is, bad? What is Kobe quit, what quit is quit, too? Time, time out. What is quit on your team? To hold up, put what is quit on your team? We talking about well, what is quit you when you don't shoot, coming out when of you don't shoot the ball like an like a eighty house or twenty eleven publicly came out. 
He was on the damn one of them shows on Fox or on ESPN. It said that Burn. LeBron what James about 06 when Kobe down. stopped shooting Me the ball in game seven? I think LeBron James is a good Bro. leader. He did if I go off, if I go off with Eddie House, but, but 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 if I go off, if I go off what Eddie House said, that LeBron James quit on his team with 2011. No, no, no. That, LeBron got shut down defensively. Kobe stopped but shooting that, the ball, nigga. That's a difference in trying to that mission. But not shooting the ball. I'm just asking the question. One mic, one mic. Wait, wait, wait. With that being said, though, you heard what Lamont said earlier. He has listen. He has questioned LeBron James, so everybody can get it. I'm, as, I'm talking to you, though. So, true. I'm talking to you. Okay. Uh, no, and, and LeBron, hold on. James LeBron Smith. James, hold on. LeBron James leadership has been in question before. I'm not going to deny that, though. But we're we're talking, but we're specifically talking about Kobe Bryant because y'all deflecting. We ain't talking about nobody else. Cause y'all, why are y'all talking about Kobe Bryant on the LeBron James channel? Because, that because is it ain't crazy. A James why do y'all keep calling it the LeBron James channel though? Because we y'all. Hey, I think you ran around the question though. It's full of niggas. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Lamont literally just said he feels that people should be calling out LeBron James leadership. And nobody wants to say that. Lamont literally just said he feels that people should be calling out LeBron's leadership. And nobody's saying that. What was the question? He literally just said. At the end of the day, I. I asked you, in the day when it comes to the all-time great players that we love in this game, you telling me that you telling me that none of these niggas had show display bad moments of leadership. So since I said LeBron niggas, James has. I said nah, LeBron I, I, James I, I, has. You just talk, so what are you saying? So, so with, with that being said, with most of these players in NBA history displaying moments of bad leadership. Can you consider? Can you consider them being no. bad leaders as well? If you no. but here's a problem. But here's, hold on, Herm. Hold on, hold on. I heard. What, I where's the problem you, at? Hold on, Herm. I already man. told you why that doesn't make sense. Magic Johnson display poorly. Herm, Herm, Herm. Let's just kill it. Hold on, sir. Herm, so you don't have to keep repeating. Uh, so you want to mute me, nigga? No, hold on, Herm, because you Lamar, you repeated this. I won't this. smoke with you if I'm gonna do a debate. All right, hold on. You repeated this like ten times. Hold on, hold on. You gotta stop repeating. Can I debate? The, Hold on, y'all. Just so, so Herm, the the show. Just, just so Herm doesn't repeat it mo a thousand times, just so we can be <laughs> clear, moments don't define the player. A player can have a bad scoring game, doesn't mean he's a bad scorer. A player can have a bad leadership game, doesn't mean he's a bad player. It's what you do consistently is what you defines you. And what we're talking about is Kobe's track record, not a moment here or there. We're talking about years of consistency with regards to his leadership. And when we talk about Smush Parker, we weren't talking about a moment. We were talking about two years. When we were talking about uh, post-championship uh, uh, with post-Paul Gasol years, we're talking about multiple years. So if we're talking about the Shaq and Kobe era, that's multiple years. We're not talking about moments. But These, that post it's, it's, oh, it's, track, it's, it's, it's a combination of his entire track record, and we have to look at that, and we have to make our decision. Who is this guy as a leader when we look at his entire body of work as a leader? But Lamont, but you been but, basically on, focusing on two, Let me get this two up, seasons bro. with Smush Parker. Those are the seasons you were focusing on at first. What about so the now you pivoted? What about so the season? Pivoted, what about the season? Jeremy Lynn. What are yeah? What about the what about the but Dwight but Howard? And but Jeremy I'm Lynn. I'm gonna let Rob respond to because he told me to hold on. What about the Shaq but, shit, bro? But hold on, brother. Damn. Salute to you, huh? Doing that, bro. But but when we talk about them post years, we me sturdy and Tyson also gave you them same years of players on that same team saying otherwise, sir. Who? So, Who? so uh he gave you Steve Blake. No, it was playing with uh the white too. We gave you uh DeAndre what is, Russell. What, is, what did Steve Blake say? Sturdy had that cool. Okay. What are you? Are you want to use somebody else's information? Hold Never on, so. Steve, Steve, Steve Blake. We're going to Google it. Steve Blake on Kobe Bryant. Let's see if this even exists. That's funny. Y'all yeah, be saying names of people. Like, I mean, I Steve Blake was, I mean, he was out here in Phoenix for a while. He never told me a Kobe he, he, story. He, he gave you Matt Barnes. No, he just said names. He never gave me any real tangible examples that can be connected back to oh. real legitimate proof. Okay, well, I did. I told you with DeAndre Russell. Was. Yeah, yeah but unfortunately, Ralph, you are not a, the greatest at citing sources and, and, and backing up <laughs> your facts. Damn. DeAndre Russell, what's the hell? Hey, 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 Google hey, Lamar. Hey, hold on, 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 hold
So what type of what type of leadership man or what let me let me, let me stop, man. He was out of the He had leadership. His leadership. You talking about he's what he come on, Deion Russell. He, look, what my point is what Kobe leadership Kobe was not a leader, bro. In the NBA by come the way, bro. You, you talking about that nigga that was in his like was like 19 when this shit happened? So what's we talking about recording somebody, somebody recording somebody in the in the hotel room is crazy, bro. Man, this I'm I'm saying, saying, like, this is not about is him. this is not about D'Angelo Russell. This is about Kobe Bean Bryant. No, the point I'm is the point is though the, the, the point is though it's still derived from Kobe. Kobe he played listen, if Kobe is so much of a leader, like I said, it was a circus. let's keep it real. His last year's on on the Lakers was a circus, bro. I mean the man like it, it like it is what it is. Like Yeah, but you can't put that nigga being immature and recording somebody on Kobe, like, come on, man, now you niggas reaching. Like, that ain't, that ain't nothing reaching. to do with him. That's a reach, bro. Right, right. Hey, that's hey, like hey, saying, that, that's, you remember no, when Kobe went to Jimmy Kimmel? That's like saying, that's like saying right now, hey. because uh, Ja Morant went out and did some stupid shit that I guess one of the leaders on that team is a bad leader. No, that nigga did some, some that's shit. That's a bad example. Time. That's a bad example because that's no, because dumb. you're talking, we're both talking about shit that was done in their own time off the court, man. Listen. That's still I mean, off, you're off the court. court right. You're off the court is part of the court. Off the court is part of the leadership. Her gave you Lamar. Off the court is part of the leadership. Remember her? Yeah, you know what? You need that. Lamar Orton is not. Yeah, you talk. You know why? Nah, he's Lamar credible. Right? Though. He's, he's credible. He's credible. He's yeah, yeah. You know, we are, you know what? I wouldn't say nothing bad. I wouldn't say nothing bad about a man that gave me. Over a hundred thousand dollars to pay my gambling debt off. Either. Exactly, exactly. Oh, yeah, Lamont, hey, Lamont, oh, I was going to say Lamont, Lamont. I didn't want to say Lamont. I was an alley oop. That was a three sixty off the backboard. On the backboard. Now you want to use that? Bro. But you want to use the nigga that only played three years in the NBA as an example. Now you want to use that? But you want to use the nigga that only played three years in the NBA as an example, though. So I mean, hold up. Here's a. But here's a. But here's a. But here's a. Why you keep saying Smush only played three years? That's not true. And here's the thing, though. Like the fact of the matter is this: five or six, one of them. We really defending the dude. We really defend the dude that disrespected him, a dude that that scratched and crawled to be a in the NBA, an undrafted player in Smush Parker, and he he did that on. That's that's like, come on, bro. That's foul as that's foul as hell, bro. And people that defend that shit. He's, he's playing in China right now. Like, oh, no, no. this all started because he didn't talk to him about a fucking football game. Let's be clear. Like, stop. No, that's bull. That's BS. That is right, right. not true, bro. Bro, that's BS. That, that's that's true. Is not, that is not true, bro. You just he, made that up. He tried. He hey, tried. Well, well true. Well, true. Since you want to bring up, since you want to bring up, scratch and crawl and all that shit. You didn't watch the interview, Lamont. Hey, true. Hey, true. Hey, true. Since you want to bring that up, it started from because you didn't say about the football. What's the worst thing? What's the worst thing? Was the LeBron Tay West? I don't know I what you're talking about. What? That's all. That's all. What's the leadership? What's the leadership with Kobe Bryant? What's the leadership with Kobe and Smush Parker between them two? What's the worst thing with LeBron had it with Delonte West? But if you sleep with a mama, what? like what? Like what are you talking about, bro? That's a lot. That's all. Like, hey, Delonte West was out the lead. You been out the lead ever since. What is the other with LeBron out the lead? Uh, hold on, Herm. I know you're not trying. The nigga's struggling with drugs, and you talking about LeBron. Right? Hey, exactly. I had, I had, two, I had two, two up. Yeah, because Deontay West was in the put, league. So exactly. now you, LeBron got to heal the man. He got a current. Hey, Cody exactly. got. He got. He got. He got. Hey, bro. He got the man that allegedly slept with his mom. He got sick because of what LeBron did to him. We throwing hypotheticals about what Kobe. If we throw, hold on. If we throw hypotheticals, hypotheticals. So we throw drug habits on people then. Lamar Odom is Kobe's the blame for Lamar Odom. Then fuck. What do you mean? Kobe got him help. Kobe's the blame for Lamar Odom, and, and, and LeBron is the blame for Delonte. Come on, I gotta ask a question on you because you did say that LeBron has not shown uh, leadership this year. No, and no. What I, I said know, was, what do you I said it's him to do. What? You, what? No, what, what I, could he do differently? <laughs> no, what I said was this. I said, I said, if there was anything to criticize about LeBron. Out of all the thing, all, out of all the ridiculous things that we hear people criticize LeBron for, I said if there's anything you had to be petty about would be his leadership, because that's the only time. Like I understand his frustration, I definitely do. I, I promise you, I understand it. But at the end of the day, it doesn't excuse you from being a good leader. I feel like as a leader, you have to put on a good face during the tough times when when plays don't go your way. You have to find a way to push through it and keep. Because because in basketball, 
energy travels. And when players start to see that LeBron hanging his head or he's at the end of the bench and he's moping, it trickles down to the other guys and it has a crazy effect in the game of basketball. So it's important. Again, I'm not going to nitpick it, but if you had to be petty with him this year, that's one of the few things you could be petty is this with him LeBron about. Channel saying okay, this? Understand, understand, I get your point. The problem is that I have with the whole what him leading this group even better than what he's done, he's done everything that was asked of him. They want they need him to play off the ball so the other guys can show what they can do or play their best game. Mm-hmm. He's done that. He, anything they've asked LeBron to do, he's done that. Um, uh, I don't know what more he could do. No, I, 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 what I'm saying is on, all I'm saying on, is I'm saying from the haters, I'm saying from the haters' perspective, when we talk about all the pettiness, <laughs> when you hear all these people who go at LeBron, they talk about stat padding and all the dumb stuff, and I know you hear it all the time. I'm saying if they wanted to sound like they knew the game at all, if they wanted to criticize him, they would challenge the leadership aspect because all the other stuff sounds stupid. They would they would at least have a few things to fight with if they challenge his leadership. All the silly stuff that they go with don't really hold weight, and that's why you kill them in so many debates because they start challenging. Hey, yeah. They start saying he's stat padded tonight, and you would just you would just you you know you would run through hey, it. Let me, let, me say, let me add this too because. I think that with the scrutiny that this team, this squad, this particular squad is under, and that they ain't fell apart yet, because to me they should have been fell apart the way they won an in-season tournament, and then they went on this losing streak here. LeBron James has his attitude obviously has galvanized them because we've been on AD's head for a long time. He got his confidence still up there some kind of way. I don't know how because don't nobody else got no confidence in him. He still got uh what's that little boy that Cam Reddish? His confidence is still there. Which is true because he can't hit the side of the backboard. Yeah, but, I mean, to me, he's my, doing an exemplary job of showing no, leadership to keep this group of people together. No, nah, but go stand, still, but, you know, look at Jackson Hayes, bro. Jackson Hayes is a walking <laughs> foul. He come out there, he still he, he the boy looked like he's still happy to play. Uh, I don't know why because I never play his ass the way he go. I go, I got a question. But the point then. is, I'm saying I don't think we can criticize his leadership with this group. It no, but goes, I, I got a question though. Well, I got why well, you can't I press him. You can say he can improve. I got a no, question I'm, to go. I'm saying I think he's doing the right things for this group, and it ain't helping much, but he's still doing no, the right you know, thing. you know, when you tell you, you know, we tell the player that I think he's making a mistake with, and, we, and, and it could be more so on, on this player himself. And I and I'm a tend to believe it's the player, but I feel like um I think they could do a better job with D Lo. I think they're starting to lose him. And it could be D'Lo just checking out because he's he's not handling the trade talks very well. Yeah, um, I think that's it too. Yeah, but I, I but think, well, it's I, a think kind of, I just think the LeBron, the if he ever pulled anything out of his trick bag, it would be that even if you got to lie to the man, do something. Shit, you ain't getting traded. Lie to him or something. Hey, but you got to get this man Harbor back playing in basketball. Chicago on purpose. I'm hey, telling hey, you right but, now. I think hey, he played go. hardly in Chicago on purpose because he don't want bro, to be there. Bro, two points. And you know what? You know the you know Ghost Town. The game that the game that told me he was officially checked out was the Minnesota game because yeah. normally NBA players when they play their yeah. old team they come out, they show out. trying to mm-hmm. kill. And he and when I saw him throw that fireball pass to Jackson Hayes on the three point line and it turned over and went out of bounds, I said, "What the hell is you doing? Who in their right mind sees Jackson Hayes standing at the three point line and wants to pass it to him?" Exactly. Yeah, you, and it's just like, bro. Play. But it's plays like that to me. It's just like, bro, what is you doing? You supposed to be nah, but, if any if you go for any night to go for thirty, whether you miss all the shots or not, that was the night. And nah, but, and but, nobody would have been mad at him because we know you were trying to get your old team back. And but he but just but I gotta ask Ghost Pound this though. But I gotta, but that's, I gotta that's, ask Ghost Pound this. That's a, but that's that's a catch twenty two with him. It's like on one hand he shows. Naive confidence in a guy like that, but also he shows naive confidence in a guy like Cam Reddish, and it pays off. So it's like you got to take it with the good or the bad. Yeah, and, and Ghost, I got a question then, since we want to talk about leadership and and all this stuff with Kobe Bryant. So you think it was great leadership last year when LeBron had that interview and were basically begging for Kyrie Irving and, and begging for the front office to make a trade, basically in the interview, saying that changes need to be be made. Was that a display nah, of good leadership? Really, it, it, I'm gonna be honest, with you, he did do uh, Russ dirty on that, but I'm glad because I wanted Russ gone. 
And but uh yeah, that that wasn't cool as a teammate, as a team, as a leader and a teammate. You you gotta you can't throw him under the bus like that. You can't. But uh no, nah, that wasn't good. But obviously he already saw the writing on the wall that Russ was gone. So if he made that but, call to do that in that interview, it must because he has twofold because I think Russ, similar to D'Lo, I think Russ checked out. I think Russ checked out on the Lakers. And he so it's kind of twofold. It's, a leader can only do so much if a, if you, if a player is checked out on the team. He did they had to do their I, interview like he did. Yo, okay, no, I, I, I know what you're saying, though, Herm. It's not cool to sit there and, and advocate for somebody else when you got a player on your team already. But – we like Lamar said, bro, it was over. That 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 Russ experiment was done. Hey, now, nah, but but did Lamar, Lamar, but Lamar is Lamar the like, same me, guy that that, that me, being Lamar. hard on Kobe Brown mm -hmm. about the hard times? That's no, not true. No, 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 because you got to build this. this. You got to build these guys' confidence up. They're there to be. They're your teammates. As but I want to hear what they're going nowhere. Play, though, because I know he, man, for this. No, but, man, Kobe, Kobe, you can't be a good leader saying stuff like "ain't no I and team," but it's an me. That right there lets me know you ain't got the mindset to be a good leader, bro. You don't. No, but he like said that, bro. He said that prior to 2006. Well, listen, um, but Ghost and Herm and, and Lamont, the opposite is to me. This whole conversation, the entire today's stream today, explains the importance of having a vet. I noticed all these guys we talk about, they had a vet on their bench for a reason, bro. And like at the end of the day, like no matter what type of leadership style you have, you need that guy to help buffer. Your message out to the other guys because sometimes you wrong as a leader. How many times we hear stories of UD talking to Tyler Hero, like Jimmy really meant this, so don't take it this way? Or same thing like what Jerry Gully was talking about on the JJ Ray podcast, or what he was explaining to certain guys, or what Rondo was doing when he was going on his Lakers too. Like it just you need you need that better presence for the bitch to to help those guys understand what we're trying to do. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah Kobe yeah, ain't yeah. doing nothing. Kobe ain't that's, doing nothing. That's the fact what you're saying. I, I, Stern, I actually understand your whole premise of, of like, it's always more than one leader of the team. It's always. Always, her. her. It's like, always I don't understand that. Bro, I know every person, on this, every person on this panel plays some type of organized sport. Y'all know this, bro. At any level, there's never a one guy that speaks for everybody. There's never that one person that I can see with. I understand and I follow him no matter what. Nah, bro, you always had multiple dudes, but the what made the team great is like they all the same picture though. Her well, as a most like how many times like on, like on the Rick Fox was her, her, with her, 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 the great leader for that team. Fact, like her as a Bulls fan, how many times you heard those stories of Scottie Pippen talking to those guys like yo, MJ wasn't you, we know how MJ is, bro. Da 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 da, da but yeah. you know, we still need you. How many times how many stories you heard of of, of Scottie Pippen trying to calm down Horace Grant? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that, you need those type of dudes. That's a fact. That's a fact, man. You got that on every team. You got your main leader, but you got your other guys that connect with the team a little bit better than what the star player does. So they'll be the voice of the star. They 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 had the balance of understanding what the star demanded. And they could pass that message on to the other guys. And that's what Scotty was for Mike. It, no, Herb, I just realized I realized that's the reason why some of the best coaches were the star players. Because that, that veteran person who wasn't as talented, who didn't get with minutes, they understand different perspectives. Yep, that's why you see Steve Kerr had the success he done had in his coaching career. You know what I'm saying? Especially Steve, one. like Steve Kerr understand as a role player as a great player. Like he experienced playing with great players while being a role player. So he understands like you're not as talented, so you need this level of patience. Even though you're not getting this minutes, you need to be ready. You still need to be a professional. Isaiah Thomas, most underrated coach he ever said, the reason why great players don't become great coaches, they don't have the same level of patience, bro. That's for every great player. At the end of the day, like, damn, nigga, you can't do that still? I'm ready in my sleep. Nigga, I ain't you. <laughs> that's why That's why Jordan felt as an owner as well. I mean, he was doing that dumb shit. No, Jordan, Jordan felt as an owner because he kept hiring niggas that he was friends of. That's his problem. That too, that but plus, but plus he'll come down and play against the guys that's on the team, and when he embarrasses them guys on the team, you take it away from your your players. Nah, no, we're not, we're not. Bro, they, them them niggas never hurt. Real talk, you, you had a sixty-year-old Michael Jordan bust your ass. You was just never that good anyway. 
I'm just never there. I'm dumb ass shit as an owner, though. I never. No, it's not. What's wrong with what's wrong with getting some work? Get a workout in. Ain't my fault. That's dumb. Players garbage. That's dumb. Players garbage. Players garbage. Players like that, man. Bro, you can't cook by you. Come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. That's, come on, bro. No, no, he was no, he was fifty. No, he was fifty. He was fifty. He like six or something. He was fifty. He was fifty. But still, though, he so he was so removed. He was so removed from the game. Like it's that's still embarrassing, though, right? It's still that's still embarrassing. Like man, you know what I'm saying? that's why you don't do it. That's why no, you but why? No, nah, nah, but it's short. No, nah, but that's just. Nah, nah, come on. Think, think nah. about this, her. You fifty years old. You fifty years old. You a great player. You coming down? You don't expect. You don't really expect to have. Nigga, they in their twenties, bro. Like you don't expect to bust their ass. You fit. Stephen Jackson. Stephen Jackson was in his prime. That was prime. That's Stephen Jackson. So like you go, her. You go down there. You probably going out for false confidence. Okay, cool. I'm gonna let these guys bust my ass and say, oh, they bust my jaw. That's a, some some form of confidence to build off something. Though. You ain't going out expecting bust their ass. That's true. That's true. But did you know that I had a story when I said Thomas coached the Knicks and he bust Marbury ass the same way they talk about how Jordan did. That took away shit. That took away confidence. You, I'm not gonna lie, bro. You, your defense is trash. You let, you let 50 year olds bust your ass, bro. That's, that's crazy. That's, that's disgusting, crazy, bro. You disgusting. That's bro. crazy. That's crazy. Bro. But, but, but I, I also think too. some of them stories is over sensationalized, too. But, but, end of the day, Sturdy. I, mean, I believe that. Know, I, I believe I that Bobcat I, won the Lamont, though. <laughs> I believe that, I, that, that Bobcat. I, I, think, I believe, though. I'm not a I, I think. I think you on point with what you're saying, and I feel like I'm on point. I think we on the same premise as well. Like all these all time great players, man, show that show some show some display of poor leadership. But they had their moments that they worked on those things. They got better at those things, and. Ultimately, it benefited the team because they learned from those mistakes that they made. Herb, so I don't think David Robinson showed no poor leadership or leadership skills. Who? David Robinson. David Robinson. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Tim Duncan didn't. Yeah, I mean, that, that, I mean, I did. I did preface that ghost town. Yeah, Tim Duncan. Yeah. Tim, Duncan guys, like, Tim Duncan. That's why you top five, Lamar. You know, I mean, the, you could damn near. You could damn near, you could damn near say Kevin Garnett didn't. Kevin Garnett was the leader. Nope. I don't know about niggas, him. Niggas, niggas, nah, no, her niggas. Every, real talk, I can't find a teammate who hated Kevin Garnett. I can't That's find true. one. That's true. The only nigga he didn't connect with was then them Marbury because the ego. No, but he but tried to make it work. It was Marbury. Like he, tried, he, he, tried, he, he reached out. Like he was like, yeah, he he, he reached out. Yeah, KG, right. KG, I think KG probably is the best leader of all time. The, the closest thing her, the closest thing her I heard was um, I forgot this foreign dude's name, but he was a rookie. You know, KG. You know, sometimes practice get a little too intense, and so the rookie kind of got his feelings hurt. But even then, KG recognized that and apologized, and he adjusted. Yeah, K. I mean, hey, Chris Lamont, do you think LeBron an overall better leader than Kobe? Yes, he's an over. To me, he's an overall better leader. But he's still, but, they both, he has his flaws. He's not perfect himself. But it, leadership, LeBron, LeBron usurps him there. Well, well, Lamont, what's worse from hearing from a teammate? Them talking bad, them saying that you talk bad to them or calling them names or talking shit to them, or when a teammate saying that you quit? How you distinguish? Don't, don't do that. Worse. I like how you try to switch. Hold on. I like how you try to well, switch that. Hold on. Say, huh? say the exact quote. I'm just asking you the question. Herm, 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 Herm. All you pushing is, you pushing his narratives that he quit. And I don't think Kobe. So, so I mean, you pushing the narrative that where was Chris Parker said. So, right? the, there's, it's so a narrative that I don't believe it. And I said what he said. So, I mean, that got to be taken serious, too. If we go go out there and allow it with Smith No, but. And okay, but hold on. But if we, if we talking about if we talking about giving it your all on the court, when I do a live stream about that, leaving it all on the court, we'll we'll talk about Eddie House. Right now, we're talking about leadership. And nah, but you talk about Parker. Wait, about Lamont, you don't think you don't think Kobe ever quit on the scene? I That's know what I'm saying. No, I'm I'm just I'm just, I'm just asking. What? Him, no, Lamont, no, 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 no. He ain't no, he no, quit. He did. No, we talking about leadership. We talking about leadership. But no, then the, I, I, I think sometimes, look, man, these games, man, get so stressful, man. Did, did he mentally checking out, doing stupid stuff? I mean, but it's, I mean, 
the putting that label of a quitter on a player, man. I'm I'm just gonna refrain from doing that. I don't care if I like the guy or not. He that's did just a quit tough, to me. He quit. A, to me. I, know, but I don't think on, y'all. Man. I don't think y'all understand. Like in the terms in in the basketball world, that's a tough allegation to put on a player, and I'm just not willing to put it on a guy like Kobe. What you, Mama, what you mean? Hold on. We got some of these dudes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let's tell how it is. Lamont, they, some of these dudes go Michael Jordan quit twice. What you talking about? Quit not negative connotations. Just means you took a break. You tapped hey, out. We're reti- retiring. Hey, no, Jordan bro. quit twice. We ain't doing that. Quit he quit second. twice. We're, we're, come on, y'all got to stop. Y'all got to stop now. No, y'all talking about mid game. Kobe quit and LeBron quit. I don't believe that. No, I'm talking about Jordan quitting. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Jordan, what do you mean? Tired? He played a whole. He played a whole season, and okay, he. I'm not playing. What do you? How does quit? Yes, man? nigga. <laughs> we talking about that? Jordan, how Jordan did quit? How quit? All right, Jordan, yeah. so true, retire, true, retire, true. Retire, true. Two bro, days, that's just, bro. Y'all just. That's I think we throw that term around. Come on, bro. That's that's. Jordan literally said, "I'm not playing Chicago Bulls." If y'all don't fire a coach, what? Exactly. That's quitting. Not because I'm hurt. Not because none of that. Not because of contracts. If y'all fire my my coach, I'm not playing no more. What are you talking what, about? What, what coach you talking about? What coach you talking about? 1998, Phil Jackson. Jordan literally said, if, "If Phil Jackson's not here, I'm not playing here." That's ret- retired. He didn't want to he play without quit. his leader. Oh, qu- oh, hold on, hold on. Nigga, that's, he could have another time. You quitting? You quitting? Oh, that, what are you talking not, about? That, how are you quitting? You not under and you not under contract. He was under contract in '98. That's why he retired. Hold on, he hold on. First, not, first of all, he was not on contract in '99. He was not under contract in '99. He I say '99. I said '98. Okay, that's the next. That's the next season. That's the next season. He didn't play. He had a one year deal. You doing you doing it that way? You doing it that? He was signing one year deals. I mean, what you want to sign one year deal? Like, come on. His contract was over. He got hold on, Lamont. Throughout NBA history, coaches change all the time. But you, but Jordan get a pass. He don't get a term labeled. So that means that's not cool. basically that, cool. that means Magic Johnson quit. <laughs> oh, for the HIV really thing or for, or for this coach thing? Which one? Yeah, he, don't do don't you know, do that. Might, might, that I mean, stop. So you saying HIV? That's you say you saying so so you saying he did he quit or did he retire because of HIV? No, I think no. The game pushed this nigga away because they know what the fuck well, HIV was. Out, they, when they, had, when they, they, when they, when they, when they, uh, when they figured, hold on, no, no, no. Like when they figured out it wasn't that serious, they let him play. No, he quit. That's not the same with Jordan. No, no, no. That's not the same with Jordan, nigga. Don't do that. No, don't do that, bro. They contained this nigga. Don't do that, bro. So you, so are you, are you, are you trying to tell? So you, are you saying? According to age thirty, Magic Johnson quit. Are you okay? I know. According to age thirty, Jordan quit. That's what I'm sturdy. So you trying to tell me you for you you fulfilled your contract? When you fulfill your contract, you you quit. That's basically what you're saying. No, I'm saying when you say that's the what he, that's only what he reason I'm not playing. No, no, he didn't. True, true, true. Find a quote said when he he not playing because his contract is up. Find that. I can find you multiple articles stating I'm not, not playing true, for the Bulls unless Phil Jackson is here. How you quit? Hold on. First of all, he he played. A, Listen, he has you have to commit to playing another season. To qu- you have to at least commit to playing another season to quit for one. He what? didn't do that. He didn't. Bro, you, you he didn't retire at point, too. There's no, there's no, there's nothing in contract that you can't retire right, at this time. Now, look, for the last so what, 20 so, minutes, oh, it's, can, it's, can we move on to these trade retire, talks, like, Yeah, that's, um, that's crazy. But because this all, all because Kobe wasn't a good leader. That's to show you. Listen, man. Because like I said, listen. Well, no, now, now, you missed it. Now, you missed it. Now. You missed it. You missed it. And I, and I don't want to get to um because I don't even think he got his take in um um scoring was in here. Yeah, I ain't even let his scoring get his take, man. Scoring, you with us? Oh uh, yeah, I'm still here. I was just laying back listening. All right, but no, go down. Your thoughts, man. Let's start with the Lakers, man. Lakers trade talk. I believe that all of the DeMar DeRozan, Zach Levine trade talk is all complete nonsense. I believe that they don't have the assets to trade for star. They don't have the contracts. I mean, they do have the contracts, but they just, yeah. I, just are hard think, I just think I think this Laker team has constructed. They need marginal changes. I think marginal changes can improve this team by light years. To me, adding 
catch and shoot shooters if you can get them like the Bogdanoviches. If you can go get a Kelly Olenek, guys like that, um, who adds a little bit of size can help with the rebounding. But these guys are really good at catching, catching and shoot threes. If you start adding that, it complements what AD and Bron do best, which is that high pick and roll ball screen. Um, that could improve them light shares because it spaces the floor. A lot of people are invested in this Zach King trade. What are your thoughts, man? What do the Lakers need to do, man, to get better? Get rid of D bro. Number one. I don't know. I, I don't agree. know if we can pull that. I don't know if we can pull that trade off, like you just said. I don't know if we can pull that trade off. But I do see the reason why we can't win games, and it's D and one of the reasons why, and I'm going to go ahead and elaborate on this, is because we can't have two defensive liabilities on the court at the same time. We can't cover for one at this moment, but we damn sure can't cover for two. When D'Lo and Austin Reeves are playing those late games, they, they no, we can't stop nobody else from uh, runs. Like, if we need to make a run and stop them, we can't do it with him, with D'Lo. And if we take D'Lo out of the game and we leave Austin Reeves in there, we got to bring in somebody that's D up, and make a three. Otherwise, we're just not going to make it. So he, we got to find somebody that can shoot the ball, can play defense, and, and replace that guy with D'Lo. If we can find that trade, I think we can salvage this season because we got everything seemed like in place except that one thing. And LeBron going to have to start handling the ball a little more because once you get rid of D'Lo, that secondary ball handling is no longer going to be there. And all What players, what players do you have in mind, though? Like, if you had to improve this team, like, I'm thinking of, like, people been laughing at me for the what names I've been bringing up. I say guys like Davis Bertans, Corey Kispert. I'm saying, I'm just looking for catch and shoot guys that you can get at a budget cost because we know the Lakers ain't got much to work with with regards to trades. They don't have much draft capital, they don't have many draft picks. I mean, even the players aren't really that galvanizing. So, you got to go for the lesser known names and hope that they can fit in. And you can get a little bit more out of them. I think if they go for the worst contract in the league, which is Zach Levine, you'll be setting yourself back light years, light, light years, taking on that money for a third option who never had any impact on winning whatsoever. So um, that's just my I take. Trust his health anyway. I'm not yeah, saying yeah, I think Lamont makes I a great point. Zach you guys Levine. don't need anything special. At all. But I, I think Lamont I, I makes a know. great point, Ghost Town. The Lakers don't need like a, a – and first of all, I mean, what's up, Ghost Town, Ace Dirty, Lamont? I'm back again. What's but, up, Lamont? Uh, what's yeah, but the Lakers don't need a guy who is perceived of a star, as a star player because one thing is for sure, um, and it just is what it is. If you're playing with LeBron and AD, you're not going to get the same version of Zach Levine that you think you're going to get. He's a good player. He's going to knock down mid-range jump shots. I'm not arguing that, but the question is, you know, uh, he's going to take a back seat, and his game's going to be a lot less than compared to what we're used to. And so, give me a stretch shooter. You know, I think a Bontans from is he from Washington? Yeah, Bontans. I forgot yeah, where he's at. Yeah, yeah, you know, guys yeah. like that who can stretch you out a little bit. You yeah. know, and just play their role. You know, um, I think they need size and length on the wings. Um, you know, because you can't just be an offensive player. Somewhat, you have some size on you. But before you go, Ghost Town, here's my problem. Though, okay. At what point do we say, and this goes for all the contending teams, whatever you have right now, your best players and coaching staff have to figure it out. It can't always be make a trade, right? And I know some people are saying, no, nah, teams got to get better, and I get it. But we came into the season, Lamont and Ghost Town, and we looked at Boston. We looked at Milwaukee after the, the, the Dame trade. We looked at the Lakers, who were perceived to have a deep team, defensive guys on the perimeter, AD was going to be healthy, LeBron's having probably one of his best seasons I've seen in a long time. He listen, LeBron James right now is a complete offensive player. His jump shot, is, it, this is crazy. Like if LeBron James had this version of the jump shot back then, no question he has six, seven, eight championships, in my opinion. But anyways, like just get it done. I mean, why is a trade always the first thing we go to? Like, are we lowering the bar or the standard goes down? I mean, because this is a though. window of win now for the Lakers and for LeBron and for everybody involved. <laughs> They, they do need this to every win year. Now. They cry they every wait. year. So they don't have no, enough, no, Ghost no. Town? So they don't have enough to get it done? Is that what you're saying? No, we no, don't. They cry they every year. No, I, I don't agree. It's not good enough. I don't agree. They don't agree. They they and I you agree with them or you enough, don't agree with them? I don't agree. I think I think they are. I think they are what? I think they're good enough. I think they're good enough with with very minor changes and adjustments to win it all. I they agree. Just have to, hold on, hold on. I agree. The number one thing is at the beginning of the year. 
What, what do you think we have that's good enough, that's championship level okay, right Okay, so now? The, the number one thing that you have is Brian and AD. Let's just start with that. that right. Any team in NBA history is going to love to start with Brian and AD. So let's start with that. Secondly, you guys got hella size. That's another thing. You got great size. And when you talk about Vando, when you talk about Prince, you're talking about guys with size and guys right. that can defend their ass off. That's another hell of a start. When you talk about uh, young players, Austin Reeves, he's one of the most highly talented young players in the league. He plays with energy. Yes, he struggles to defend. But one thing he gives you every night, he's going to give you max effort. Again, we're talking about D'Lo. D'Lo is struggling to give effort consistently. Um, so when you talk about what you're just starting with, with the foundation, they have a great foundation to start with. Now, when you talk about, okay, how can we make some tweaks to go from a good team to a championship team? Well, first thing you got to look at, okay, what is our offense? They're, they're, I don't care who you bring in. It's going to be Brian and AD high pick and roll ball screen. That's going to yep. be the dominant portion of their offense, no matter what set they run. So if you make any trade, you have to understand that I don't care who you bring in. I don't care if you finesse and figure out how to bring in Donovan Mitchell, Zach Levine. That guy's going to be a third option. Any third option that's played with LeBron James has always been relegated to a catch-and-shoot shooter, and that guy better learn how to defend really fast. Chris nice. Bosh, Kevin Love. So can Zach Levine defend? No, he's one of the top five worst defenders in the league. Can he have an impact if he's not touching the ball? No. Is he a good catch-and-shoot three-point shooter? No, he's shooting 31% on catch-and-shoot threes for his career. So we know if he's going to come in and play with Brian and AD, he can't meet any of the criteria what it's going to take. So that doesn't fit. But when you talk about where LeBron has – has when LeBron has thrived, it's when he's had a really good number two option and a lot of really good shooters surrounding those two options. And that's when, when you put the Ray Allens and the elite shooters around LeBron, that's when you see that next level of LeBron that nobody really likes to the see. Shane Battier, Mike Millers. Yeah, when they had, even in 2020, when they had KCP and Danny Green and those guys, those guys can shoot. Even though they were even missing shots, it was the threat that they could make shots that kept the floor space for Brian and AD. Right now, look at the game last night. AD, every time he touched the ball, it just felt like he had two, three people on. They swarmed he, him last night. They swarmed his ass because they did not trust those shooters. Nobody believes in um, Reddish. Nobody believes in Prince that much. They don't believe in Rui's jump shot. They're always going to double down. And so until they get people that force these defenders to stay on the three-point line and defend out there, you're just making the game extremely hard for Brian and AD. And they any trade they make needs to be focused around, how can I make the game easier for Brian and AD, that's like make like. Can I ask you a question, Lamont? Lamont. You just said Lamont, I, can I, ask you a I will tell you this though. I got to get D'Lo off this team because no, he's that's not a doing much. either one. He's no, not no, doing. No. He's not giving me any offense or on that catch and shoot. He's not giving me any defense. He, I agree. He's not meeting any of those criteria. I agree. So I got to get him out of here and find somebody that can at least meet one of them. And, because and the with one of them, I can I can survive. I'm dead if I don't get any. That's the, that's the problem. It's just like now. You have to convince somebody that correct to take that they deal. can take him on. Like mm -hmm. so, you you if it's if it's, you trade him to a good team, you have to convince a good team that he can have an impact. If you look at all of the good teams in the league, none of them need a D-Lo. right? Like they're they're all looking for something else. And then even if you look to the bad teams, really there's really only one team in the league that could actually use a D-Lo right now. That's the Spurs. And, and unfortunately, they they only have one guy in McDermott who could the, actually help the Lakers. And I don't see Greg Popovich coming off from of McDermott anytime soon. So no, the Wizards could use a PG. Wizards yeah, they could, they, they could, but that that you got to try to go get Corey Kispert. And if you get asked for Kispert, they're going to ask for Hood Shafino. But um, I, I'll say on top of getting a shooter, I I, I may not pay you. I say try to get Caruso. Caruso fits. He's not a he's not a dead eye, but he definitely can shoot. And most importantly, he makes the proper reads on the offensive end and the one of the best few ways defenders in this league. And most underrated thing, most underrated thing, everybody but Levine. Uh, the Lakers have nobody on the about. roster to get Cor Car Caruso. There's right. nobody. You're not gonna Who are you giving up to get Caruso, bro? You give up. Oh, I just had this shit over. Hold on, give me a second. I had it. I had it. Over. You can come and why would the Bulls take that player back? I mean, yeah, it just doesn't make no, 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 no. What I'm saying is, they do, 
the either Lakers have to incorporate third team to get the draft pick, or they have to give some of their picks too. It's not going to be what it was earlier in the season. This month, D'Lo lowered his value. I'm not going to lie, but the fact that Caruso don't make as much that incentivize that incentivize the Bulls to actually take his contract. Okay. No yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For Bulls, hold on. With, with Kobe White, with Ao, with Caruso, and even with some of their backup guards. Why would they take on another guard in D'Lo who playing absolute <laughs> horrible, atrocious basketball? That's all what I'm right. saying. There's no if Kobe White was playing bad, it would make sense. Kobe White looking like a damn near all star. No, no, essentially yeah, kills right. D'Lo going to the Bulls. It no Demar, yeah, no it's, it's Kobe White's growth to bring D'Lo in. Why yeah, they it, it, they, they're not going to do it because the thing is, it. ultimately, with 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 um with Kobe White playing so well, they could just bring Zach Levine back and say fuck it. We just gonna make a playoff push with Zach, and we'll revisit this trade talk in the offseason because this dude stuck with us for three years. Lamont, to be honest, bro, they shouldn't even re-sign D'Lo, bro. To keep it real, in my opinion, they, no, they, they, no should, choice. they shouldn't have they even no re-signed him. I, I think, I think they me. had to though. They had to to keep they his no rights choice. because if you let him walk, you can't make. Yeah, up I know, that I know. Time. That's a tough call, but that it is. that deal that he has, he's handicapped that team for a couple years because, like you said, you make great points. Nobody wants that the guy. Deal you got, the only deal you guys got right. is with Atlanta. For who? For, take, take, take your pick besides the uh, the other guy, the, the point guard. You mean take your pick? Murray. <laughs> take Murray. The, Murray? Uh, the Why would they give up Murray for D'Lo for it? What? <laughs> oh, that, Come what? on, bro. Hey, the days Stop of it. the Lakers finessing in these trades is over with. It's <laughs> Come over on, man. Stop it. <laughs> nah, nah, I don't know, Lamont. Every, every, every year there's a sucker born. You never it know. Is. You ain't lying. Like they, they surprised it's not me last year. It's not gonna be with the Hey, you know what though? Um, Master Moss. Yeah, there yeah, is, yeah. There is one last finesse that the Lakers can pull off. And I mentioned this on another channel yesterday, and they laughed at me. I said these two players have become available. It's been public. If you can get Olenek and Clarkson, if you're willing to take on both those contracts. I said those two players, even though you'll lose defense, right? Those two players will add bench scoring because you need a guy in Jordan Clarkson who could just score without and needing to play. Four and a stretch big in Olenek. And you get a stretch big on Olenek. Why? Because it makes AD's life easier in that post area when he drives. Right. You can't send as much help. You probably gonna have to give up defense because you'll probably lose Vando. Uh, well, Matt, maybe not Vando because I don't think he'd get traded this year. You can't trade him this year. Um, okay, but, you will, right. but you will for sure bro. lose D'Lo, and you will lose probably Rui yeah. in that type of deal. Oh, yeah. I would, do that, Rui. I would do that tonight. Oh, I, I would do that ASAP. But you might also do that lose. Tonight. But you also yeah, have I to give up that 2030 pick and Hood Shafino um, because you know you're winning the deal. So you got to give up your young. Well, your the question player. is this, Lamont. Does that guarantee the Lakers another trip to the conference finals and chance to win the championship? I don't think it guarantees. And it doesn't. So, well, nothing so, guarantees anything. So, therefore, no, no, no I don't do the deal then. Then I don't do it. But mm -hmm. but there's a guy that's out there, and I know Utah's not going to do it, and I'm high on this guy, and that's Lori Marketing. Um, I don't like him in uh, Utah. I don't like the kid up in Detroit. Um, what's his name? Um, Bogdanovich or yeah, oh, I, I don't like him in Detroit. Bogdanovich. I love him. But you know, you got to give up some first round picks. It's gonna take something good to get those guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, Mark, I would do that Mark, tonight, Mark, Ghost Town. Mark, if I can get Kelly Olynyk and Jordan Clarkson, because listen, what Clarkson does immediately is he takes the stress away from AD and LeBron James. He can just come in and say, "Look, I can go get ten or eight points on my own. I don't need no screens, no nothing." Just I'm getting buckets, and sometimes it seems like Parker LeBron and AD need that. Yeah. They need that little yeah. rest. You know what I'm saying? And so I would do that deal, but I'm not that, sure that, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It's that's a doesn't lot of sense. Can you explain why it don't make sense? Why you said that? Makes a lot of sense to bring in Jordan Clark. Yeah. That's why I Hold on, Ghost Town. You got to bring somebody that can shoot or that can defend that after they out of their mind. And if it don't make play. sense, here, bro, can you explain why it don't make but, sense? Except just saying that. You're just basically swapping the same player for the same player. Like no, they're not the same player. No, they're shooting, not the same player. No, they're not the same player. Who's the same they, player, my guy? Uh, Who? you're ba they bas they basically are the same the same kind of player, except Delo is an actual point guard. So no, I, I'm saying no. you're not you're not improving no. the team to like throwing assets. 
I gotta be it's honest, like bro. A straight Jordan player Clarkson, player, then you might have a Jordan might Clarkson have a case. is way better than D'Lo. Right, Jordan Clarkson to me is a better offensive player. Don't need nothing he's, around him. Give me the ball, get a, out my way, and let me dance. He's bro. a better. He's a better. He's, he's a better like ISO score. Yeah, he makes he twenty three. He's there. ISO no, score. Hold on, that's what they need, and they need that. Bro, bro. And they need one, one, one yeah, of them. Yeah, but they need that because you know what? I say they're not. No, you traded me. They're not trading draft picks. To get to, to take out Clarkson. Goes down on that like, second unit. Don't it look like all those guys in the second unit need a play ran to score? Like if the exactly. play don't work, that's the reason why we done. this. Let me let me make this point to y'all. And I always come down hard on AD because you know y'all don't like how soft he is. But the point is, is that we need AD on defense and we need LeBron on offense. The reason why is because when AD go sits down, our offense can't run without LeBron on the floor with, with uh, Austin Reed. Those two need to work together to get us moving. When he was missing the other day, it was obvious. So mm -hmm. we need another player that can get his own shot. John, Jordan Clarkson would be perfect if we got rid of uh, uh, Russell. That, that's, that's, that's not the point I'm trying no, to make. He didn't want to play with LeBron. That's not the point I'm trying to make. Me. What you mean, bro? He ain't got a choice, bro. I mean, what? Do he got like a no trade clause? What are you talking about, man? He'll play. What are you talking about, man? He ain't got no trade clause. Does he have a no trade clause? Does he have a no trade clause? He's going to come back. Carson want to come back to LA, bro. What's going on right now, Lamar? What's going on right now? He ain't got no choice. He ain't got no trade clause. I mean, he's Jordan Clarkson. I get that. So you're going to come to LA. You're going to give up a first round pick for Jordan Clarkson? No, yes. first round pick. Yeah. What what you know, is he getting like? No, if I, I do any I'll deal with Utah, off. I need to try to get both those guys. I need to try to get Kelly Olenek and Clarkson in one package deal. And for the duo, you're gonna sacrifice that 2030 pick and maybe one of your young guys. Yeah, you know, they, they won't they won't do yeah. that. Why would they you do want that? to win now? I mean, of course you do. You do they want to win now. Like you don't you don't care about draft that picks. Pick isn't going to be what you yeah, think they do care about draft picks. No the team, no team care about the draft for, picks when they trying to they trying to win championships. Trying to win the only reason, right what good the only reason they gave us the draft yeah. pick last year because they needed to make the deal because they needed to get get off Westbrook's contract. But they don't need to trade anybody that bad this year to get. Bro, they got to get, get rid of D'Lo, bro. Picks. If anybody's been watching bro. the Lakers, D'Lo got to go. I, look, I, I, I was a D'Lo fan I, for the longest. I disagree. D'Lo got to go. I don't agree at all. That's not Did you see that game yesterday, Mr. Moss? Uh yeah, I saw a little bit of it, man. One play, one play, one play then Ghost Town Price saw it. At the I end saw of the game, I saw um I saw D Lo not go for offensive rebound. Literally, Anthony Edwards runs from way across the goddamn court, runs right past D Lo, goes, collects the ball, goes the other way and scores. And when I saw D Lo not go off that after that offensive rebound, when he was standing right next to it, when he drove. He gets the ball stripped, staring at the ref. Ball just bouncing, 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 bouncing. Other team just scoops it up, goes the other way and scores. I said, what the hell is this man goddamn doing? I said, he is completely checked out. It's so he many. the just same thing with Rudy Gobert. It was a play where AD went to go help. He didn't even try to box Rudy Gobert out. Didn't even try to get in front of him. Just let him go right there and get the rebound. And yeah. He, I'm telling you, bro, this dude has got to go. He's, He's pausing. Yeah, get back the whole team. Nah, right right he played like shit against Chicago on purpose because he it's knows that series. I'm not. I'm not finna raise my draft stock. Nope. Uh, uh trade stock. Nope. I'm gonna sit right here. <laughs> and I'm gonna blow this. I'm gonna look like shit tonight. So they make sure they don't trade for me. <laughs> That's a good point. It goes down. That's a good point. Man. That's what I'm saying. I, like with the Bulls beating the yeah. Lakers, ain't no way they want to trade for any of them Laker players. Ain't no, no way. No, no, they don't. Yeah. They don't. So why you would the Lakers give a first round draft pick for I mean, role players? The first round, they have to give a first round draft pick because other teams know you're okay. giving up garbage. You're giving okay, up okay then. So other garbage. Why why would they do that then? Why why would they take a bad because deal? Because you have to convince the team to take on those contracts. Well, why is it a bad deal though? What's no. the compensation to take on these contracts? Here, take this pick with it. Take this young player with it. Yep, and take these but, bad contracts. Right. That's why uh, PJ Tucker. I, I disagree. The I just think the players PJ are bad. Hurting. I mean, it's and not like the only way. Um, like the only way the Lakers are going to give a like a first round draft pick is for a guy like Levine, a Jeremy Grant, a Kyrie Irving. Yeah, but but you like, know what the those problem kind of with players. that is. And here's the biggest problem of scoring: the market for star players has already yes. been set. It's it Ridiculous. got set. 
it got set with the Rudy Gobert trade. He yeah. threw off the market. Now it's going to require to get a star player at least two first round picks and at least two second round picks. And that's why we saw with the Kevin but, Durant trade. That we saw that with the James Harden trade, it took four picks, two second rounds, two first rounds. So yeah. any star, yeah. even when you saw Dejounte Murray, they gave up like four first round picks. The and that, 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 that all star has been stacked. The Lakers don't have enough picks to get an all star. Yeah, but that that's that's why they've been talking about Levine because Levine's value has been dropping so low. Levine's value is not him, low. They could get him at a cheaper, it's, it's a not cheaper low. price. His his value no is cheaper price with this new CBA, especially with the new CBA, you got to make the money exact match. He makes forty million this year, bro. Yeah, yeah. That, that, like the, the the reason why they can't trade for Levine because they're hard cap. So there's a limit on the amount of salary that they can take back in a trade. trade and we Levine. all know that you Wait a minute. 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 Who wants a draft pick five years away? Nobody. A lot of teams. A lot of teams that not. A lot of teams no. not doing nothing. OKC got tons of picks like a that. team like Utah and Detroit want that Utah, exactly want like that. teams that they know we're gonna be trash for a while. We need that's picks. why Utah is trying to build up their picks. I mean, Boston did it for years, so I mean, come on, guys. Like, yeah, hey, like who's, who, who's GM at Utah now? Danny Ainge, like, right. same dude. yeah, yeah, he makes it very clear. I want picks, period. I want picks. picks like that. Yeah. Yes. You don't know what he's about, man. Go look at their picks, bro. Is not promised to be there five years away. Go analyze their their last four or five trades, bro, and then you tell me what where some of those picks are at. I'll answer your question, man. Like, okay, the state thing. Danny Danny Hayes, 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 we got the locker years, room here. Locker years room, away, bro. Man. You we, analyze we, it. Lamont, we got to get serious, fam. <laughs> you got to get serious, though. Hold on, what you mean? What you mean? We're not trading for Kelly Olenek and Jordan Clarkson, man. Bro, that'd be a hell of a deal, man. Lamont, no, stop, 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 stop playing games, Lamont. Stop oh, no, Ghost Town. Ghost Town. Ghost Town is a Laker fan as well. Ghost Town. How do you feel about Olenek and Clarkson? Lakers fan. A Lakers fan. I, I, I want Jordan Clarkson if I can get rid of uh, D'Lo because, like I said, he's a scorer. He can go get his own buckets. What I'm looking at from D'Lo, bro, this man, he's done, bro. He's washed. He's whatever you want to call it. He don't want. He knows he's going to be traded. He's not playing hard. I can get buckets out of Jordan Clarkson playing around AD and LeBron. So I don't know why you don't see that. Man, listen, we didn't already seen Jordan Clarkson play with LeBron in Cleveland. We, we, we good, bro. Jordan Clarkson okay. out here painting his he, nails, he didn't man. Do bad. What you mean? He didn't Jordan do bad Clarkson out here painting his nails, man. Nah, man. Yeah, that's not a good example. I mean, this is a different He's, team, different, different, different personnel. And so, so, so the locker room. Once so the again, once again, so the question is once this: again, then, again, if you don't want Olenek, if you don't want Olenek, and you don't want Jordan Clarkson in the locker room, become a DM. Bro, you, put your DM hat on, and then you tell us what we already is, we already done brought up a former Laker back in D. That shit didn't work. We're not trying to bring another former Laker. Okay, back so then who Jordan Clarkson? Who do you got in mind? Stop then? it. Who you got in mind? Listen. Like I said, bro, Zach Levine is the uh -huh. main, the, the main, the main guy right now, bro. Wow. Okay, all right. Kelly Olynyk and Jordan Clarkson do not move the needle for this hey, Lakers now, team. Uh, now hold on, uh, now Mr. Moss. Mind yes, me, I, I bet somebody on the locker room's channel, right, five hundred dollars that the Lakers will not get Zach Levine. That's a great bet, and you will win the bet. <laughs> oh, and, and oh, you will win the bet. bet, and you will win the bet, Lamont. Because guess what, Lamont? Guess what, Lamont? Kelly Olynyk and Jordan Clarkson bring more value and impact than Zach Levine alone. Like, you have to analyze what the Lakers need. <laughs> Listen, it's not about the best player. It's about who's the best fit for the Bro, Lakers. That, you, Kelly Olynyk and Jordan Clarkson right, are lateral. Lamont, moves. you will win that bet, Lamont. They're you lateral. Moves. No, I know yeah. I'm going to win. Hell, they they no, do I'm not lose this bet. team, bro. I want to stop that. That's guaranteed. Jordan Clarkson and Kelly Olynyk are not moving. They're not going to be the difference in us beating Denver this year, bro. Stop. Yeah, Zach Levine is. is. Hold on, and Zach Levine. You is? have a better chance with Zach Levine. With no, you don't. You do that is your no, third option. No, yes. What? Yes, you do. I, <laughs> if uh, if it was if it was yes, how do you? Is it, is it, is it, is a good question, Locker room. How do you get Zach Levine when he makes forty million this year? Okay, well, if you even if you can't get Zach Levine. What about a what okay. about a Demar Derozan? Ace thirty. They're not trading uh, Demar, Demar Derozan. They're not oh, <laughs> they're trade for Demar, bro. Wow, bro, he's not even on the trade table. That, but the Bulls are like they're going to be sellers at the trade deadline, bro. Oh, that's a fact. Okay, that's a fact. you're not winning a title with with this trio. Like it's 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 done. The experiment is over. You're not winning with Vucevic, Demar Derozan, and Zach Levine, bro. Who yeah, why would the Bulls take back the Lakers trash? I mean, if they're going to trade, out of there. or 
or uh, DeMar DeRozan. I'm going to a team where I can get young assets and young talent and build for the future. I'm not bringing on no big deal from D'Lo and, and Rui. I mean, D'Lo's I'm just not on a two year deal, bro. Stop it. I'm just not Stop acting like, hold on. Stop acting I'm not like teams do that. will take on D'Lo. Teams will take on D'Lo and Rui and some of those guys. Stop oh, acting okay. like teams. Stop so acting like John, teams will refuse. Hold on. Go ahead, bro. Y'all thought everybody was saying the same I know you thing about the cap Westbrook. Too. Go ahead, man. Everybody was saying the same thing about Westbrook. Nobody wants Westbrook. Nobody would trade for Westbrook. And all y'all look like free. Hold on, hold on. All y'all look like hold on. All y'all look like All y'all look like All y'all look like when the Lakers traded for Russell Westbrook. All y'all look like everybody knew that that Russ could be traded because he had an. It doesn't matter. So how? No, 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 no. That's a big piece, John. So how do you know those are big traded? All y'all look like fools when Russ got traded. All y'all expiring deal, bro. Like, why are you skipping over that? So what? What do you so, mean? So what? what does that have to do? Hold on. What's, what's what going on right now, Lamont? The what fuck is so going what on right now? Hold on. Stop trying to make it seem like no it's crazy teams man. Don't take on none of these Lakers players. Man, that's it, a man. lot. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't. That's a lot. Y'all ain't been around no basketball. Y'all don't know shit. So, no, okay, you so, just know. You just sound like a fool. You sound like a fool, and you're gonna look like a fool. What basketball? When they make trades, like what basketball have you been around? Yeah, what basketball you been around, nigga? What professionals? Go watch my you channel, guys, and then you tell me. Nigga, you're that's a chef. All. Yeah, go nigga. Go watch my you, channel, you, guys, and you, you tell me. That's you're all. No athlete. You make nigga, you're not no athlete. Go, hey, 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 fellas, go watch my channel. You ain't and no that, that's all. You ain't, you that's ain't all. professional. You make that, that, that's okay. That's okay. You're I know. Like he's some GM. He's the coach of a team, nigga. You <laughs> I know. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Lamont. Hey, Lamont. Hey, Lamont. Your sons are in town tonight, bro. I'm going to the arena in about an hour and a half. I'm going to talk to Eddie Johnson, though. I know. I know. You a fan. You go into the game like nah. you're a fan. You're a fan. Nah. Hey, hey, Lamont. I bet the game's not for you. Your sons are in town tonight, more. Lamont. I'll be talking with Eddie Johnson. I'll be talking with Eddie Johnson, the Suns commentator, in about two hours. It's okay, guys. You're a okay. fan. You're a fan. I know. I know. I know. Stop it. Stop it. I know. I know. Any other GMs, you're a fan. I didn't say I was a GM. Mr. Miles, I didn't say I was a GM. But one thing's clear, though. You two clowns ain't never been around no NBA team. You ain't, 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 you ain't been either. around nothing. You, what have you done? You're ain't been around nothing, bro. You get nothing. And you go to basketball Trust games. Me. That's it. Trust me, man. Bro, Trust me. I'm on your channel right now. You're Stop a chef. It, man. Stop it, man. You do nothing special or no organization. You're hold not on, a yeah, hold on, yeah, let me yeah I know. You're not a recruiter. You're not a GM. Pull his channel up, bro. He's a chef. Nigga, you cook. Stop it. Hold on. No, no. I do more than cook, bro. Look. I do more than cook. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me read this. So, what are y'all? What are y'all thoughts on this? So, this is from um, Sam Amick. He says for Zach Levine, he says I think the Lakers would consider D'Lo. He he says in any trade that the Lakers make, D'Lo is going to be the focal piece. He he's the, obviously is clear. He's the player that is the eye oh, man that he has oh. to go. So he says D'Lo. It is ain't no think about says, it. They're getting rid of D'Lo. But he says he says I don't think. They throw in much more than a combination of salary filler, which is probably Rui and or Gabe Vincent, um, a young prospect, Max Christie or Hush um, and a 2029 or 2031st rounder. But he says, from what I'm hearing from Laker insiders, is that the Lakers uh, are not going to include Rui Hachimura or Max Christie in any preliminary offers for any trades. So... No trade. Not only are the Lakers prioritizing um, Austin Reeves, they're also prioritizing Rui Hachimura and Lamont. Max Christie. Which Lamont, I got man, they were prioritizing Lamont. all those players no that got deal, rid of last bro. season. Lamont, they, they, got, they was prioritizing all those players last season and got right rid now. of them. Stop it. Stop Lamont, it. I got the trade machine pull up right now. The trade goes through for, for Zach Levine, for D'Lo, Gabe Vincent, Torian Prince, and Jalen Hood. Hey, they're Lamont, not giving up Torian Prince. Hey, yes, they will. Yes, they will. Yes, they, they need to win. Win. No, 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 Denver. You know, it's it's a math problem. You you can't give up four players to one player. Prince not make Torian like how the Bulls are going to take on four players. Torian Prince is not the deal. Yeah, the Bulls will have to wave like three guys to take on. Torian Prince is not the deal breaker for Denver. Stop it. He's not no big game. Stop it, bro. He just started playing good. The Lakers can't keep this piling on contract. Lamont, yeah, making the Bulls take five players. The trade machine is definitely not a good deal. deal. Lamont, that 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 no, hold on. Deal. All I'm saying is, if you're just throwing names into the trade machine to see what what checks off is green, of course you can almost make any trade work. Just like Mister Ma said, it has to be stuff that makes sense for Chicago. One thing to me is, 
D'Lo don't make sense for Chicago. That's the biggest problem. Well, my, that's what they need. Lonnie why? Hold on, why? They need a point guard. It, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't it make, make sense, sense because they're asking for D'Lo. Because A.O. and, for and, and for Kobe White are playing too good of basketball to take on D'Lo. No, too no. Too good of basketball, again, again, They're not even in the playing tournament said. picture right now, said. bro. They're, you they're said, 13 why would they and 17. Why do y'all think these teams... Make make their self what willing to make themselves worse for the Lakers, bro. Uh, they're trash right but now. They're already trash, nigga. Actually, they've been playing better without y'all exactly talking like the Bulls is like a first, a second, a third. See, they hold on, hold on. playing so, team almost out the playoffs. All right, man. Look, I, I do. You, do you guys to get better? Do you guys Stop expect it. the Bulls? Are some haters, man. Do you expect the Bulls to be a lottery team? They are a lottery no. team. They've been playing like it all season. No, you're lying. No. Yeah, stop it. You acting like the Bulls are like so, the Hold on. So if the Bulls are a lottery 90s, team. Not 90s Bulls. So if the Bulls are a lottery team <laughs> like and games they beat the Lakers with yeah, AD yeah. and Brian, what are the Lakers? Lamont, it's the NBA, Bad. bro. Any given night, anybody can be beat, bro. Stop. So why are yeah, you guys even that trying that to win? That'll, that'll so if the Bulls nothing. ain't going to win nothing, why are the Lakers trying to win anything if they couldn't even beat the Bulls? Lamont, Stop, we're, 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 we're tenth right now. One game, West, bro. because y'all know that the Bulls actually have a chance to win, just like the to Lakers. What? Hold on, to win what? Though? Stop trolling. To win bro. what? Stop trolling. To win bro. what? Hold on, I told y'all the objective for almost every team in the league is to get to the playoffs. To win what, Lamont? You said win because to win the, what? these teams make so much money by just getting to. Do you want to? Do you want to place the bet right now that the Bulls don't make the playoffs? Yes, I would make that bet. Hell yeah, I'm gonna make that bet too. Yes, got on it. I got. Hold on, what you want to bet? We can bet 100. I bet 100 the Bulls right, make the playoffs. I bet 100. I guarantee you the Bulls don't make the playoffs. Bro, why would you do that? Because they're not going to make the playoffs. Well, my, that's, just confirm easy, the bet, bro. Just that's confirm easy, it right now. They're not making the playoffs. The Bulls ain't making the playoffs this season. Confirm it right now, Lamont. You should. That was a dumb bet. It's confirmed. Okay, now the, hey, the, okay, is, the, is it the playoffs or is it the play in? The playoffs. The playoffs. Okay, they, the playoffs. The, the, playoffs. the playoffs. I mean, get into the playoffs. Play in is the playoffs now. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Uh, no, it ain't. Playoffs. It's, no, it's it the don't. playoffs. I mean, you got to get one of those eight, money, one of those eight spots. Those are gonna That's be easy the money. The East, bottom four. Uh, on, I don't know. You know, you, they're trying trying to trade you, know you just cost yourself $100, right? The Bulls got a chance to get in. It's not for sure, but they have a chance to get in. I mean, it can happen. Said, I mean, they nah, have a he chance. He said playoffs. But... He didn't say play in. So if you made the play in, that's an ill. Yeah, it ain't for it sure, is, but. I just don't think the Bulls are a good team. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That's a dangerous bet. Bad bet. That can go either way. That bet can go either way. So I need I need somebody to tell me. I need somebody to tell me who the Bulls going to jump to get to the playoffs. Hey, Sturdy, can you drop the link in the chat? So on my laptop. What's up? Hey, what, what up, Sturdy? Gotcha. No, I'm saying, bro. The bases, look the at, are not make the who playoffs. Think they are. These, these, this is the current AC, um, Mr. Moss. Yeah. Celtics, number one. Bucks, number two. Sixers, number three. Magic, number four. Knicks, number five. Heat, number six. Cavs, number seven. Eight, the Pacers. And then you go to number nine is the Nets. Number 10 is the Hawks. And you tell yeah, me the they can make yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna, listen. It's gonna be tough. Let, listen, not listen. It's right. gonna be hard. Hey, hey, it's man. not impossible, but it's gonna be tough. Because I mean, if they're trading Zach Levine, them. they're not trying to win. If they're trading yeah. Zach Levine, the Bulls it's Bulls to record like that close. Yeah, because if they're trying, if the Bulls are trying to they're trade, they're winning Levine, without Zach Levine. I, I I get that, George, but that's not gonna sustain throughout the entire year. I know that at all. So if the Bulls. No, Levine was not the problem. Levine was their best yes, player. He if they're trying to trade Levine, that would also mean they're trying to trade DeRozan, who's on an expiring contract. That team would be trying to tank and take on future assets. That's why they would be that's, trading Levine, not to try and win and make the playoffs. That's your thinking. Watch that's not my thinking. That's not my thinking. If they, okay, they're, they're on a three-game win streak. Cool. That's not going to sustain. They're going to lose like 10 in a row at some point this year probably. That team is not okay. good. That team is okay. just not good. I'm not sure about ten okay. in a row, but anybody I mean, yeah. that's thinking okay. the Bulls is gonna make the playoffs, they're trolling. That team is just not a good team. I mean, that's easy that's money. Okay. That's easy money. That's easy money right there. You think that? And I, I, and I don't know if you're a Bulls fan and if you're being delusional right now, but that's just the truth. I'm sorry. It's okay. Bulls, y'all think the Bulls got leverage, bro? The Bulls ain't got no leverage on them. No leverage, leverage at all. No leverage. No at leverage. All. Okay. Gonna, no the Bulls are gonna be sellers at the trade deadline. And the fact yeah, that the yeah. Lakers actually have players they can put in deals and trade, you know, the Lakers definitely got more leverage than the Bulls. Y'all actually, hey, 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 John, hey, 
Hey, John. Hey, John. If the Lakers don't make no deal, do, do they have enough to get it done this year? You think? No, no, no. That's the thing, Maz. I can't I'm just asking, that. bro. I'm just no, listening. Hold on, hold on. Maz, I can die. answer your question. Maz, All right. the Lakers are going to make deals, bro. D'Lo is gone. He's gone. I'm not arguing. That, that, that's not what I asked you. I just said quote. So how can I As answer of right question? Now, if, bro, the question is very clear, question? man. As of right now, with everything like it is, do they have enough right now to get it done? That's all I'm asking. Absolutely I can't answer that not. question. No, Absolutely no, they don't. Not. Okay, Absolutely all right, okay, cool. No, I got you. Back. Okay. Okay. Just like us, just like, just like I can say the same thing for the Suns. Oh, we agree on that. We yeah, agree on know, that. Because I know you know you support them. But I'm I, a recent if, Rockets if fan, I'm bro. Assessing, I'm a Rockets fan, fair, man. If I'm being fair, hold on, John, 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 John. I'm a Rockets fan, man. Stop it, bro. I like KD, but I'm a Rockets fan. You know you like the Suns. You KD support. Hey, John, before the season started, bro, hold on. But before the season started. Hey, Ghost Town, you still there? You were saying the Suns are making the conference finals impossible. Can you drop the stream yard link in the chat? so I Maz, you got to stop the capping, bro. Before the season started, where'd you have the Lakers at? The Suns are going to make the finals, and you've been sticking with that for the past, for the first couple months of the season. Listen, listen, listen. We all had expectations, and we – Predicted what we thought it was going to be. And guess what? As of right now, the Suns don't have enough. Katie and Booker ain't getting it done. And they're not a contending team. Did you, you, you see how easy that was? Now, listen. Hold on. Did before, I just say no? I answered your question. I said no. No, no, no. I'm asking you a different question, man. Before the season started, <clears throat> where'd you have the Lakers going this year? I, not the Western Conference final. You know why I said okay. that? I okay. didn't have them. Look, I'm going to tell you, Miles. I did not have them. I did not still think they was better than Denver. I still have Denver as the best team in the West, in my personal opinion. That's fair. I never had them better than Denver still, right? Okay. I yeah. said that their first – I said with Anthony Davis still playing the center, they would never see their pinnacle. They'll never reach the pinnacle. If AD still at center, they're going to they, they, they keep, keep losing. In my I mean, opinion, I thought they were gonna. I I thought they were gonna be a conference finals team, but I mean, who said that? Who 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 said that? I don't think John said that. I thought I thought I thought I thought I thought they I never said I never said they was going to the finals. I never said they was I thought they were gonna be conference finals. Hey Lamont, bro, this trolling gonna cost you some money now, bro. As long as AD is at center, they ain't seeing no they ain't seeing no chip ever. Hey Lamont, again, hey, I got a I got a question. Like, who really thinks AD is like a four, a power forward, bro? That he is, four. he is bro. a four. He no, is no, a four. he's that's not. Why Lakers, that's why Lakers can't be as good as they are, no. as they really want to be. Yeah, the yeah. Hold on, yeah. Where's the problem? He's not. A, he's not a power no, forward. No, he's no, a no. center. It doesn't matter if they play him at the four or the five. Yes, yes it, it does, does bro. Yes, this it does. Why, I'm gonna tell you why yes, it don't it does. matter. If they don't put shooting around them, it's too easy to load up the box and defend. Nah, no, it's not because they already pulled it. They can play the ball. No, eighty's good enough. That's not true. Eighty's good. See, the problem is nobody's going out there expecting to hold eighty to ten points. They're, what they're saying is, if we make his nights hard, if he scores twenty-seven, but we make it hard, we slow the game down, we beat him up. That's when you give eighty problems. Just like nah. last night with Minnesota, they couldn't no. stop AD, but they made that shit hard for him. And really, AD had to shoot the ball every time. Because they have no catch and shoot shooters, they so have no big. Like it out no, me. they have no big. They have no real big. So you can just clog up the paint Bro, and just leave a bunch of guys. So you saying, if, all so you saying if they put another big on the floor, it's going to help? Hold on, Lamont. What I'm telling you is that they're going to clog the, the paint. Even more. Teams are still going to clog the paint because they don't care about the Lakers Bro, shooting. If you put the first if thing. you put shooting on the floor, I guarantee you that paint don't look the same. Nah, they need hey. a big Lamont. I'm, I'm sorry, no, man. You talking about throughout the season? Anybody remember two years ago when they started DeAndre Jordan? And Dwight Howard next to AD. How did that look when DeAndre Jordan and Dwight Howard were playing next did, to AD? That, did this man that say DeAndre Jordan? Jordan? No, but AD DeAndre was able to shoot. Jordan. That's the difference. AD right now is not a good shooter. No, when did DeAndre Jordan? Jordan you look at the well, twenty. Uh, you talking about they Dwight had, Howard and Javale McGee? They had on, the Uzma, They had Danny Green. They had KCP. They got guys that could shoot. And even Rondo shot his highest three point percent. Yeah, I gotta ever stop, ever Lamont, Lamont, you gotta stop this, bro. That twenty twenty team was not no all. Hold on, the twenty twenty team in the playoffs. They, they could shoot. Rondo was shooting they like could 40%. Shoot. The twenty twenty, yeah, they could shoot, but they weren't no top three point shooting team. No, I'm they, just they, 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 they could shoot they, better than this team right now. That, yeah, that team, that team killed team. from the paint. That team got most of its success from scoring in the paint. Even the twenty twenty team knocked down threes. The 2020 that team, team needs to find consistent offense. That's what they need to find. I'm around that's all it is. That's consistent offense. That's, all is hey, consistent yeah. offense. Yeah. They hold on. They yeah hold on. When they won the there's championship in 2020, between, there's a difference what was their between best bringing in offense and then bringing in offense that fits with what the Lakers do. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So I don't you think, can bring I don't in think like, you can bring in Zach Levine all you want, 
<laughs> but Zach Levine standing around the three point line being a catch and shoot shooter Levine. ain't gonna help the Lakers. No, but see, I agree with you, Lamont. If they're gonna bring a third star and he's got to change his game or change the way he plays, I don't even want. They should just roll out with the roster they got. Like if they're gonna bring a player and he got to change his game at, in any way aspect, just stick with don't the bring roster. Him. Well, he has to. I mean, any third guy that comes in has to no, change the game. Not necessarily. No, not necessarily because that's what he would have to change his like game. Kyrie, if a player like what? Kyrie was to come to the Lakers, no, he, wouldn't. he wouldn't have to change his game. Oh, wow. No, no, they wouldn't. no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. You guys, we're talking about guys that they can possibly get. And so that yeah, so don't, I mean, yeah. his game. I'm just saying because of the caliber of player he is, there's just some players. So you don't think that Zach Levine would be demoted to standing in the corner and shooting threes? No, he wouldn't. At, at, no, he, sir. Would, he would have to go LeBron, Hold on. No, sir, because LeBron oh. want to keep his legs at the end of the game and at the end of the season. He'll Levine would have the ball in his hands. Okay. Okay. He'll, he'll, right. ball. he'll sit down and stop clogging up and stop uh, clogging up minutes. My whole thing is I just, look at, I, I just don't think okay. the Lakers have the best offer for the Bulls. I don't think the Lakers can put forward the best offer. That's my whole No, they can't. I don't think but, they can. But no, nah, the Lakers got offers. Yeah, yeah. They, no, they no, not contracts. not the best. Not the best. They got offer. contracts the that can. They got contracts. They go. I, think, I, I, I think. I think. I think. I think Miami could put a better offer out there. Yeah. I think. No, nah, Miami got shit. Offer. No, they can't. For who? Tyler who Hero. Tyler Hero. Some more salary yeah, and like what? Point. Tyler Hero. Who's Tyler? I mean, Miami Tyler just came Hero, out I mean, and said Tyler Hero is. Not he is not in the conversation. He is yeah, under yeah. I know, yeah, but the only reason I know the trade talk is because like the Bulls don't have any offense. Austin Reed is better than Tyler Hero. Hey, here's Mosh. You want me to tell you something? Here's my yeah. Go ahead, Lamont. There's a guy on your team, the Rockets. I know you're gonna say that's in L.A. He just bought a condo in L.A. He working out in L.A. Oladipo on the buyout market. That's who the Lakers should target. Oladipo. I mean, maybe it's not maybe the perfect more defense. Fit. It's not. Uh, the perfect. I don't like that fit for the Lakers. No, I don't, I don't like, like it either. Fit. But the I thing guess. is, the Lakers have put themselves in a situation where they're not going to get the perfect move. It's flawed, but it's There's the best no thing. Such thing is the perfect move, though. There's no moves in his league. Yeah. Perfect. What's perfect? Who made the perfect move? I don't like that. The perfect people. move is KD to the Warriors. That's perfect. That's the perfect move. Yeah. That, that man, okay, that ain't no perfect move at this point. Yeah. Perfect. That ain't no perfect yeah, move at this point. Awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Curry, anymore. Curry, Curry and Kevin Durant is like the most seamless fit between two perimeter stars. I've Bro, ever. it's not the same. It really is. It's not the perfect fit. The yeah. they, what's the perfect the fit? Kyrie, LeBron, and AD. That's the perfect fit. Kyrie and AD. Yes, sir. That's the perfect LeBron and AD is better than that. Even though I know they'll never get Kyrie, don't get me wrong. I know they're not getting Kyrie, but hey, I love it. I mean, shit. I guess. But I know they. I, I know they get Kyrie, but that'd be the perfect fit. I think Lamont. OG would be a good player Yo, for what the up? Lakers. But what if the Phoenix Suns went out to Lowry or Bro, the, the, the Suns just are out? The Suns are done. They can't make any moves. Yeah, Phoenix ain't got. They definitely ain't got nothing to give up for no market and stop it. I didn't say no market. I said Lowry or what you just mentioned. Lowry, yeah, is Lowry. They don't Lowry. have Lowry. Lowry, like the point guard, Lowry. Hey, Lamont. Oh, Stop it, man. No one knows goddamn Kyle Lowry. Lowry. What are you, what you talking about? Yo, what up? Lamont, Lamont. You don't know what, um, Yo, can Lowry you, can you put the link crazy. in the chat? Hold on, My is that sturdy? It's me. No, no, no. First, first thing. Yeah, first thing. P5, P5 just want the link in the, um, in the chat. Oh, my bad. Um, the second thing is, you want to you want to know where Mark is going to end up going? Uh-uh. Where you at? Where you got him? Oh, okay, see. Bro, that'll be so nasty. That's a great move. So, Lou Dort going to the bench. Who going to the bench? Yeah, Lou Dort going to the bench for Mark. Yeah, yeah, Lou Dort. Hell yeah. He gone. I don't see that, but hey. Honestly, I think I'm getting him. How are getting him? How are getting him? And who's OKC getting him? They're going to have to give up a lot, bro. It's not going to be a lot. I don't mind them giving him Josh Giddy. OKC got a lot. They got everything you need. Josh Giddy just went out with injury. I thought it was look serious. To yeah, because they're gonna actually. Well, yeah, but my whole thing is like even yeah, though I don't think they was, they was gonna trade Giddy anyway. Yeah, it yeah. was gonna trade Giddy. Yeah. Okay, see, that's like twenty first round draft picks. They can give up anything. But like, do you think the Jazz would have leverage in that way? They they could ask for more than what he might actually be worth because they have so many picks. <laughs> Because if they know the Thunder have all these draft picks, they're going to ask for a lot. Well, some of these teams, P five, oh, yeah. who, who who are, who who are like literally on the edge of contending, that can use a Clarkson, can use a marketing, who can use no link, like Kelly Owen. I think that'd be a I good mean, fit yeah. for the Lakers. I mean, so you talking so ask, the Lakers. You talking ask for what they want to ask for? Because some of these teams are just right there 
tapping on the door who can use a, a guy like Jordan or 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 Lori. I mean, yeah, I mean yeah. they can be greedy for what they ask for, but uh, we'll the see. The Jazz got a the Jazz got a first last year for Beasley and Vanderbilt. They got a first for for those two. Can mm. Denver make some moves? I mean that was that was because they had to take on the Westbrook deal. That's why they uh you know what? Yeah, but they, they, just, they, just, they just released them. So I wanted Jordan really Clarkson. Yeah, but they, the they still ate up all that but money. Now that Reggie that's Jackson kind of came around, then I'm off that bro. But I wanted Clarkson on the Nuggets to start the season because they needed a sixth score. <laughs> but Reggie kind of been rejuvenated a little bit this year. So Why, so, so what's your thing with Clarkson? I'm uh, cool. Like, what you say? Like he's a Clarkson. good player. He he's a really good scorer who can play well. He's off a ball. guy that can relieve you, bro. I mean, he's yeah. a guy that usually hook John. Clarkson is a guy who who's a, those type of players don't grow on trees. Meaning, he's a good player, legitimately. he is he's, he's one of the best one on one players in the league. Yeah, uh, he's not a locker room killer. He understands his role, and sometimes you need just killers like that, bro. This dude can fight out score the basketball with the best of them, and so you need your stars to get breaks during moments in the games, po big time postseason games. He'll go off on an eight zero run just by himself, mm -hmm. and he can make tough contested shots. Because sometimes in the postseason, it comes down to Imano versus Imano. A tough shot over good defense. And so, again, I mean, yeah, bro. So I, mean, you say yeah, OKC, Clarkson, I agree with what the chat saying. OKC so, so, can do a lot of things. Like what did you say, John? So, so, Ma, so how can you say that about Clarkson, though, and then not say the same thing about Levine? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Go ahead, go ahead. And, and, again, I might be nitpicking here just a little bit. The only difference is this. I think Jordan Clarkson gets to his spots and shoots his shots and they're not quote unquote bad shots more so than Zach does. Zach can score it. Don't get me wrong. Zach is taller. He can score it. But at times, though, Zach Levine takes worse shots. Zach Levine takes you out your offense more so than Jordan does. And that's the only difference for me. They both can score the basketball, but it's the less of two evil. And I just think that Jordan Clarkson, for me, he just scores in a much more winning fashion, if that makes sense. Okay, okay, I mean, okay. I just don't oh, think that bro, Zach can John, be John, to John, to don't let the name on the back of the jersey fool you, bro. Exactly. No, Levine's 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 I'm gonna tell you why Jordan Clarkson's better. He's better because he's on the last year of his deal. Levine's got like it's, it's, bigger that, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. And when you get Zach Levine, you that means you're not just you're not just selling out for him this year. You're, you're committed connected to this man for the next four years. Mm -hmm. 215 million dollar contract, player option at the end of it, which we know he's gonna opt into for over 50 million. Uh -huh. Um. Are you willing to pay that for your third option? And then how do you pay LeBron at the end of the year? I see what you're saying. LeBron is 38, bro. You're going to have to pay him if you want to contend still. That makes sense, John. That makes sense, John. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Jordan Clarkson, you're not attached to him for the next year. You can't give a 40 year old a max. It's not a max, but you're going to have to pay. You're going to have to pay up, though. Like, what you Pay what? LeBron is Hold on, hold on. Bro, LeBron, he's old. Pay him what? What is LeBron getting paid at four Bro, years old? What? If you don't re-sign Bron to whatever he asked for, you got to be the team in basketball. So, so how is he the dumbest team in basketball? He's Bro, forty years old. You know you know you know Who's going to be the GM to say we ain't much signing as I like LeBron? Bron, do you know how much a forty-year-old can make? GMs look at dollars and cents. When you sign LeBron, your the value of your franchise goes up immensely. I don't care what age he's at. Do you know how much? Do you know how much LeBron can make at forty? How does a 40 year old have that much leverage though? He LeBron, he had to All right, well, wait and see. Wait and see when his contract comes up anymore, in negotiation. Sorry, he don't. Not anymore. He's, he's going to be doing the max. People, he's going to be the max extension. People that care about his his value are the people that actually got to pay the dollars and cents. LeBron, no, he got value, John. LeBron, he got value, John. Wait, 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 wait. You have to out of your mind. Bro, that LeBron James, when he left the Cleveland Cavaliers, that franchise lost close to a quarter billion dollars. LeBron is not. LeBron is not. Man, y'all must be out of your mind. The, the Lakers are going to probably draft Stop. Bronny. We got the Lakers are probably probably find a way to draft Bronny. Bronny, no, no, they, they want to keep they LeBron. Can't. I don't think LeBron. No, no, but they can't. They can't sign Bron to the match because Lou CBA. Any player right. over thirty, he's not getting signed to no max. Exactly. No, he's not going to get. He's not going to get four years, but he's going to get like that two year max. That they two year max. Whatever the max two year deal. Give LeBron James is. That's what LeBron is getting. That man, is yeah, yeah, yeah. under those circumstances, no. man, yeah. But a typical match contract, nah, you can't get like LeBron. Like LeBron's like LeBron yeah. gonna be getting paid. He he's not gonna get four years. He's gonna get like a two year with he a one year value. option. Maybe. But he's gonna get a max. He's gonna get max nah. money for what he, nah. what he slotted for. Bro, they gonna so give him one year deal. Yeah, he's old. Hey, Locker room and Jay, are y'all saying that the Lakers should just let LeBron walk? 
I ain't say let him walk, but they're not finna just pay, bro. So pay him he's what? almost pay forty. Him he's gonna, he's gonna be forty. He's five. He's five. Oh. Pre K five. I told you, bro. You gotta do your googles, man. Do no, your I, Google, I'm bro. asking you what you should be paying him then, because if you're do not your Google, wrong, Google, Google right now, how much, how how many? Years no, no, you locker, you tell me, because you said he shouldn't be getting paid at all because he's 38 years old. How much would the like when he's 40 years old? How many years do you think he can negotiate for a contract? Exactly. Two years at exactly. the most, maybe. Exactly. Two years at the most. So I'm not, I, I'm not. My my whole thing isn't about the length; it's about the money. Because if they trade for Zach Levine and they all start to pay LeBron all this money for the next year. How are they going to build up the, build up the rest of that roster? Or do they even have enough money to do that? Like that's they, my whole thing here. They got all the players signed up for long term deals. I, 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 like, know, I know, but I know, but, they, I know, but then, but, but then, how much money? Zach Levine over LeBron James. That's what. That's exactly about. what I'm hearing. But like then again, how if you get Zach Levine and you have these players locked up for a long time, do you even have the money to bring in Le, to bring back LeBron James? I don't know. So like, how how much do you think LeBron should be getting paid? How much is a championship worth to you, P five? Locker room, that's not what I asked you. How much no, do you think LeBron I'm asking different? you, how much is a championship worth to you? It's um m- the most. If you win a championship, I don't think there's year. no price on it. If I get a there's championship, no I'm still exactly. Championship, exactly. If you win a championship, yeah, there's, there's no, no price on it. Hold on, but if they don't win locker room, but if they don't win locker room, I'm only signing Zach Levine. Is it if he's ever impacted winning on any team he's been on? Name a player with LeBron and AD. Zach Levine's had an impact. No, he hasn't. I haven't seen it yet. No. So he hasn't – even when he got into the playoff with the Bulls, he played like absolute Please, please tell me what impact so what Jordan winning, Clarkson has ever had on the I'll just finish it. And, and, and you're Kelly paying, Clarkson. You're not paying Kelly Olenek. What, what impact Kelly Olenek, Kelly Olenek ever had There's on the team? Two, two different, impact 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 two different impact situations, impact guys. Y'all know that. Never the difference is you're not paying them $40 million. I mean, well, that's true, too, man. I mean, y'all look at the deals, bro. I mean, it's a Yeah, because they're not worth $40 million. I get that, but then it's just a different caliber player. Are you willing to give – because I think the Lakers – um. Getting Zach Levine for the Lakers, it, it makes them better for sure. Does it P5, boost him to a champion? P five. Let me ask this question, bro. How much do you guys think Zach would average on the Lakers if he came right now? Twenty a game. 20, twenty a game. Oh, okay, 20, okay, cool. Easy. How much do you think? How much do you uh, think? Like Clark, 23, twenty-three. How much do you think Clarkson can average for the Lakers? About less than twenty. Uh, I'm just asking. I'm just, I'm just asking. 17, about, less about than maybe 20. 15, 16. Okay. Like seventeen. And then you throw in Olenek, who'll give up about what? About, about 10, 11? 10. What about four or five, six rebounds? Okay. I mean, hey, hey, we ate the value, guys. I mean, come on. Um, you see the score of the Raptors game? Nah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and B, yeah, and B, the like yeah. he hurt again. And B, and B looks injured hey, again. He hurt again? Let's yep. go Raptors. He just went down. And B, Raptors, bro. And B just mean? went down again. Where was it with me or what was it? His fucking ankle folded. Like, right. I'm talking about like, holding like a long and, his ankle. Sp- hey, and spicy P is cooked. Hey, the Raptors, up nine right now. the Raptors up now. The Raptors up now. It looked and like beat has a, and then beat like has a donut. And beat has a donut. Let's go, Lamont. Your sons is, is, is in town tonight, man. Hey, look, man. I, I the sons, I thought man, you was I'm, a Portland fan, Lamont. I am a Portland fan. Look, hey, Lamont, is Lamont is too? hey, Lamont is too. I live out here in Phoenix. I mean, I dabble in the Phoenix Suns just because I'm out here, but look, the Suns is um. And the roster's just a hot mess. I agree. They, they, I agree. Roster, I mean, remember, the only way this looks good is if all three of those stars stay healthy. And they're it, not. Super teams, like, I, I fear that the same thing could potentially happen to the Clippers if any one of those top three guys get hurt. If uh, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, because we saw what happened as soon as Kawhi Leonard stepped out of their rotation to low manage for one night. He's yeah, their offense look completely different. Yeah. Yeah, they look comp- – so the thing is, if any element – that's the danger of these big threes. If any element of your big three goes down, you done. Hey, Lamont, has Scoop been playing any better? Uh, yeah, he averaged 16 the month of December so far, so he's been balling a little bit. So he's he's solid. Okay, okay, okay. I think Malcolm Brogdon be a great play for the Lakers so, to try to push. Forward. I got it. Before I go, let me ask Malcolm one question Brogdon. What? Lamont, 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 Lamont. What? Malcolm fellas, Brogdon. Fellas. I'll keep D low. I'll y'all keep gotta, find it. Y'all gotta stop. Raptors bro. up. They up 32 21. Yeah, we're the guy. I find it very troubling. I find it very troubling that Devin Booker and Kevin Durant at this juncture of their careers cannot handle a trap, a blitz, or a double team. I don't know. I've seen two players who get trapped or blitz and they act like they've never seen that shit before in their life. Well, Miles, um, that's because you got that alone. That alone means that, that they can't win a championship, bro, or, or make a deep postseason run. But, it's but, just pathetic. It's but just but pathetic. Miles, 
You also have a thing where on that team you got two guys that trying to take on uh, responsibilities that they've never did. <laughs> like be ball handlers and play the point guard and facilitate the offense. That's nothing Kevin Durant or Booker uh, does. Sounds like uh, sounds like the on, sense to use James Harden. Kevin Durant's not using that way, bro. Kevin Durant is, is doing the same I'm shit. Saying, but the if key the ball, ISO, no, no, they're, I just, get that. they're literally I'm blitzing saying, him and trapping hold on, him. Hold on, what I'm saying is if the ball ain't in Booker's saying? hands because he's yeah. supposed to be this point guard now, it's in Kevin Durant. He got the most outside of Booker is KD with the ball. No, in his hands. no, but the problem is when Bradley Bill. When since Bradley Bill has been hurt, oh, Bradley it Bill. completely changes. Here we go, Devin Booker's role because Dev, the goal, the they they intended for De, Devin Booker to be to the play point guard, point guard. But with with Bradley Bill getting hurt, Devin Booker now has to move over and be that second level score. They're, they're, so he has so you he can't do both, and so their struggle now is he's trying to be a, a secondary high level score, putting up thirty a night and the best facilitator. And that's what I'm saying. Can... That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah I'm not arguing that, bro. Yeah, that, that, that's bad. that's not my argument. I mean, I'm talking about these two clowns are literally inviting the trip. I mean, the, the blitz traps double teams, and they look like a damn fool doing it. And so that has nothing to do with what you just said, Lamont. These guys need to go in the back of the gym and work on that aspect of their game because they're too seasoned. They're too good to 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 turn the ball over in those situations the way they do. They make bonehead plays. And they hey, don't Armani, you hear? Yeah, I'm here. What's up, guys? What's hey, up? Marty, check it out, Armani. We got the locker room on the panel for you, man. Yo, you what's up, to talk to him? What's up, bro? What is there a beef here? Yo. No, nah, that's his idol, man. The locker room is his idol, man. Oh, that's, oh, that's the verge. Oh, that's the verge. You idling motherfuckers and shit, bro? <laughs> oh, there's no yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. There's no way. That's the verge, oh. man. <laughs> How Armani, what you got to say to the locker room, man? He was asking about you the other day, man. Hey, Lamont, stop okay, playing I'm, games, bro. I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm just out here just seeing what y'all uh, talk about. So, yeah. We, we, yeah we Are you nervous around here. your idol? Huh? Are you nervous around your idol? <laughs> Probably like that. <laughs> yeah, that's a yes. Just, that's a yes. That's a yes. Damn, uh, bro. We just crazy. talking hoop, man. This is crazy. We, we just talking basketball, bro. I mean, <laughs> hey, Armani, what are your thoughts about the locker room uh, take on the Lakers, man? I mean, they're both the goat. LeBron and him is the same, you know, process. So, I mean, what? yeah, I mean, they're both the championship. So, we, we well, well, like one all like last year, and you know, Ben is still the goat. Be still the best uh, all times. Hold on, but why do you call the locker room the goat, though? No. What? <laughs> because he's because he is. You know, like, you know. We got a super fan here, bro. Hey, Lamont, bro, you going to hell, bro? <laughs> Straight up. Are you laughing at? Are you laughing at your fan? Locker you you, room? you going to hell, Lamont? For real, for real, bro. Are, are you, you laughing just, at your fan? Hey, pre K five, bro. Just sit this one out, bro. Lamont. <laughs> That's crazy. crazy, bro. That's crazy. Nah, nah, Armani, I'm what, just glad you're you able to get Why are you putting Armani on front street like this, Lamont? No, Armani said this. Armani, didn't you ask me to get you on the same panel with the locker room? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, like I was a fan, like you know, most of the times, in, like like decade ago. So yeah, so that's why it's my first time as be here to speak and to listen to you guys and, and speak out the truth. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was the same way with Lowe, so I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, shout, shout, shout hey, out y'all crazy, out. man. Hey, I'm not going to lie, man. That, man, stop this nonsense, man. I ain't no fan of uh, fucking nobody up here like that, man. Stop playing, bro. Fuck I'm not going to lie, though. Like, man low and before shit and I am, before players Actually, sad, even. bro. You, hey, you a man first, man. Hey, P5, <laughs> you a man first, bro. What you mean you like that with fucking low? No, stop no, Ma, nonsense, no, man. Moss, Moss, Moss. This shit Moss. is crazy, man. You're getting all wrong. Oh, I was boy. watching low for like yeah. years before I even And what that mean? What that mean? He was my favorite YouTuber. I don't know what you want me to tell you. He was my favorite YouTuber. That shit's sad, bro. He was. I mean, you can't have a favorite hey, 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 Mars, bro. You one day you'll get hey, there, bro. Hey, 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 Lamont. What's his name, bro? Hold one on. day you'll get there. What's Armani. his name, Lamont? That dude with, with the A? On it, with, with, with the a? That's Armani. What's his name? Armani. He's a Armani. Armani, nigga. I'm the best, nigga. Analyze me, man. I'm the best, nigga. Fuck you yeah, mean. Bro. I'm the best. Analyze me, nigga. 
I tell you what. I tell you what. I gotta go. I gotta go though. But guess what? Though I want Lamont. Hold hold on. I want Lamont to set up a debate between me and the locker room. You feel me? And then we don't take it from there because Armani, I'm, I'm the best, nigga. I'm the best, Armani. Armani, I'm the best. I'm the best. Armani, I'm the best. Armani. I would never say. I would never say no dude is fucking better than me talking basketball. I'm the best, nigga. Nigga, I'm the standard in this in the, in this shit, nigga. Now, 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 Lamont, 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 set it up, bro. Lamont, set it up, bro. I want the locker room. One, hold on, bro. A special Armani, debate, nigga. I want. Listen, I want the locker room one on one. Armani, he pick the topic and let's do it. Armani, do you like to cook, bro? Armani, want to set that up? I'm gonna cook on him and uh, um, you. <laughs> Armani. I can't take you serious, man. You came on a live panel, hey, man. I I don't like him. I can't take you serious, man. Hey, Lamont, set up the debate, bro. Hey, Sturdy, what you say, Sturdy? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Myers. Do you really want to debate? Yeah, of course I do. You know that. Yeah, Lamont, set up the debate. Armani and Mr. Myers, bro. Armani, Armani said he'll cook him. Armani, you want the debate? No, nah, I'm not doing it, nigga. I want, hey, Lamont, stop it, bro. I want locker room. You know, fucking Armani, a, a dude that on the live how panel, analyzing another man. I'm, I'm good, bro. Yeah, he, li, li, listen, so listen. He, he called the locker room his father, his king, his goat. So guess what? what then? Give me the goat. I want the goat in the debate. That's what I want. Lamont, I want the goat in the debate. Lamont, I, 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 I got, I got my young boy. I got. A, I, got I want I got the, the, I want the so-called goat in the Armani. debate. <laughs> because I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. BJ cooked him really. BJ really cooked his ass. Sad but you know what I'm saying? It was some bias shit going on around here. Hey, Lamont, BJ already you cooked you, bro. So oh, listen, man. No, I, I, I don't care, no, nigga. No, I, no, hey, no, I don't no, care about no, that type of shit, bro. BJ already cooked you, man. All right, no. BJ already no. cooked you, man. Hey, hey, John. Hey, John. Hey, John. The chat had it 61 percent to, to fucking 31. If that's not biased, bro, the debate was too close to be 61 31 with the special. Come on, this is crazy, man. That was that's called bias, yeah. nigga. Hold that's called bias. Mas, that was the yeah, chat? yeah. The chat had it 61 31. Ask them up. It is an anti Kobe channel, Mr. Moss. So yeah, okay. ask Lamont, bro. Yeah, facts. Oh I mean, come on, man. This shit crazy. <laughs> hey, Lamont. Lamont, I can't. Yeah, Lamont, I gotta go, bro. Stop me going to the game, mean? bro. But, but, but Lamont, chat, text my Lamont, text my phone and yeah. set up the fucking debate between me and the so-called goat, the locker room. <laughs> Not one on one, nigga. I'm the best, nigga. Armani, I'm the best, nigga. You remember Lamont, that shit, bro? I'm, no, I'm the best, nigga. I'm the best. I'm the best. Period. Hell out of here, man. BJ already cooked you, man. It was easy work. BJ won two one, man. I'll give you one Lamont, round. Lamont, I'll give you one Lamont, round. Lamont, but BJ won two, man. Tell Mr. Moz that when I, when I listen, I'm trying to learn how to, you know, uh, make cook, cook a steak, right? So are you mad because I eat good? Listen, Locker Room, you mad because I eat good, my nigga? Come on, man. Hey, 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 Locker Room. I eat good every night, man. You mad at me because I'm at every Kings game, nigga, and I eat good, bro? Wow, you what you mad at me for? What you mad at me for, man? Stop it, bro. Stop it, man. Hey, Lamont, I got to go, bro. Hey, hey listen. Right, if I right. want to debate, text my phone, email me. It's good, bro. If he's scared, go to church. I, I respect Nobody's it. He's already cooked you, and I'm going to cook you next, bro. I got to debate with Lowe. I got to debate, debate with Lowe. I'm not debating you, bro. Sorry. I didn't say Saturday, but hey, hold on. Hey, hey, hold on. Walker, we can wait, bro. Hold on, Armani. Hey, Walker, we can wait. We can wait, Walker. We're not tripping. I'm not tripping, bro. Get Listen, debate low. And then, listen, debate low. Go do your homework. When you get ranked, then debate low. Go do your homework. And then come see me. I ain't tripping. Follow them, Reggie. Go follow them. What you mean? Who's a Rocky nigga? He always on cut. He always don't say nothing. But all the top of that, he's scared of you. Oh, now you want to talk all big and bad and shit after you didn't fucking hug and fucking and fucking praise the locker room and shit, man. Shut up, man. I don't take you serious, man. Now you want to get some fucking balls and shit after coming in here fucking idolizing a fucking YouTuber and shit, a grown man, and you a fucking man. Shut up, nigga. I don't take you serious, man. What are you talking about? Now you want to get tough and shit. You from Houston, huh? Who, who are you? Who are you? Captain Save Locker Room? No, I ain't from Houston, bro. You, I ain't from Houston. Lamont, Some can you tell, I ain't from you Houston, tell man. Mr. Moss that it would literally do nothing for me to debate him? He's not even ranked. I ain't got to be ranked, man. I ain't got to be ranked, man. That's Lamont, how good I am. Can you say low, something? Hold on, boy. Hold on. For locker room, you're debating low who's not ranked either. So Facts. What's, what's, what's Facts. Good? Thank but you, Sturdy. You a hypocrite. You a hypocrite. You a hypocrite. You a hypocrite. Low, low, low not ranked, nigga. Guess what? 
Guess what? Low's not ranked. I already clicked low on Ticket's channel. So so now what? What you saying? Bro. He ain't ranked, nigga. So 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 what you saying? Low has more credibility. You a hypocrite. Than you you a hypocrite. Stop it. So Lamar. Lamar, Lamar, can I propose this thing? So everybody wins. There's the rankings. Yeah, so let's propose this. Because Mr. Mars ducked me, I still want that debate. The same day he debates locker room, he debates me. I'm not knows. debating him until let's he do it. Hey, 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 sturdy. Let's do it, bro. When, when it's up to Lamar, because you know, then I'm Mr. Mars, because you know, one of the, one of the, um, one of the, I didn't duck you though, bro. Hey, sturdy. Hey, sturdy. I didn't duck you though, bro. I mean, Locker, come on, bro. Oh, that was Lamar said. That Lamar said. That Lamar said. What? No, Lamar didn't say that shit. I hope not. Oh, read on. Show, show the quote. Show the quote, Lamont. Uh, Mr. Moss forfeited. It's right there, Jack TBT. Show the seat. Hold on, hold on. Hold, hold on, bro. Lamont. Hold on, Lamont. I text you saying I, I ducked the uh, H30 win, bro. Show it. Oh, you forfeited one. You were scared because you win, bro. Win. Oh, hey, hey, no, you did not, bro. No, hold on. Hey, hey, H30, bro. Lamont had me scheduled for a special guest referee. I text Lamont's phone out of respect. A few days promise I couldn't make it. I was gonna be a little late, so just get somebody else. No, That's was, all I text that guy, bro. Before that, no shit. Before that. It was the week before that. You had a debate Mr. schedule. Or something. What? See, Who'd you have a debate Mars, schedule? See. Was it certain? I had nobody debate uh, on your yeah, channel, Lamont. Come on, man. That's Lamont, good, bro. Remember, Lamont. It was me. It was me. Yeah, it remember, stop in top five, and then who's more plus Kobe, Lebron? That was a debate. Remember. Okay, Lamont. so can we get it then? A hey, hey, in, bro. Listen, it's all good, bro. So okay, cool. Lamont, we can get that. When we, we can get Lamont, that, bro. When you do events and stuff. I think you could get Mr. Moz to cater it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hey, hey, sturdy. Oh, yeah, so, we can do that, bro. Hey, Reggie, that's good. No problem. Hops, we can do that, big dog. I'm, I'm we can do that, man. You, Mr. Moss. I'm being real, Mr. Moss. Kind of changed up a little bit because the new rule now, because you know Lamont, he likes to have his protection around certain people, so it's like. In order to get the locker room, you got to get to Lamont. I, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it. Yeah. Listen, man. Hey, listen, no man. I've hey, heard. I'm, no I'm, I'm out of it. I've heard a straight debate before. I mean, you cool. I mean, you all right. I mean, you ain't better than me, but you cool. Oh, no. Lamont. You, right? you should see the last debate. That was, that was a, that's all people what say. What you mean, bro? I saw the last debate, man. And, and again, you're okay. You're cool. You ain't nothing special. I mean, I mean, you straight up down no special effects. I mean, you cool. What that mean? Hey, Lamont. Yeah, what up? What up, uh, Armani? I don't deal with this rock trash team that don't even know <laughs> how to do, do the debate, but he's always scared to be ain't doing it. So, what? Why are you that you ain't doing it? Because you ain't tell the truth, and you don't know the truth about the Lakers. So, hey, Lamar, what are you talking about, man? Kids. We gotta, we hey, gotta put that <laughs> What are you talking Jason about, bro? Are you okay, bro? Armani, oh, yeah. there's something wrong with you, man. Hey, Lamar, I just want to you tell you, slow. Are you on drugs? Are you on drugs? <laughs> no, nah, but you sound like you like <laughs> slow or something, bro. So like, you got, like, serious palsy or something, man. Like, be, be quiet, man. No, no, no. Come on. Be quiet, bro. All right. I'm going to chill, man. My bad, fellas. Hey, I got to go, guys, because, you know, I got to go, man. Sons yeah, in town. We, we Katie finna get his 30. Katie about to get his 30. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a cool night tonight, man. Oh, hey, 30. You a good dude, man. Hey, hey, Lamont. Before I go, man, I hope everything worked out for your boy. Uh, suit to you, man, for letting me come on and uh, oh, yes, this sir, it, did. it did actually, did. yeah, for sure, man. I, that's yes, good sir. shit, man. Uh, locker room, I mean, yeah, whatever, nigga. Ace 30, you cool, man, but you, nigga, but you're not better than me, man. So, I'm gonna catch you niggas later, man. <laughs> hey, say hi to say hi to Dookie for me. Oh, you left? Okay. Hey, hey, real quick, oh, Jesus, locker room. Oh, he's with um, Yo, Lamar, are you still doing that tomorrow, Lamar? Oh, no, hell yeah, we're doing it tomorrow, yeah. Hey, real quick, Lamont. I'm talking about, I'm talking about your debate. I'm talking about your I debate. Be, I will. Oh, be I mean, I'm kind of stuck in it. I don't want to, but I'm going to do it just because I didn't have, I didn't notify, I didn't want, I don't want to cancel on them late, so I'm just going to do it just to do it. Yeah, hey, Lamont. Oh, for those quick. for those who don't know, um, tomorrow y'all gonna get a, essentially a, a debate marathon between two channels. Tomorrow with me is going to be what? big at seven o'clock. Wait, Lamont, who you debating? I don't even know. Hell, you debating Dell. On, on what channel? On um, player shorts. I gotta know both player shorts. Wait, locker room is debating Dev? No, no. Hey, Lamont is debating Dell. Oh, Dell. Who Del. is Dell? He's like a KD. The ball dude. He's the ball KD. dude. The black. Oh, yeah, the, the black KD dude. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, real quick, though, Lamont. You probably saw here for tomorrow, but if you're doing, if you're gonna schedule debates for the next week on Chat GPT, I'm not gonna be here for next Saturday. 
but tomorrow I will be here. But the next Saturday, I'm not going to be able to do it. Just to let right. me know if you try to schedule oh. something tomorrow. All right, I got you. All right, I got you. Yeah. I love uh, Don't forget about uh, Saturday. It's tomorrow, Saturday, right? Yeah. Because I'm debating uh, tomorrow. Are well, you debating again, Leonardo? Yes. All right. Big time. Man, this nigga Lamont is trolling, bro. No, I'm dead serious. <laughs> dead serious. <laughs> Reg, Reg, I'm dead serious too because he was against you too. I don't know why we do that because he don't know about basketball. Anyway, Jay, I, I, I don't know. Butler did not make it to the finals. With, I mean, you know, come on. Hey, locker room, he defending your honor, bro. He hey, now, man. Armani, I mean, just before we get up out of here, man, can you tell locker room, like, just give us one time. Just the appreciation you got for his channel, man. Some of the stuff he brings to YouTube. I mean, Locker Room does tell the truth, and he tells facts. And I was like, I was like, go, Reggie, go, Reggie. When he flame on 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 that dude, uh, uh, what's his name uh, again? Oh yeah, uh, Leonardo. So I was like laughing out loud, and I was like, what, what is, what is he? What's the other dude he's talking about? Because he don't know about the Lakers. But anyway, but I'm gonna give a shout out to because he, he's a crazy guy. He's he knows about facts, so that's all I got. You know. Uh, absolutely, man. Well, at least like, like we did you, we did you a big time favor. You said you wanted to meet him. I got you up here, man. I wanted to make sure you met him, man, because you know, I know he was talking about you when I told you about when I told him about you, man. He said he was really looking forward to this, man. So uh, we could put, we could get, <laughs> we could get Reggie. Reggie, you got any kind words for your uh, big fan Armani, bro? Lamont, bro, you you going to hell, man. Um, but nah, shout out to Armani. I, like I said, I didn't know who he, I didn't know what you was talking about, but yeah, he's always in the chat, bro. So I, I know Armani, man. Good, good dude. All right, salute to Armani, man. We gotta get you a new look, Marty. I'm gonna say that Armani, he recognized you, man. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I wish I could meet Ben too. He's my favorite. he's my second favorite YouTuber. What the too. fuck was that? Hey, <laughs> hey, hold on, Armani. You better beat Ben within the next couple of weeks, as he might disappear from YouTube after about two weeks. So I'm a fan of Ben too. You might have to meet him ASAP because I don't know where Ben's going. I can't promise you nothing after February. Ain't that guy? Ain't that guy's an Austin Reeves fan? Yeah, they hey, call him Armani, Ben. Reeves. I was a big. Uh... I was a big legend of winning fan too for a little while. Hey, hey Lamont, Lamont, I'm sorry, I gotta say this. You know how like you know how the league has um the G League? We can have our own little league for these type of debaters. <laughs> these brave debaters. Guys like Armani, guys like Jason the Kid, Jared. guys like Bill Mike, guys like <laughs> Jared. Jared. They need their own hey, league. Lamont, did you know, did you know like, I did a ranking? The I, did, I had Chat GPT do a ranking of all <laughs> hey, I'm not nine That's a good debaters. idea, man. So I had ChatGPT do a ranking of the G League debaters. Who are the G League debaters? The, the people that have been struggling a little bit. I'm gonna tell you oh, how it came out. Hey, you gotta put Alex. You gotta put Alex. In no, I'm gonna tell you this is the, this is how it ranked the G League debaters. It got oh sturdy. Look at the chat. Got Mac Def at number uh -oh. one. Uh oh. It got Dev at number two. It got Pull Up Podcast at number three. Um, it got pull up podcast in the G League. Yeah, it got Minor at number four. Uh, Maria Minor. knows best five. Big fan breezy six, mm -hmm. um, Alex M seven, uh, Jason the kid eight. Oh no, um, and then who is nine? Oh, Avion, they got Avion nine. Hey Lamont, did you see that uh, that that community post that that big fan breezy made about you? About me? No, what did he do? Yeah, he he made it. I'll read it to you right now. Give me one second. Oh man, what 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 do I be doing to people? Hold on, let me go to YouTube. Let me go check it out. Yeah, yeah, go to go to his channel. Go pull it up. But uh, Lamont, Lamont you be instigating this shit, man. Remember, you Lamont, shout bro, out. He's a fraud. I've been, I've been trying to stay out the way. I will go, say this: Lamont go, is a peak go, level instigator. I will go to say. Big Fan Breezy's uh uh YouTube channel. Go to his community section. Okay, I'm on his community tab. You see what he said? All right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It says, "FYF, save the locker room for me." In a debate talking, in a debate talking about he debating legend of winning when he not even ranked on FYF Sports. I see your play. <laughs> Look, 
<laughs> Look, I explained it, man. Look, big fan breezy. Unfortunately, you know, sometimes, man, you know how sometimes uh the mainstream headline games bump bump other games out the slot, man. And you just got knocked out the slot, man. I mean He got flexed. He got flexed out. Yeah, we got to you got to get your cachet up, man. It's just like with locker room. Locker room tried to he said you got to you got to make some enemies. You got to get your name jumping. And you know, I mean, there's really nobody out here in the streets calling for a big fan breezy debate. <laughs> actually, actually, no, nah, don't do that, Lamont, because Reggie still want that debate. Remember, he swept Reggie, bro. Yeah, so yeah, cool, bro. 8 30, 8 30. Stop it. Hey, 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 we did that debate on the spot. Number two, the panel was completely biased against me. And then number three, we <laughs> debated. Oh, biased his, we debated on his team. So, oh, mm. we, we debated on the Brooklyn Nets. Mm-hmm. So, oh, oh, that's, that's where the Brooklyn that's Nets true. show came with a Bree- with uh, Breeze. So, so, Lamar, so you telling me, Lamar, are you telling me we never had debates on the fly before? That what you telling me? No, we have, we have. Okay. 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 When was this though? I, when was this? When it was, was just this? impromptu when well, we this, had them on the panel. Yeah, oh, this one, um, this one, Lamont was actually paying niggas like after he won. But then when I started stepping on the scene, that's when he saw having not paying niggas no more. It's all good. Hold on, what was I paying people like five dollars or something? What? Yeah, it was like it was like it was not nothing crazy money. It was like five ten dollars. That's it. You, you hey, hey, Lamont, did you read? Did you read the comments though? Uh, nah, on that huh. post? Let me see. Hold on, nah, you gotta read the comments. Hold on. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> You see Big Tone? Uh, oh, Big Tone, what'd he say? You, you gotta go to newest, go to newest first. Oh, I see Big Tone. He said still fucking with them, huh? Now, 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 click, click on that, click on the comment. It's another comment. It's another comment. I don't see it. Hold on. I see wait, re- wait, big tones in the chat. You, yeah. you gotta click, you gotta click uh newest first, it'll pop up. I'm on my desktop looking at it. I gotta do it on my phone. I might see it. No, no, no. If see- you go, if you go to the filter where it says top comments, and then yeah, oh, it was. It- Oh, oh, newest first? Yeah, they click newest first, and then you'll see the reply. I don't see the reply. Oh, oh there it is. God. There it is. He says, stop fucking with them bombs, man. <laughs> Bro, <for> <laughs> real <laughs> talk. <laughs> why so? What, man, why big talk? How big talk reply to his own comment? Hey, Stern. Oh, big talk. Uh, when he, Lamont, when he, when he lost the pull-up, bro, there was like, 72 hours of straight Fuck no, Reggie, that, it was rigged. <laughs> no, that that was a, that was crazy. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That debate caught no, no cap, Lamont. Lamont. It was like four. It was like three to four different channels with the same Lamont, shit. That 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 I'm like this had shit been crazy. the most controversial debate on his channel, bro. Real no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. I think oh, no. I think the that's most controversial that. might have been taken in Africa. It's, it's definitely taken in Africa, uh, bro. It's everything Lamont, they they did the way they it happened. Six everything. out, Lamont. They did a King and Maharis up there too. They did a King and Maharis up there too. Nah, people, you just had to beat it. Wait, oh, no, no, no. Hey, no, no, no. Sturdy, I was in the chat when that uh, ticket Africa debate happened. It was blasphemy how the voting Lamont, went. Lamont, they did a, they did a, they, they, like what? Sturdy said, they went on a three day tirade, bro, doing six hour live streams about that debate, bro. I'm I sorry. I tried to talk some sense into them, but they didn't, they weren't trying to hear it from me. They just, they weren't trying to hear it. That man hey. said, that man said, I'm fine with losing to her. I didn't want to lose to the locker room. I hey, said, what? Hey, uh, hey, anybody notice, bro? Hey, anybody know her? Her would troll his shot at anybody, but for EJ to say that, yo, <laughs> hey, that's how you know his host. That's how you know he was just off. He chasing one win. He didn't even care about her debate. He didn't care about her. He didn't care. <laughs> Hey, yeah, Lamont, I'm gonna be real. I don't, I don't think I don't think BJ fuck with you anymore after that debate. I ain't seen him back over here since. Bro, he ain't been in the. He, I think he left the Discord and everything. Man. Yeah, I think he left the Discord. Yeah, <laughs> guys. guys. No, nah, you know what? One day we started we started getting on him real hard in the Discord. I was saying he was crying and everything. He needs and, to get his uh, rematch if he if he, it's he got mad. Him. I was like, man, stop no, crying, just man. Be like that, bro. Like, I just got tired of it. I was like, bro, just stop crying, man. Debate, man. I was like, we in here to talk about the debate. I said, you in here trying to. To politic about the, that's it. You lost, man. Just just take the L, man, and keep it moving, man. Say, so, quit crying. Yeah, I think he's done with you, bro. I he ain't gonna is. lie, Lamont. Now, now was, young uh, Africa, young Africa, he, he you know he took his break, but he said he's coming back. He coming back. 
Uh oh, Jason, Jason the Kid said he want a rematch. Jason the Kid, boy, you in the uh, you in the gulag for and real. Lamar, give, to give him his rematch, bro. Give him his rematch. He so can't get his rematch. I, Who was that, Armani? Yes. Uh, I try to try to say is if if I really won tomorrow, like probably like that, I just like you know just I ain't gonna talk bad on, bad on them, but say I win. But if they would be like, oh, you hate them because I, you know, I don't do that. But you know, if I lose, even though I lose, though, I just like not going them um, and say, oh, how how come you won and all that? I would do that. You feel me? Like if they go hey, come on me. So Armani, say, based yeah. on based on how the locker room has done in history, base what what points did you learn from the locker room? Um, the, the points. He gets ten points. I mean, well, actually, a lot of points. I, 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 I that's why he's 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 goat of that debate. So, damn, you know, he I broke the scale, Lamar. He broke the scale. Go ahead, Lamar. Let's do it. Yes. So yes, I, I will, I will. Uh, it, will it will be me next. It's going going against uh, Leonardo. and all the people. Now, now, Lamar, do you actually have Leonardo confirmed, bro? Yeah, Leonardo's confirmed. <laughs> against me? Yeah. All right, let's go. He heard, he, heard, he heard. He heard your. He heard your affinity for the locker room. He said he ain't having none of that. He said Who's he don't Leonardo? like. Him. But guess what? My my special to him. He's a big fat loser. He don't even know basketball. <laughs> oh, he put him on big screen, Lamar. Put him on big screen. <laughs> and he doesn't know how how great he's going to be when he never wins a championship. That's what my expression to him. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> Armani, man, about to come with vengeance, man, for the locker room. And so, so, who do you have next? Like, are there any other people that have been going at locker room too much that you're trying to take out into the base next? Who did locker room dirty? I mean, it's just, just crazy. You and, got Big and, Fan Breezy. We can get you with Big Fan Breezy tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah set him up with Big Fan. I, of course, I will. <laughs> I will. If I go against all of them, I'll be the next king. Bro, this nigga really? Lamani's funny, man. <laughs> hey, Armani, Armani. Yes, P five boy. If, if it hurts you, if it, hurt, <laughs> if it hurts your soul enough, I called him a hypocrite the other day. Does that hurt hypocrite. your soul enough, Armani? <laughs> you a kid, aren't you? Ain't okay. What's your what's your about? Do you, do you I'm, a, I'm not gonna, I, I, Armani. I'm a grown ass man. You, you you can chill with that. I'm a grown ass man. That's a that's a lie. I'm You're a grown a ass man. I'm a grown ass still man. With your mama. Still I'm a grown ass mama. man. Just like Armani, I'm a grown ass man. Yeah, Armani, okay. I'm a grown ass man. You call, you, you called you, you called another grown man the goat. I, I'm I, not trying to hear. I, no no no. How old are you? By the way, how old are you? Old enough? Fuck. Yeah, whatever. You're not even thirty years old. You probably eighteen and seventeen. Stay with your mama. Nah. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. Well, you drink wine though. I'm gonna drink wine is disgusting. No, yeah, ew. okay. Wine is nasty. No, that wine is nasty. Kid, nigga. Fuck, you like wine? That's ancient ass shit, bro. What the fuck? Oh, ugly man. Too, boy. Wine, on, wine is disgusting. Boy. <laughs> ugly boy. Wine is disgusting. Hold on, hold on. I right, hold on, Mark. We need you to go to get. get we, we need 30 seconds of just pure roast, man. Go into your roast battle mode, man. Let's hear it. Oh Lord. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Nah, I'm nah, good. nah, nah. We need it for the we need it for the uh the hype track. Wrong well, person, Lamar. <laughs> what to have him roast me? What the fuck? So you five, you okay? You still with your mom ugly that boy? You ugly foot, boy. You got old boy. You you have foot, boy. <laughs> I don't even know where you came from, boy. You still in school, boy. Ugly like you thought he was grown, ass boy. Can you drive, ass boy? You got no license, ass boy. You got no money, ass boy. Go get a job, ass boy. Ugly like this. Yeah, this, this dude is a virgin. I can tell he's a virgin. Dude, man, I ain't heard a plane. I ain't heard a plane. Hey, Lamont. Hey, Lamont. This dude is a virgin. This nigga Lamont is fucking stupid. Hey, Lamont. This dude is a virgin. I can tell. He said, nah, boy. This nigga Lamont. He's a virgin. Oh, Marty, money. Don't let him say that on money. He's a virgin. Nigga, I never He's be a virgin. virgin. I fuck bitches, nigga. Ugly you're a boy. virgin. So you're a bitch, virgin. Nigga. You ain't got you're no bitch ass boy. Bitch, you let me ass boy. She gay ass boy. Fuck you talking about ugly ass boy. See, look, I, cool. see, look, see, look. That, that, that's like that's like little kid talk I haven't heard since I was in like middle see, school. See, lock, lock room. He's, He's a virgin. Nigga, fans, nigga, nigga fans, I ain't no little kid wrong. boy. You a little ass kid talking like that. You a little ass kid. Boy, 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 boy. You a little ass kid. 
You're a virgin. I am 25 years old, nigga. What are you talking about? You're, 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 you're 25 you're a talking you're like that? Yeah, you're, you're, you're a virgin. You're, you're, no you're a virgin. You're no a virgin. How old are you, nigga? No way. You're like, a virgin. How old are you? I'm not worried about it. I'm 26. I'm 26. Don't worry about it. What you mean don't worry about it? How old are you for real? Hey, Lamont, who is that? Who is that? Armani got his uh, idol on the panel. He's starting to drop his balls a little bit. Especially since like, Moss left. But I'm like, but what the That's hell is he? got no holes. He hey, 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 I don't need holes. I got a whole. F- I don't need holes. I got a hey, female. I'm not worried about that hole. What's good? What's good? Lock. Hey, casual. What's up, bro? You said my name. I ain't yeah, worried about holes. You, you see the fans you brewing? Like, what the fuck is going on? I don't need no hoes. The fuck? Hey. Hey, hey, yeah, casual, bro. Casual, don't don't make yeah, me get yeah. Armani on your ass, bro. <laughs> Bitch ass look kid. Dang. Hey, I'll get on casual, too. You're going to stake your ass, boy. You're going to sink your dog on me, bro. You're going to stake your ass, little boy. Stupid ass, boy. And Armani finna do it, too. That's crazy. Eat the locker room command and call, bro. That's crazy. Nah, Our, locker room told him to do it, and he did it. That's crazy. That is wild. Locker room got a whistleblower. That is wild. That's some off ass shit right there. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's wild. Nah, nah, nah. I just want, I want to let you know, bro. You nasty as hell, bro. How the hell Dude, have I not been in the top ten? And I was like two and one. Cause like, you trash, nigga. You, right. well, you, you the casual, nigga. Period. <laughs> it's like, bro. Like three of the niggas' voices that I heard, I would cook y'all like easily. You like, ain't cooking like, shit, nigga. But, like, hold on, casual. Have you seen the most recent top ten? You couldn't boil yeah, no, water. No, no, I, haven't, I haven't seen. I haven't seen it. Who, who's it's been a lot of changes, man. It's been a lot of changes. So I'm gonna tell you, we got number one. Okay. The number one guy is H from the UK. Uh, number two is Ace Thirty. P five disappeared. Three is Herm. Four is P five. Five is Jalen Carter. Six is the locker room. Seven oh, is True to yeah. King. Eight is Nahari. Nine is SB Talk Sports and ten is Big Ox Bob. Bro, I miss one debate night and you niggas just, just swap out everything. Nah, I I, I, I think you dropped out of the top ten when Locker Room beat Africa. I think that's when you dropped out of the top ten. He yeah, beat yeah. Africa? Oh, yeah, he beat Africa. Africa. yeah, that shit was oh, no. bullshit, bro. Oh, no. Man, that was, that was some bullshit, Sadie. And he beat Africa. He beat Pull Up. And that shit was some bullshit, Sadie. You know locker room talking his shit right now. God damn, bro. <laughs> this nigga Africa had one job, bro. This nigga Africa had one job, bro. And they robbed him. He had one job and they robbed him. Who? They robbed him. How they Lamont. Lamont, Lamont tell him. He had one job and they robbed him. That's back to back. Lamont, it was back to back. It wasn't even too. close. Yeah, Africa was asleep. I, 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 I got to rewatch that debate because I think I what voted. Was it was bullshit, bro. Africa clearly won that shit. This bitch was just talking about the same thing over and over again. Man, shut your bitch ass up, nigga. <laughs> nigga, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the fuck, boy. Hey, you you, you, you like mock me. That's what you mean. You mock me. That's what you mean. You mock me. That's what you mean. Lamont, pull the debate up, bro. Fuck you talking about. Fuck you. You know what you talking about. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Talk about Rich Rich. Oh, Shut the fuck up. You ain't <laughs> <laughs> You ain't <laughs> 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 Why, why you tripping, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about? Nigga, fuck you in here. You're not saying it twice. Yo, why does it sound like Armani is both whispering? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. P5 is hard to say right. Lamont is the king of instigating, bro. The king of instigating, bro. The king of instigating. Hold on. How? What do I do? I just schedule the debates. Lamont, you know okay, Lamont, you know 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 his balls, bro. Like, this is first, crazy. first things first, first thing first, you know how Mega feels about locker room. And then the fact that you put Armani, the biggest fan, the newest security guard, knowing how rapid and he is right now, you know what you're doing. Chili. No, 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 no look, look. Armani said he wanted, he had, when I last spoke with him, he said, please, Lamont, can you allow me to meet the locker room, and I've been having trouble. Yeah, I was there. He's the dude. Yo, hey, Lamont, whatever you do, bro, in any debate that the locker room is in, do not let Armani be a, be a panel. Sir, you stop talking about Armani. We, hey, we let Armani be the special guest judge. Hey, locker room, should Armani be the special guest judge? No. Lamont, no. you tweeting. No. Fuck no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Fuck no. Fuck no. Lamont, I already told you, P5 can't. Shit, the only one that halfway do a good job is P5 to be real, P2. 
P5 and Mingle Goofy cannot be on a panel, bro. It's clearly uh, okay, not. Okay, fuck you. Hey, 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 fuck hey, you. Hey, hey, fuck hey, you. I'm, I'm just trying to let what you know. What are you talking Armani about, nigga? Panel, bro. Please, no. Hold on, Mingle. What did the locker room do? What? Why? Man, listen, bro. Y'all, come on. You gave this clown ass nigga. You gave this clown ass nigga. You just gave this nigga a weed. That was some bullshit, bro. I don't like this weed. We just gave that bitch ass nigga a weed. When have you ever debated? Reggie, I got this. You just gave that bitch ass nigga a weed. Hold on, did you see? Hold on, When did he call the lock? He got locker room government? Oh, shit. He got locker room government. Hey, 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 I'm telling you right now, bro. Reggie, I got you. Lamont, I'm telling you right now. This this big nigga, he can't yo no panels, bro. <laughs> Bitch, right now, what the fuck is you talking about? Huh? He's talking about you, nigga. You fat nigga. Who's nigga, stay stop dick riding. <laughs> Get your own dick. Ah, damn. Well, I, 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 I ain't gonna lie to nigga. Dick. Lie, Armani, you, uh, Armani, oh, stop you, it. Hey, Armani, you was a Armani, you was a dick. 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 Yo, Lamar, join the Discord. Who, who needs a Discord? Armani, you a dick muncher for I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, put the Discord. That's wild, bro. This nigga all over this man, me. Hey, Jess, hey, Jess, this is a dick muncher. It's a dick muncher. Hey, casual, go to the chat, bro. I'm going. I put it in the private chat and the chat. Yeah, I put. I put. Hey, I'm gonna. I'm gonna join Yeah, what's up? What's up? When we start doing these packs and debates, I can already see the combinations. Yeah. <laughs> Let's a get that rematch on a, casual. A dick muncher. Who, who said what game? Bro, I don't know who I would. Oh, play. I hope locker room ain't got no girl because she's gonna be jealous of money. Oh God, bro. Avion, Avion, what's the topic? What's the topic, Avion? Go to the chat. All right, babe. Oh, oh no, but Sturdy, Sturdy, how did you lose Sturdy? How did you lose the number one spot? I need to know this. What, he lost what happened? Who did you lose? Bro, H, H from the UK did a legendary performance on his legendary. Head. It was awesome. You need to go watch it. You need to go legendary. Watch it. it was <sighs> oh so two reasons. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, hold you gotta remember that. Number two. <laughs> Damn. It was a curve. It was a curve versus Kobe legacy debate, and he got cooked. And, no, and number two. And number two. Um, it was a who? No, it, and I'm about to get to that. So number two, Lamont changed the topic from Kobe versus Curry to Curry versus Kobe, who had a greater legacy. That is not. Uh, true. And so, so here's what happened. In the words of the great Lamont Lamont Lane himself. The presentation took it over the top. When you put Kobe Bryant's face next to Bill Cosby and R. Kelly, there's no comeback for that, man. Like, it, it, yeah, wild, it, hey, casual, casual. No. It was wild. It was wild. In the no, third round, he won. Hey, but it was a classic. It was a classic. You know, bro. In the third round, he compared the face mask to Kobe. You know, bro. Hey, casual. In the third round, he compared the face mask to Kobe wore during a game. He put the face mask. Oh, yeah. He can wear some clown shit. That's just like somebody putting LeBron next to a bunch of pills and shit. That is but so clown shit, man. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey that'd be funny as hell in the video. That's some clown shit. Hey, you can give somebody an idea with that. Hey, and then, and then Cash, guess what, hey, Cash, guess what H did right, right after that? He had a lot, he had a whole bunch of pictures of Curry helping um kids in Africa. He had, he had yeah, like, I can't do that. Hey, man, would you put Africans on the screen? The Star Wars? You you, you, oh, you bro, it's right. Bro, you can't come back from that. That was insane. I'm not even, you know what? In a basketball debate. You know what? You want to know crazy? I'm really not even that surprised because a nigga H from the UK did tell us that that nigga was not playing around about this debating shit. He really he had a whole Google, he, he had a whole Google he's slide. Not, well, give it that. He's from the UK. He's nice though. He's, he's a really good yeah. debater. He's really good. Yeah. 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 He's good. Yeah. Yeah. He's good. Yeah. Man. He's, he's really not good. He's so sturdy in every single debate. He's, he's there, really man. good. Why it was why legendary. Why y'all fan of him? Nah, he's good. He's good, but he's he's. His accent add more to it. See, people listen to his accent. They say what he's saying, but he listens to his accent, and that even adds more to it. And that he now, I the about this about H. We gotta start H. giving them accent. Of all, tax, of, all the, of all the debaters, like H by far does the most research out of anybody. He'll pull up quotes, like he'll dig deep into the numbers, like he, he'll do all that, and he he does his research for sure. Not better than nobody else. 
So wait a minute, y'all having a, so wait a minute, y'all having another FYL versus PC again? Uh, uh, no, y'all no, doing no, that? Just, no, no, no. Oh no, yeah, no. you got some easy work, Lamont. No, this got, is um, but how did, how did thirty? How did? I don't even know who that is. I don't know who that is. the ball head guy. The ball head dude with the beard. Hey Dell, just let you know, it's a KD debate. He will. He, he know. He's he's like uh. Dell is like a uh, SFM with the KD stuff. It's not a he's KD like, debate. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas OD with KD too. Wait, Avion, which one are you picking? Which one are you picking? That's what I need Pop. to know. Pop. I say yes or no. I got Pop. Pop? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm getting you. I, I, you cook. You cook. Send us. Wait, 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 wait. What's our debate? Y'all letting Chat GPT uh pick no, our debate? We got. Hold on. We got three topics. I will tell you what the topics are. Um. um I haven't even done no yeah. research on it. I really don't want to do it. I'd be honest. Stop doing that, Lamar. Hey, fake it at least, nigga. I am. I mean, I'm going to be there. Hold but... on, come on. No, never mind. I, no, I was no, really no, trying no. to find somebody to go replace me. I'll be honest. Avion swap, I'm just Avion swap, swap Pat Riley out with um, Don Nelson, the, and I'm in. Don, oh, okay. So give it. me Don Nelson. Okay, so okay. hey, here are the topics. Here are the topics. Cool, cool, cool. Let's right. do it. Hopefully, they don't take long, bro. I don't feel like being. All right, all right. So the first topic is the best forward in the NBA, excluding Giannis. Um, I picked AD. I don't know. I'm sure. I'm assuming he's gonna pick KD. Yeah, yeah, sure. definitely. Um, yeah. He said the next topic is the best point guard center duo in NBA history to start a dynasty. I picked Magic Johnson and Shaquille O'Neal. I, I don't know who the hell he picked. And um, the last topic is who will win the most rings in the next 10 years, which I think is stupid. It's like a no. dumb question. because it's, it's just dumb. I said, I don't know. I said probably Luka or Jokic, but I got to think about it. That should have checked GPT the, the uh, joint. Bro, this top, like who will win the most rings in the next 10 years is like stupid. That's not even real basketball talk to me. That's a hypothetical. That's I mean, a that's, dope, dope. that's that's worse. Dope. That doesn't, doesn't even make sense. Well basketball take. I mean, the only path that I mean, I won't even debate that. Like, how, like, how do you like, like? Because the thing is, nobody's gonna be wrong. It's just stupid. It's like that's like one of them topics where I don't know. It's just you can't convince people. I like unless I pick the player that everybody in the crowd is favoring in any way, which is why I'm going to go with Jokic since everybody's all on Jokic dick because he won a championship. I might as well just go with Jokic. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. You're learning, Amazing. Lamont. You're learning. You're learning. Stupid is stupid talk. Like, I don't, who talks 10 years from now? Who the fuck cares? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, hey, just, hey, just, hey, hey, Lamont, just go with the crowd. See what the chat is saying. No, bro. I never look at the chat during the debate, man. Yeah, uh, what's crazy? Crazy? Hey, Lamont, 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 see what the Lamont, chat is what's saying. what's even crazy is y'all first debate. Just go with the crowd. Nobody picked LeBron? What? What you mean? No, I want it because it's the best true. power forward. In, yeah. Who's the best forward in the league now? Nobody picked LeBron. I mean, that's I crazy. I, mean, I could, but that's crazy. It's just it's just hard for me to pick a thirty eight year old. He, I don't yeah, think he's the best. Mm, Lamont, what y'all say the way he played? Best thirty eight year old. AD has been a center for the last. He playing better than AD. Lamont, are they going to let you do AD? Because AD has been a center for the last couple years. Yeah, they let me do AD. Okay. Oh, yeah. I say I, I mean, I probably should go with AD. People probably LeBron don't like right him. No, Lamont people, right right like right people do That's not like him. I'm still about to pick LeBron, though. That's what got yeah. me on that first day. That's a I, layup, LeBron. Yeah, I mean, I could go with LeBron, but I don't know, bro. That's a layup. Just, That's easy, bro. And then the recency, bro, look at the last of the games this year. That's easy, bro. That guy is NC's a tournament winner, man. Lamont, that's 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 bro, oh my god, that sounds so silly. I can't even talk like it. I just don't believe I don't, it. Nigga. I, I just don't. couldn't. I mean, I can say it, but I'm not, I don't believe it, bro. Um, why is why does Tobias Harris have 24 on us at halftime? That is such so, so ridiculous. Look, yeah, hey, I gotta shut this one down, man. I gotta get this one shut down. Man, y'all, make sure you on Discord, though. Yeah, yeah, if y'all haven't got in the Discord, get in the Discord ASAP, man. That's where we be chopping it up. Um, so. Make sure y'all join it. I put the link in the chat one more time. So I want to see some of y'all get in there. Um, if you even in there, Jason the Kid. Make sure you get are you in there, Jason the Kid? Um, nah, but yeah, I'm trying to um I'm trying to cook, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just get, join, join the Discord yeah. and we can set you up with debates much easier because everybody's in there. That's how we schedule all our debates. So I'll put the link in the chat for you. So just join it. And um, it's just like a humongous group chat for everybody. And it's just easier to reach out if you need to. 
Yeah, I just I just joined it, OG. All right, y'all. Let me go ahead and drop y'all down, man. Appreciate you guys pulling up, man. FYF Sports, man. Another great podcast episode, man. Uh, salute to Jared, man. Appreciate you joining that Discord, man. Everybody that's in there, man. I'll be seeing y'all in there cooking on all basketball topics, man. Uh, he says, Bang did mention the Kelly and Lennon could trade a minute ago. I mean, it's just the reality of the Lakers situation, man. These are the players they're going to have to go for. But look, it's FYF Sports, man. Another great podcast episode. We're going to be back with more sports and news, man. Until then, it's FYF Sports. And we out. Now we done came from the bottom Mad that we up, but I don't hear him talking Started with knowledge inside of my noggin We took a dream and then we started blogging Put my city on the map now I'ma say how it is and now I'm back down On the road to 100k, we finna act out We gon' show them that we not just in the background we the main event, we the main show We the one that people always gonna pay for If I yeah, we the best, no debate though Easy Number on one sports beat. channel, every angle I'ma show them all how we ride Best sports talk show, we not like them guys We playing it safe while they feather the lines We pushing the narrative all the time Like who to go, in the game is not MJ Kobe Bryant top 10, now what we say I keep my life, you want is very overrated Keep it real, if it ain't fact, we don't say yeah Now it's safe, but we won't be ignored Missing the lick, I'm missing the drugs again, a hell of pain. I got a lot of deal with it, my mind is kind of slipping away. What's on the line? I made up my mind, so shit, I'll just taste it at great. Whatever it is, whatever it was, it's never gonna be the same. How do I explain what's been going on with me? You say that I changed, but you wouldn't know the old me. I think that I saved you. Tell me who gon' save me. I'm way too fucked up in this club. I'm ashamed, baby. You say that I change, but you ain't really know me. When I'm around my dogs, girl, they just can't control me. Tryna spend my time right, using every second of it. Tryna spend my time right, using every second of it. For it's too late, girl, before it's too late. Can I speak my mind right? Now before it's too late, I've been moving back. Was rolling up the back walls, out of being that's dead. Do you have my back up for us to lay? Can I say my peace, girl? Girl, know what you mean to me. You just keep it real with me. I've been moving back walls, rolling up the back walls. Every time I'm back, step. Uh, missing the lake, I'm missing the drugs again. A hell of pain. I got a lot of deal with it, my mind is kinda slipping away. What's on the line? I made up my mind, so shit, I'll just taste it at great. Whatever it is, whatever it was, it's never gonna be the same. Floating again and I'm running the map They say the best defense is just to attack Hopping through too much, it's hard to attach All that's going on is be hard to relax Gotta get up, gotta get it again They ain't get the message, we spinning again I fit my back, I'm just leaving it in Get what they want, then they leaving again I cannot act like this ain't nothing new Been getting smarter with all I've been through Got what days I'm more rewarding than truth Tired of keeping the G just to lose Let it all out when I step in the booth With that for some months, now it's time to recruit Met the investments, it's time to recoup It's time to recoup, but how do I explain what's been going on with me? You say that I changed, but you didn't know the old me. I think that I saved you. Tell me who gon' save me. I'm way too fucked up in this club. I'm ashamed, baby. You say that I changed, but you ain't really know me. When I'm around my dogs, girl, you just can't control me. Trying to spend my time right, using every second of it. Trying to spend my time right, using every second of it. For it's too late, girl, before it's too late. Can I speak my mind right now before it's too late? I've been moving backwards, rolling up the backwards. Every time I'm back, step I. Let me 
me know What you need, what you wanna do when I own Talking real dirty, real nasty on the phone Girl, stop playing, I'm on the way I'm on the way Girl, stop playing, I'm on the way What you need, what you wanna do, baby girl I'm all in for you, baby girl Drop it down in the latest fashion, girl All the shit I did, that's passions, girl Do a level for you, what's your passion, girl Got a lyrics in my songs, he all cash in, girl Leave that boy alone, he everlasting, girl Everything he did, I don't pass him, girl Seen no 20 grand, that's ass him, girl I bought a whole mall if you ask me, girl Bought a whole mall if you ask me, girl Got the lyrics in my songs, he don't cash in, girl Leave that boy alone, we everlasting, girl Everything he did, I don't pass him, girl Seen no 20 grand, that's ass him, girl I bought a whole mall if you ask me, girl Sometimes I gotta get away some shawty You know I just need a little peace of mind Specifically I'm talking about your mind I gotta get that ass on 